Good morning, jewelry makers. Good morning, Gemma Craig. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Gemma Crow, lovely. ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh, it's so lovely. <laughs> Oh, it's lovely to be here. I get off. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough. I'm off. It's so good to see you. <laughs> oh, I've so missed coming in. I just looked at this. 15th of September was the last time I was here. It's so long. But yeah, it's, oh, it's lovely to be here and see everybody. I've had so many hugs this morning. Oh, it's just, it's just <laughs> lovely to see you. Um, Michael's on cameras, everyone. <laughs> Please hear all they are. Oh, there's Kinga. She's on floor. Oh, look at her. Isn't she gorgeous? There's Alex. He's got a lovely black hat on today. Oh, with the... Oh, look at that beard. <laughs> lovely, lovely. Um, and I'm Caroline with you. I'm going to be presenting the next five hours with Gemma Crow, everyone. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. We've got Ollie. We've got Neary Nunu. Look at them. Look, no, you don't get forgotten about. Did I not? Oh. Well, it's just as well I'm back. <laughs> okay. Production manager, Ollie! Yay! Oh dear. No, behind, it's behind you, Ollie. Oh, no, oh, it didn't matter. <laughs> oh, oh. <okay. laughs> and we've got producer Neary Nunu No No. Yay! Oh, I love you, man. Love you. I'm so sorry I forgot about you yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> you are so important. Right, how are you? To oh, great, that's it. I've just noticed I've got a stain down my top. That's nice, <laughs> isn't it? We have got the most amazing show for you today. We have got um, clearance coming up in this hour, which is going to be absolutely crazy. We're going to be dropping the prices on absolutely everything, including red agate, banded agate. Oh, my God, look at all this agate. Where's this all come wow. from? Uh, jade, um, sterling silver chains, uh, spinel, labradorite, jade. We've got loads and loads of gorgeous treats coming up. Um, all the prices are going to be dropped. Very, very, very exciting, um, which is absolutely brilliant. Um, we are going to be bringing you resin. We've mm -hmm. also, uh, which is which is so exciting. Um, I haven't seen resin for ages. We've got loads of resin to get through, haven't we? Yeah, and loads I haven't seen yet as well. So that's exciting. So we've got get to play with my favourite bits, I think. I well, that's, that's it, isn't it? We've got lots and lots of resin coming up, uh, which is going to be so exciting. Um, <laughs> we've got, we've got, God, I know, and, and, and nothing changes. And we've got gorgeous cork coming up as well. Now, the cork is coming up in the 11 o'clock hour today, because in the 11 o'clock hour today, Gemma's going to be doing her masterclass. We've got the launch of cork. Very excited about this. Beautiful material. It's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. I first saw it about four or five years ago mm. in Portugal, and um, it's taken that long to sort of find it and get the right supplies in and get the right bits to go with it. So oh. exciting stuff. Gorgeous. So we've got loads and loads and loads of, of kind of exciting mediums coming up today. We've also got the most beautiful lavender faceted pearls coming up in the 12 o'clock hour. Wow. <gasps> We've got Jake joining us at midday. He's going to be with us for about half an hour, 40 minutes, um, and he's going to be bringing us a faceted lavender pearls for the very first time. How is that done? Uh, they're cut on a diamond cutting wheel. That's amazing. They're Aren't amazing. they amazing? God, they're absolutely gorgeous. incredible. They're coming your way at 12 o'clock. Mm. Absolutely brilliant. So, uh, right, we're going to start off with uh, micro faceted... Mystic spinner. Oh my gosh, let's do it. We will be doing the Wall of Fame in this hour as well, or maybe in the next hour, but we will be doing the Wall of Fame. Don't worry about it. Uh, Mystic colour coated spinel. Let's kick off the hour, shall we? All of these items are great. They're going to disappear. Uh, they're going to disappear at uh, 9 a.m. though, just to let you know. Morning, Cara. Lovely to see you, Gemma. Lovely lady. Morning, everyone, says Jane. Good morning, Jane. Ah. Morning all, wonderful to see Gemma on screen. Love you all, says Patsy. Oh, oh. Morning, Patsy. That's lovely. Morning all, wonderful to see Gemma on... Oh, no, I've just read that one out. <laughs> we can read it again. Read That's again. fine. Morning, welcome back. Oh. JC, or JC, it's JC. <laughs> uh, we've missed, you've been missed, says Glitter Sloth. Ooh. Good name, Glitter isn't sloth. it? Glitter Sloth, yeah, that's good. <laughs> it's because apparently she moves very slowly and her husband calls her Slothy. <laughs> there we go. Uh, it's so lovely. Leslie, oh, loads of people sending oh, in lovely morning, messages Leslie. today. How gorgeous. My lovely Leslie. 
We're starting off this morning with a strand of Mystic Color Coated Spinel for three pounds and 99 pence. Get involved. Uh, we are bringing you as many clearance. I'm just going to turn Neary down. He's very <laughs> excited this morning. He is, um, he's very excited. Um, We've got loads of loads of um, amazing items in this house, so make sure you get involved as soon as you can. Two pounds twenty-two. There we go, Nancy, maker in the West Midlands. Well done to you. Three different ways you can get involved with Jewelry Maker, either by calling us on our free phone number or by getting involved on our uh, website, jewelrymaker.com, where you can download our app and you can watch us on the go. Star in West Sussex, great to see you as well this morning, my lovely. Oh, this is just so great to see you all. Angela in Cornwall. If you haven't, if you're new to Jewelry Maker and you're not sure who Gemma Crow is, she is the most creative mind I know. <laughs> she genuinely is. Uh, you will never not be that. Oh. That's good. <laughs> Love her. <laughs> Susan, well done to you. Pretty much sold out. Well done to you. Gorgeous. That's cool. What are we doing? Neon Appetite Vault Raider deal. Oh. Gosh, that's a blast from the past. That Vault Raider. Gorgeous. That's like a strand of electricity. It is. It is. Okay, lovely with your top, actually. Yes. Gorgeous. This is closed before at 29.99. pounds It's also closed at this price here as well at just $24.99. It's also closed at this price as well. The sooner you can get involved, the better, everyone, just to let you know. $19.99. And then it went to a Vault Raider price of just... Gee whiz, Neri, all right. <laughs> Literally leading us up the garden path here, isn't it? Here we go. A Vault Raider price of $9.99. That's amazing. Gabrielle, Susan, well done to you. Loads of people getting involved. Go, go, go. Well done to you. We're going to give you a 30 second clock. Ollie, get it. Ollie getting the clock out at seven minutes past eight in the morning. <laughs> Gee, well, it's never too early, is it? I was in Wales on the weekend. Um, Wales, as in. The, the smallest city in the UK, I think. Oh, how lovely. It was gorgeous. But there's a crystal shop there. And just quickly, in the window was Neon Appetite, £525. This, actually this strand, but probably two of them together. Five, what? £525. Oh, my gosh. I know. Yours today for £777. That's unbelievable, Jeff. Well done, Maker of the West Midlands. Well done to you. We've got uh, Gabrielle coming through. Well done to you, my lovelies. Don't doubt the clearance. There you go. Don't doubt the Neary. Why am I thinking of don't fear the Reaper? But it's don't fear, don't, don't, don't doubt the Neary. There we go. Well <laughs> done to you, Maker. Leslie, well done to you as well. Who sang that song? Who? Who? Was it? Yeah, but don't fear the reaper. I don't know. It's because you don't doubt the near. Don't doubt the neary. <laughs> well done, Jennifer. Well done to you. Loads and loads of people coming through today. Well done. This is great. Lots of lovely messages coming through. <laughs> Sorry, meant GC. Can't That's wait for right. resin. So excited. We're going to be doing some great prices on all of it, just to let you know. It's going to be absolutely brill. You have to guide me through that. What is it? No point just... Barking numbers at me. Are they rounds or are they rondelles? What are they? Ooh. They're out. Oh, my word. Oh, they're lovely. That is, we were saying this yesterday, actually, Alison and myself. We were saying, you know, we are just weeks away from that kind of lovely cherry blossom. I know. And it looks like snow, doesn't it, when it comes off the trees? Yeah. It's just gorgeous. The signs of spring. Has anyone seen any kind of snowdrops or anything? Anything yes. like that? So snowdrops for the first time. Took a photo of my favourites. Really? Yeah, I saw those oh, on the weekend. And our gorgeous. tulips are coming up. This little, little poking up. Oh, how beautiful. Gosh, that seems so early, doesn't it? But that's just great. That's wonderful. Fills you full of hope, doesn't it? Beautiful, natural rounds of gorgeous Morganite for you today. Taking this all the way down below £10, can you believe that? That's amazing. You know, this is the kind of gemstone which, you know, ordinarily would be kind of like a 30, 40, 50, maybe even £60 mm. uh, uh, um, uh, strand. But yours today for £9.32. Well done, everybody. Go, go, go. Um, everyone gets a 30-day money-back guarantee. And if you're kind of newish to jewellery making, you might not know this, but everyone pays a final low price. So even if you come through to get something at a, at a higher price point, everybody pays that final low price. So Maker and Bridge End, Susan, Gabrielle, Lincolnshire, 
Um, yeah, gorgeous early birds coming up. Mozambique garnet coming up. Beautiful together. Yeah, which are gorgeous together, yeah. aren't they? Yeah. Very Valentine's-y, aren't they? Oh, yeah. I can't believe it's still January. Anybody else? It's crazy, isn't it? January just needs to do one, I think. But anyway, <laughs> um, <laughs> we've got a gorgeous fox carving now. Ooh. This is so cute. It's Jade and it's a little foxy. Oh, that's cute. Isn't that adorable? Look at his little tail. It's like a baby fox, that's so sweet. It is, like a little fox cub. Good morning, ladies. How wonderful to see Gemma back at JM, says Collector of Northumberland. Ah, oh, thank you. It's so lovely, it's isn't lovely it? to be here, it it's is. Gorgeous, so good to see her. Uh, Rachel Shrew, well done to Sharon Maker, well done to you. Good morning, Carol, Gemma and JM team. Looking forward to Gemma's demos today. Great to see you, GC. Oh, I'm having a jewellery making day. Whoop, says uh, Mandy in Derbyshire. Ah, oh, thanks, Mandy. Enjoy That's your... a good day. Yes, it's it is. It's a, a jewellery making day. Yeah. So we've got, um, we've got uh, gorgeous resin coming up in the nine, cork coming up in the 11, just to let you know. The masterclass is going to be at 11 today. Very excited. Um, really, really excited about that. Now we've got shell pearls coming up. Now I've noticed you put some shell pearls with your cork, actually. Yes, there's some shell pearls in one of the kits. Like, oh. They're just gorgeous, aren't they? They've got lovely luster. They're all <coughs> in size, easy to wear. It's beautiful. Yeah. It, it's just, it's just going to be such a lovely, lovely launch. A brand new uh, material, if you like. A brand new medium. Two ninety nine for your shell pearl. These are going to fly. Loving that colour today. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. How about we take even more money off that price point this morning? Let's go for it, everyone. Well done, everyone. Giving you clearance deals this morning. This is so good. One pound and 99 pence. Can't go wrong. <clears throat> That's amazing. Look at everyone coming through to get this. Well done, everyone from Oxfordshire to Leicestershire. Well done to Nottinghamshire. You want to get five of these. Leicestershire, you've got two in your basket. Forest of Dean, how beautiful. I bet that's gorgeous this morning. That's gorgeous forest. Isn't it? Isn't it just gorgeous? Yeah. And, and you know, we've had some beautiful frosty kind of crackly weather over the last few days, haven't yeah, we? we have. We have. Definitely this morning. Minus six when I left the house this Ooh, morning. <laughs> that, you're yeah. going to feel that, aren't you? Minus six. Gee whiz. Olivia, why don't you check out East Sussex? That's lovely. Karen, check out my lovelies. Well done, everyone. Go, go, go. Pinnalith. Oh, I haven't bought you Pinnalith for ages. I don't think I've ever seen or heard of this. Have you not? No. Pinnalith, um, why does it say Magnesite? Pinnalith Jasper, this is um, an amazing gemstone. Um, <clears throat> and these gorgeous tube shapes. Um, a lot of, well, it says Pinnalith Magnesite, so I'm wondering, is this dyed or is this natural, Neary? Um... Is it natural? I assume then I might be wrong, but we'll double check when 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 uh, when it when it comes back or when the details come back round. But this is quite often mined in uh, yeah Austria. It's mined in the Alps, um, and it's one of the only gemstones. Uh, it's kind of more of a mineral really that's mined in the Alps. It was uh, very very popular during uh, the during World War Two. That it used to be mined. It had kind of precious metals in the mountain range. Um, but this incredible gemstone comes all the way um, from high up in the Alps. You get these wonderful kind of almost dolomite uh, kind of whites going through there, but with the most amazing webbing. I love it. Mm. So dramatic, gorgeous. isn't it? Gorgeous. Well done to everyone coming through to get that. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Well done. Okay, next. What are we doing now? Yes. Yes, I've got them. Ooh, Ooh these are... Oh, they're nice. These are gorgeous. Um, this is... A jade, well, this is described as, uh, mm, it's, yeah, it, this is a really, really beautiful strand. It's described as columns. You're actually going to be getting rounds in here as well, but those columns are absolutely gorgeous. Mm, they are. They're lovely. They're lovely feature beads, aren't they? Aren't and they? I, and you could be quite structural with those as well. So you could, you know, there's lots of ways in which you could pass your threads through those to create mm. shapes and um, angles in your pieces. What a great deal as well. 99.99. That's effectively two strands for the price of one. Sharon, I can see you there, my lovely in County Durham. It's great to see you today. You can see you're going to be getting lots of um, a variety of colour going through these as well, which is so nice. Um, and, and, you know, if you do want to ombre those, you absolutely can do. But what a work of art. Isn't that gorgeous? Cool. Almost like they've been thrown on a potter's wheel, aren't they, yeah. those columns? They're gorgeous. Yeah. 
I was watching a bit of the Great Pottery Throwdown on Sunday night, actually, making lovely birds out is of pottery. Is it on again, is it? Yeah, it, well, I, I saw it on Sunday. It was absolutely gorgeous what they were making. Um, so talented. Uh, what are we doing now, lovely? Labrad oh, wow, this is, oh. We launched these, I believe it was with Claire McDonald, and she almost, she almost fell off her chair. These are just incredible. Look at this. The most beautiful, beautiful. Stunning. Labradorite hearts, aren't they just gorgeous? Look at this. Wow. Gorgeous Labrador essence. Really beautiful, kind of proper puffy hearts, mm. aren't they? Yeah, they're lovely. A very definite shape, aren't they? Yes. That was gorgeous. Look at that. Twelve ninety nine. Are these saying to you? Are they are they kind of wire work pieces for you? What would you do with yeah, these? Yeah, I mean, I think so. Or maybe just a very simple bezel set with <clears throat> with silver. But yeah, wire work is usually my go to. With How like wonderful! How That's wonderful so being able to set these maybe with some gallery wire. Mm. I can imagine seed beaders out there doing some lovely seed bead bezeling with these. Yeah. They'd be lovely glued onto the front of maybe a notebook or, or on the front of a box, a lovely memory box maybe, yeah. a, a, a photo album. Karen, Liana, why don't you make her an Oxfordshire? That's such a tremendous gemstone, that is. Yeah. And an amazing price at 12 months. That is an great. <clears throat> well done to everyone there. That's great to see. Now, deal of the day today, we've got the most amazing uh, showcase of black opal coming your way. It is unbelievable. We've got lots and lots and lots to get through. Um, it's going to be an amazing uh, showcase. I, will, I almost don't want to ruin the surprise with all of these. They are, oh my gosh, they are just in incredible pieces you're going to be getting here. They are so wonderfully, oh my gosh, some absolutely beautiful examples uh, coming up. They are absolutely gorgeous. Look at this. Beautiful black opal. We've got them in rounds. We've got them in coins. We've got them in gorgeous nuggets as well. They're all going to be coming your way in the 10 o'clock hour today. We've got a little showcase coming your way all the way from Ethiopia. I can't wait to bring you all these. Look at those gorgeous reds. They're just magical, aren't they? They, they really genuinely are, aren't they? They are just gorgeous. Love it. So all of that's going to be coming up in the 10 o'clock hour today. Faceted square uh, squares of jade. This is really interesting, I think, because you've got jade, which is uh, known as a gemstone of real delicacy and real purity. To see it in this quite structured square shape, it's a lovely contrast, I think, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's, it's lovely. And this is, these, are, this, these are great to use alongside the cork later. I mean, imagine oh, just wow. sort of laying those along in a row or a great having idea. a space and then your cork. You know, and then you've got some really unisex and very casual jewellery. Yes. That's, and that's going to be great. Those ma those materials together, perfect. Just a great idea. And it's got that lovely kind of, yeah, that kind of sandiness to the cork and then quite a light tone to the jade as yeah. well. That would work really beautifully. Yeah. Goodness me, how wonderful would that be? This cork is going to absolutely fly, by the way. It's going to be so exciting. Fourteen ninety nine for your jade today. That's amazing. Richard wants four. Take them, my lovely. Maker of Lincolnshire, well done to you. Lanarkshire, Victoria, well done to you as well. Loads of people coming through uh, to get this. Uh, gorgeous. Tracy, we've got you there. Well done to you. Under £15. Pounds. I, I don't know about you, Gemma, I really love all the gorgeous uh, jade, which has got patinations in it and character going through yeah, it. Yeah, I do. I, I love inclusions in, in gemstones. You know, I prefer that over clarity. So yes. The fact that you've got all these tones gives you that lovely opportunity to ombre that colour as well, which, you know, really helps with, you know, the fluidity of design. So... Yeah, they're absolutely gorgeous. Doesn't it just I, I couldn't I couldn't agree more. And you've got you've got it really tells a story, doesn't it? We've got Susan Tracy, RuPaul Jerry, well done to you. Uh, we're at 14.99. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, lowest ever price, obviously. Uh, this is this is crazy. The only reason why we're taking it this low is because we want them all to go. We want them to, you know, we want to be able to move on as quickly as possible and bring you everything. Susan, you've got, oh my gosh, well done, everyone. Loads of you coming through. Ivy, Teresa, Maker, well done to you. Go, go, go. 0800 644 655. We've got Anne, we've got Glitter Sloth, we've got Jill. There's loads of you with these in baskets. Derbyshire, Anne in County, Antrim, well done to you. Jill in Sussex as well. What an inspirational strand. And I love Gemma's idea about putting it with the um, putting it with the cork. I think that's just a just a no-brainer, isn't it? Just wonderful. We are 
so over allocated. Well done. More makers coming through. Gloria in Staffordshire, Joanna in Cambridgeshire. Well done to you. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Well done. Different mediums coming up today. We're so excited. The nine o'clock hour where we've got the resin is going to be so exciting because Gemma's just going to be able to kind of use whatever she likes. And, and it's just, it's such a... It's such a wonderful medium. You can really let your imagination go wild, can't yeah, you? Yeah, it does. It allows you to have those <clears throat> big ideas and make, yes. make them work because it's not only a glue, it's a magnifier and it's yes. a, it, you know, it embellishes, it covers, it coats, it, it makes things glossy and shiny. It's just brilliant. Yes. This is gemstones, which is amazing. So look at this. You've got beautiful strips of, of, of wire in that resin. It just looks absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, so this is like using up the scraps. That's the exactly. These are all the shavings from bits of you know, jewellery I've made. So It's gorgeous. Yeah. And you can experiment with things like photographs with yeah. hair as well. It's just, it's, it, it's just so exciting, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, it is exciting. Brill. So all of that coming your way in the nine. Uh, any questions that you've got as well, please do send them in because we don't get the chance to do resin very often at all. So we're really, really excited about bringing this to you today. Right, butterfly backs, here we go. Um, but of course, we're going to be bringing you the earrings to go with these as well. And these are absolutely tremendous. Yeah. They are so, so Sweet. I think they're just perfect oh. for this time of year. Looking forward to spring, looking forward maybe to, uh, to, to you know, weddings, to nicer weather. These are going to go today. Uh, we are taking these down to a clearance price. Yes, they're sterling silver. Yes, they're white topaz. So you get that wonderful sparkle from the ice white topaz. You get all of that 925 sterling silver. You also get that beautiful articulated bottom on these as well. So that, that link is really going to move. An articulated bottom on a pair of earrings. Everybody wants it. Then, of course, you've got the peg on the bottom of the <laughs> earrings as well. <laughs> oh, to be able to glue your, uh, to adhere your half drill pearls with. Absolutely gorgeous. Well done. There's so many pluses to these. Let me try. Let me tell you. Well done. Lowest ever price. £9.71. I, I wouldn't even expect to get a pair of, you know, if you just look at these as little stud yes. earrings, I wouldn't expect to even see these as studs for that price on no. the high street. That's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. It is. That's a great. That is great value. It is. It really is. So the amount of work that's gone into this, not only with the sterling silver and the diamond, we're taking the price down again because we can, um, but the gem setting quality mm. as well. These you've got gem set white topaz in these. I mean, goodness me, what a deal for you today. Well done. Eight ninety nine white topaz sterling silver earrings. Yours today for eight ninety nine. They are flying. Well done. Oh, my word. Gorgeous. They're pretty much gone, actually. Well done. Spinel rounds. These are amazing. No. How about $9.99 for this strand? <coughs> That's lovely, isn't it? What a grown-up colour palette. Yeah. yeah. It is sophistication isn't it yeah it really is it's lovely and it's so so neutral as well so yes you literally wear this with anything you know the colors are so muted and and gentle mm. and lovely nine pounds 44 this is natural um uh, spinel all the way from tanzania uh which is um you know one of the newest locations for your spinel it really is coming into its own and you get this incredible range of colors you can see you know on the back of the hand and on the recording as well everything from purples to pinks to reds to yellows lovely gold silvers love those silver ones they're wonderful to creams whites uh, gentle pinks bright reds well done that's pretty much gone very popular well done not surprised under a tenner Stunner silver what? I... <laughs> I just... That's what I thought he said. I just... Honestly, sometimes I just lose near... We're going to start by this. Do you know what? We've got to. This is absolutely gorgeous. This is a work of art. Let's start by. <clears throat> Okay, here we go. Check out. You've got to stop saying that, Neri. Oh, is it, is it Ollie? Look 
at this from the side. You've got this beautiful little latch that comes down, which I'll close in a sec, but just look at this bee. It's beautiful, isn't it? How detailed, look at those wings. I know, right? It's absolutely incredible, isn't it? But they parve set the, with stones. Let's they? have a look, yeah. shall we? Because I, I want to get this. So beautiful. Oh my gosh, yeah, look, there's... um. Yeah, in the wings. Oh my gosh, That's this is gorgeous. So pretty. <clears throat> it's perfectly formed. You've got a little peg on the back here. Can you see that? And I've got a pearl. I'll, I'll just pop this pearl. I, I might need to bring this closer to my f to my face. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Probably needs a little bit of a file because uh, it's sitting quite proud. But just look at the. Um, that is amazing. <clears throat> that is so That's like an Alex Munro piece, isn't it? You know, the hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pounds. The fact that it's got that little latch on, yeah. it's going to make it so useful, isn't it? And so kind of interchangeable. You could click it. Oh, Does it? Does it go yes. £19.21. Have you got the specifications for this, Neary? Because I'm... No. You've got here... Three grams of 925 sterling silver. I'm assuming because it's 1921 that that's all cubic zirconia in there. Black and white cubic zirconia. I'm not entirely sure. It has been done. Yeah, it's been done unbelievably well. Do you reckon, Gemma, do you reckon that's going to go with the... Um, do you reckon that's that going to go with the cork? See if it does. It might do it. Of it. Almost. You could sort of shave that down a bit where you... Well, that's you the beauty of the cork, isn't on. it? Yes. It would, yes, look, actually. It's oh, all, it's my gosh. Oh, it does. It goes onto it the cork. That's amazing. It does slide. Oh, that would look beautiful, wouldn't it, on the rim? Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, yeah. That's £19.21. Gabrielle's got two. Davinia's got two. I wonder if you're making connectors with these, maybe. I don't know. Uh, Gorge, we've got about 10 left. Loads in baskets. Absolutely loads. Well done. It's um, got a bail as well as a clip, so you could yeah. use either, which is really, really nice. Makes it very versatile. There is so much silver in that. That's absolutely tremendous. That's a beautiful, that's a fine piece of jewellery, isn't it? They're nice. Bicones. Who doesn't love a bicone? Um, this is absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? You know, this is the, this is one of the shapes of shapes. I know it's Linda Brumwell's uh, guess is on her, her, her absolute favourite shape. It's one of my favourite shapes as well. It's just gorgeous, isn't it? It is lovely. It's nice to see a bicone in a smooth... Um a smooth shape yes a smooth finish because mm. usually they're faceted but these are gorgeous now tessellate beautifully they look lovely alternated with round yes you know or even smaller faceted smaller faceted bicones perhaps Ab well that's a great yeah. idea and i think color wise for me i'm looking yeah. at this with something like uh, gorgeous amber citrine hessonite garnet something warm like that yeah. just absolutely beautiful but i think Gemma's absolutely right nice to see this bicone in a smooth bicone rather than a heavily fasted bicone look at them tessellated aren't they just gorgeous? they fit together so beautifully my word absolutely gorgeous aren't they i love that color as well yes that's it's a sage green yeah. isn't it that's my favorite jade color color yes it really is gorgeous, isn't it? So shiny as well. But it's $69.99. Maker in Lancashire, Jerry in Wiltshire, Fiona in Hampshire, Maker in London. Well done to all of you there. That's great to see you today. Well done, everybody. Taking this down to the lowest possible price point that we can, taking every single pound and penny off. £49.44. and 44 pence. Oh, my gosh, that's amazing. RuPaul, well done to you as well. Let's give you a minute clock to close. I want to give this to you as well, Gemma, because feel the weight of this as well. You feel how heavy that is. Oh, it is heavy, isn't it? It is, isn't it? That's, that is one of the lovely things about jadeite too. There's many, but that's one of them. The, the weight of it, the physical... It feels kind so of, lovely. It, it really does, doesn't it? It's yeah. got smooth qualities, it's got glossiness, it's got depth, it's got density, it's wonderful. Richard, well done to you. Maker in Lancashire, well done to you. Loads of you coming through. You've got 35 seconds and then we're going to be taking the details away. Don't forget, all these items are going to disappear... <clears throat> at 9 a.m. Can I just show you as well? Look, yeah. look at this gorgeous with the beautiful Mozambique garnet we've got coming up as well, which is just amazing, isn't it? That's gorgeous. That really does look lovely, doesn't it? Well done, everyone. Go, go, go. Well done. There's another maker there. Well done to you. Check out my lovelies. 49.44. Let's take those details away. Well done to you.
Gorgeous. A bird. What, which bird? What are we talking about? Oh, the early bird. <laughs> I just seem to be missing the point today. Sorry, Neary. Right, we've got Mozambique Red Garnet coming up now. This is most definitely going down to an amazing clearance price. I miss this place. <laughs> Do you know what? It's just, it's crazy, isn't it? You've been away for a while, you come back and you go, yep, yep. it is that yep. crazy. Right. Okay. <laughs> the most amazing strand of garnet here. Oh my gosh. Garnet is uh, known as the bringer of light. And I have to say, so often I'm used to seeing something which is maybe being sold as red garnet on the high street and it's just black and horrible yeah. and it's a bit lifeless and inky and it's got areas of extinction in it what's so wonderful about this is it's got that light inside look at them inside the gemstones doesn't it yeah i mean that's lovely and i think that's a true you know a testament to how gorgeous it is the fact that there's no light shining through it it's just on your hand so the fact that you can see that that light shining on it, even though it's on your skin, you know, really shows the quality, I think. That's exactly it. It just sure. showcases the beauty. And I think if you want to get the absolute most out of these, you've got to maybe put these into a pair of earrings where you've got, um, where you've got the light coming from behind them, waterfall earrings, yeah, lovely tassels, anything like that. Um, but don't feel that you have to do that. I'm just saying if you want to get the absolute most out of it. I can imagine if, you're, if, you're, if, if you love doing your gem setting with your bezel strip or with your gallery wire, this would be an amazing, you know, one of these in an amazing ring. It would just look absolutely uh, gorgeous. Oh, lovely floral designs. How wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Mozambique really is quite new on the, on, the, on the map as far as kind of garnet mining goes, but it is, it is uncovering some of the absolute finest garnet in the world as it stands at the minute. You know, it's always been places like Orissa and um, Rajasthan, which have been famous for their garnet production. But this is, this is really, you know, this has really got the most incredible quality. Um, Rich has already got four of these. That's great to see. Well done to you. Oh, yeah, next month. Oh, no, it's this month we're going to, well, I say, I say we. Uh, uh, Gempori as a whole is going, to, is going to the Tucson Gem Show. It's a huge gem show that happens in Tucson in uh, Arizona. And, um, and uh, you know, this is where, gem oh, look at that. This is where gemstones like uh, ultra rare uh, kind of bishop's grade uh, uh, garnet is showcased. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, and, and, you know, this is, this is where gemstones like this really, you know, the, you know, the price is dictated. You know, the prices can change dramatically uh, in, the, uh, in the marketplace. <clears throat> this is not only eye clean, but it's got that incredible depth of colour as well. You know, this is absolutely gem, gem show worthy, isn't yeah, it? Absolutely. <clears throat> Just gorgeous and good sizes. Each piece is good yes. size. Yes. You're talking about waterfall earrings. I think I'd be tempted to just use one in an earring yeah, to nice. really showcase it. Well, they're big enough to be able to do that, aren't they? Yeah. To be able to showboat that kind yeah. of incredible clarity and gorgeous internal brilliance and colour. Uh, it's so exciting. Well done. $14.99 is not your price is not your price. We are going to be taking this down to a clearance price point today. It's just glowing. It is absolutely beautiful. And try it out with your gorgeous jade. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Try it out with your incredible... The Hang on. curls later, that's going to look gorgeous. Well, that's kind of what I was thinking, yeah. Look. I mean, look at that, that colour. Those two colours together, I just think are so classy. It's like a vintage... Oh, it's, it's just gorgeous, isn't it? It does look vintage. It looks yeah. heritage. It looks yeah. like it's kind of um, uh, been, been handed down. We were talking about garnet the other day, saying it's got those wonderful heritage colours, yes. you know, for, of the earth. Yeah. Uh, really, really beautiful. And this is almost like an Elizabethan sampler, isn't mm -hmm. it? Um, you know, something, you know, beautiful stitch work, tapestry work almost. It's gorgeous. These pearls are insane. They're coming up in the 12 o'clock hour, just to let you know. But if you want to go for something really, uh, really different, really uh, modern than you absolutely can do. I mean, th this is lovely. This yeah. is kind of the ultimate 
kind of, uh, you know, complementing tone, isn't it, to go with it? Beautiful. But look, there's some beautiful sapphire as well, which again looks absolutely gorgeous. But it does go with pink as well. Oh my word! It looked lovely with the morganites that yes. earlier. The, it yeah. really did, didn't it? Mozambique garnet, yours today. Enjoy. Here's your deal. Oh, you're going to love this. Here we go, everyone. Nine ninety nine. Nine ninety nine for absolute museum worthy bright red Mozambique garnet. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah, that's fantastic. It's not your price. I know these deals are crazy today. Just put it in your basket. Just put it in your basket. Well done to you, everyone. Um, don't forget all these items will be disappearing within the next uh, within the next 25 minutes or so. Uh, so uh, when we get to nine o'clock, all these items are going to disappear. So the chance for you to get involved really is now. We're rewarding you for watching nice and early uh, this uh, Tuesday morning. Uh, really, really wonderful to have your company. Um, just gorgeous. Yeah, the four mil jade that we've got here just looks amazing, but it's so fresh, isn't it? <clears throat> Gorgeous. Well done to you. We've got Ali in the Forest of Dean. Uh, loads and loads and loads of people coming through. I like Ollie's idea about making lovely floral designs with this. I think that would work really beautifully. Yeah. You know, lovely kind of uh, floral, um, uh, maybe a centre to a brooch. Yeah. Uh, yes, for Valentine's. That's a nice Valentine's. idea. I did my, um, came up on my memories the other day. My cousin got married, it's, I think it's 10 years ago. I can't wow. believe it's that long ago, but I made little flowers with... Um, with petals like this, with um, garnet. garnet. It's a garnet. Oh, my goodness. I've lost my word. Oh, gosh. I've been gone too long. This but, is yeah, not it's helpful. Garnet, lots of garnet flowers with pearls, and I made oh. a hair vine. Well, lovely. garnet and pearls, exactly. Yeah. Garnet and uh, your white pearls, the most classic combination that there is. 777, well done, everyone. Maker in the Channel Islands, well done to you. At that price, you could almost, you're almost throwing them away, sisters. Goodness gracious me. Yeah. Do you know what I saw? Um, it just shows you how bored I was on... Well, no, actually, no, no. It's not a boring thing to do, but it, is, it, just, it just shows you what I was doing on Sunday evening. I was watching Digging for Britain on Ooh. Sunday evening, and they dug up an old Saxon piece of jewellery, and it was gold embedded with um, garnet, and the garnet was oh, as bright as, as this it was, and the yellow gold was as beautiful and tarnish-free as, as, as you would expect it to be. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, it shows you what an ancient gem... This is a gemstone mentioned in the Bible. And, um, you know, it's an ancient gemstone. Oh, Carol, I do love it when you get confused. What? I'd love to see Gemma back in the studio. We've been missing Gemma. There's one. There's, what do you mean? <laughs> what did I get confused about? I think... I'm livid. <laughs> do you know what? To be honest, it does not take... It does not take a lot to confuse me, honestly. <laughs> Stop it, Neary. Stop it. This whole thing is confusing. What, life in general, Ollie, or, or this auction, or garnet? It's all confusing. Garnet for 777 is confusing. Garnet for a lower price than 777 is even more confusing. Literally making my brain hurt. <laughs> 777. Already absolutely incredible. Gemma, how much have you missed us on a scale of one to seven? It's like she's never been away. <laughs> right, six forty-eight, six pounds and forty-eight pence. That is an early bird. If that doesn't get you, I don't know what's going. I know they're, Crazy. I know they're real gemstones, how Ollie. Many, how many are there? Oh, here we go. Two, four, six, eight, ten. I think there's eleven. I'm going to have to count them again. Two, four. Oh gosh, no! <laughs> Stop it. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Yeah, there was. A, I should have, should have trusted myself. It's over fifty pence each. I mean. Pair of earrings oh, for that's a pound. Seems, that's, like, seems, that's ridiculous. It's, it's crazy. A pair of earrings for a pound. Yeah, so about a pound, maybe just over, but I mean, if, I mean, why wouldn't you? you know? Why wouldn't you? <laughs> why wouldn't exactly, you? why wouldn't you? Save our confusion. Oh, gee whiz. I, I, I blame Gemma. Mm. She looked at this gem, so she couldn't even tell me what it was earlier on. It's just, you know. <laughs> it's, it's so daft, because Garnet is one of my favorite yes. gemstones, you know. You've got, <laughs> you've, got a, you've got a minute and then we're going to close it. Well done, everybody. <laughs> Loads of you coming through. Elizabeth and Marie, well done to you. <laughs> Six pounds and 48 pence. Well done to you, Julie. <laughs> Susan making Maria, Jacqueline. Oh, my word, Elizabeth, well done to you. <laughs> 
<laughs> Maker, well done to you as well. Absolutely loads of you there. Well done today. Gorgeous. Well done. Sheila, Jane, oh, loads of you coming through. This That's is happy. just great. Well done, everybody. Mr. Neary, stop confusing Carol. She's lost the ability to count now. We're in trouble. I know, Liz. <laughs> Liz, that's a second message we've had from you this morning, pointing out my, uh, <laughs> my general confusion. I think, Liz, you just need to get back in your box and maybe not message in again today. No, I'm joking. We love you. We love you, darling. Um, loads of people coming through. Oh, do you know, if you can't laugh at yourself, you, <laughs> you can't laugh at yourself. Oh, gee whiz. Right. Oh, gee whiz. <laughs> it's not just me. Neri is talking in riddles this oh, he, morning. Oh, he is. He? At least, yeah, he's, yeah. Subheadings and keywords and things. Not, not is, speaking in... It's, and he's not being very clear. So some words are sounding like other words. Thank you. That's confusing. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Star by come. Is this a star by? I can see the star by thing there. Star by! I've, I, I know this is what happens when you do clearance, Neary. It all starts falling apart. Look at that. Just gorgeous. That makes it pop. Yeah. But I'm just going to... Oh, Let's do that. That would be like the best kit in the entire world, in the history of the world ever. That's so beautiful, isn't it? That combination's gorgeous. Oh. Look at that. Yeah. Just exceptional. These pearls are coming up in the 12. Um, I'm not going to lie to you. We've got like a tiny amount available. They are incredible. Only for only for uh, literally a few people. But yeah, it's, it's going to be very, very, very exciting. These are four mil rounds. Alison and I, we were talking about four mil rounds yesterday and just saying how they are invaluable. They are invaluable. We had the loom on the show yesterday oh, and it's just the ultimate size, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's a great size. For it. Yeah, that's the lovely thing about um, a four millimetres. You can, you know, bunch them up together and make bigger, um, chunkier beads. Or Absolutely, you can, yes. You know, use them to taper your designs or they're comfortable at the back of the neck. They're comfortable on your wrist. They, they're great as spacers, but they're also, you know, great on their own. I mean, that's not too small to have as a single little drop. No. Earring. So. Um, lots of people at the minute wearing things like um, I, 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 glasses, chains, spectacle chains, yeah. you know, for their sunglasses or for reading glasses, whatever it might be. And this is the right kind of size. I think yeah. a lot of people go for this size and even smaller, maybe, mm -hmm. uh, which is wonderful. I love Gemma's, um, I love Gemma's um, point about kind of tapering your jewellery as well, because quite often you do want to taper it maybe around the back of the wrist or the yeah. back of the neck. Um, and, uh, and, and four mil marlas. We were saying uh, 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 just the other day that, you know, for, 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 for guys especially, if you want to wear a mala maybe under a T-shirt or you want to wear a mala, you don't want it to be too big maybe. Yeah. Uh, this is an absolutely wonderful size uh, to go for. Uh, roughly, you're getting 130 beads here, which is more than enough for a mala. You could even make, as Gemma was suggesting, you know, a lovely big beady bead or a big kind of cluster of these um, uh, together to make that lovely guru bead maybe at the bottom of a gorgeous mala. Um, lots of people there. Sheila's already taken two. Susan's got two in her basket. Sharon, you're there. By the way, we don't have very many of these at all. We've got about 20 chances available. Um, we're going to give you the lowest price point that we can. This is clearly going to be a very popular strand. £43.54. Lowest price ever for that strand. Eileen in County Cork, well done to you, my lovely. It really is, you know, it, 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 it is not just a beautiful strand of jade. It is unbelievably useful and versatile. Yeah. Um, it's just absolutely perfect. I'd love to see it with the cork. I just love those yeah. colours together. They're so striking together, yeah. aren't they? It's, it's that <clears throat> They're so neutral. This, this colour is such a neutral colour. It, it, you know, it's not the classic neutrals, but it seems to go with everything. Yes. It's um, this and Amazonite, which is it's that sort of hue. Oh, isn't it just? They just go with everything. It doesn't matter what, well, you can make it pop with like a bright pink or you can make it tonal with, a, with more other blues. It seems to go with every shade of blue and every shade of green. You don't have to worry about. Exactly, you see, the, and, and this is what it might look like in a loom bracelet. By the way, in 50 seconds, oh my word. This is going to disappear. You have to get this now. The price point that Tom is going to go to is going to get him into trouble. 
there's going to be smack bottom sandwiches dished out after the show today, which he's extraordinarily excited about. Wayne is uh, just warming himself up for that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we are we are going to be giving you we are going to be giving you a naughty, 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 neary, no, 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 no. What are you doing, Price? Okay. <clears throat> We are going to be giving you the best possible price for these. Not only have you got the most beautiful uh, gemstone, but the most incredible size and shape to use. Absolutely amazing. Price point coming in in five seconds. Well done, everyone. Go, go, go. Almost everyone is, is uh, multi buying. This is so great to see. Lowest ever. Well, we're already at the lowest ever price. We're taking it even lower for you today, though. Well done. Here we go. Loads of multi bidders coming through. Thirty-nine ninety-nine. Two hundred and sixty beads there for uh, for what uh, for for eighty pounds. I mean that's just incredible, isn't it? So many people buying twos of these. That's great. Well done to you, Susan. If you want more than one of these, my lovely, you've got four in your basket currently. You're going to need to check out now. Well done. Almost every three quarters of the um, uh, uh, people who've come through to get this have, have multi bought. Well done. At thirty-nine ninety-nine. What a deal absolutely amazing yeah that it, it is fantastic gorgeous we're going to give you a minute to close he may richard maker and kent bottom to you that's uh you've literally only got 50 odd seconds and then the details are going to be taken away by the way you've got about let, let can we have a quick look at the website is that all right neary uh so uh on the website jewelrymaker.com go to it uh click on watch live scroll down look at all the items that we've been bringing you in this hour they're all going to disappear at nine o'clock so if there's anything that you like the look of oh some items sold out before we've even bought them to air <clears throat> well done everybody loads and loads and loads of incredible pieces lots of items sold out well done everyone go 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 gosh there's a lot in this hour Gee whiz, look at all those pieces for two, not two ninety nine, seven ninety nine. Oh my word, well done everyone, go, go, go. Okay, details being taken away in literally five seconds. What a deal, penny and bucks, well done to you, ye may, we've got you there. Check out your baskets, Thirty nine ninety nine. well done. Amazing, 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 right, well done. Okay, which one are we doing first? Should we do the larger one or the medium one? Let's do the larger one. Let's do the larger one first. Here we go. Look at, look at that. In fact, I'm going to give this to Gemma. Thank you. That's gorgeous, isn't it? Just look at that. Oh, oh Gemma. It's lovely. It fits. It fits. You shall go to the ball. <laughs> this is so, so Guatemalan jade in a ring. Isn't gorgeous. that just incredible? Incredible. The translucency in that is lovely as well. It is that gem quality, that kind of tight grain gem quality. Because it's quite a fine band that you're going to be getting there, it is the kind of thing, isn't it, that um, I can imagine guys wearing as well. Um, easy if you want to uh, uh, put this against a wedding band maybe or, or against other jade rings which you might have as well because it's not overly big. We do, we've done ones which have been really quite thick. The nice thing about this is that, you know, it is it is completely stackable. I can imagine a lot of people as well wearing this as a pendant as well. It's coming to you in a size R, just to let you know. Size R, that's a size mm, nine. Uh, so a size nine. Uh, you're getting this incredible quality Guatemalan material as well. Two, nine, nine. We're not done. Let's crash that price point all the way down. Here we go. This is your launch price, 140 nine pounds but it's not your deal today you can see there and as, as, as Gemma pointed out you know on that recording you can see it has got so much translucency hasn't it it's absolutely gorgeous I bought um when we first had the rings I bought some from one for my son and he yeah. loves it he doesn't take it off really yeah, he absolutely loves it how wonderful yeah you can really it, it's a wonderful way to wear jade it's constant sorry um, it's constantly on your hand you can you don't have to take it off it, it's a little bit more, uh, it's a bit, a, a, a little bit less obvious than a bangle maybe yeah. and perfect for guys as well. Yeah. Uh, whichever kind of, you know, thing you choose to wear it on, it's entirely up to you. I think left hand is for uh, receiving, uh, right hand is for giving. So, you know, depending on whether you want to uh, receive or give good luck or whatever it might be, you know, you might want to do a bit of research about that. 99.99 for you today. Well done. Absolutely gorgeous quality. This is 
Uh, in my opinion, some of the finest material in the in the entire world. It's absolutely beautiful. Uh, Interest-free split payments of forty nine ninety nine for you today. Well done, everyone. Love the Olmec band. Wear mine together with the uh, with my engagement ring and wedding and eternity. Still have room. Uh, uh, looking at it, ev oh, love looking at it every day. Says Alison. Oh, isn't that lovely? Yeah, being able to wear something like that every day. What a treat. Four chances remaining. Well done. Let's do the slightly smaller one now. A size N, I'm going to say. It might not be. N to O. No, size P. Size P. Yeah. They are just gorgeous, aren't they? <clears throat> so that's a size 8. Yeah, and I imagine yeah. that does look lovely next to a wedding ring or next to a simple band of gold. Mm. or You know, that's going to look lovely, isn't it? Yeah, really, really so... So simple, so pretty, Gorgeous. so delicate, not over the top. You know, we can bring you those big master carvings and they're absolutely wonderful, but that might not be your, that might not be your taste. You might want something a little bit more subtle, mm. a little bit more, a little bit more refined. And this is it. And it's an absolute, these are masterpieces. They really genuinely are. We're at 99.99. Uh, there's your split payments again of 49.99. Well done again. You've got four carrots here. Something marginally smaller uh, than the one that we've just bought you. Well done to Sheila checking her baskets out. Well done. Lovely gift for somebody, but also great if you want to make this into a little pen or into a connector maybe at the side of her necklace yeah. and you don't have to wear it as a ring do you no I, I thought that that looked lovely I was looking at it with the garnets look lovely with one of those garnets hanging inside it oh now that's a great idea here we go look so you've got your beautiful garnet here yeah just one of the garnets oh my word that's amazing that's gorgeous isn't it look at that isn't that beautiful Absolutely stunning. Well done. That's Star by, by the way. That was, uh, sorry, Early Bird, by the way. How much was that, by the way? The six pounds something. Six, yeah, six pounds 48. That was Crazy. ridiculous. <laughs> uh, well done. Okay. Star by uh, coming up right now. So we've got for you a gorgeous star by now. Now, everything's going to disappear in about eight minutes, seven, eight minutes. So please do um, add these items on, add whatever you can onto your order as soon as you can. Um, did you see that? Yeah, they're <laughs> just, they're stunning. That colour, the, oh, the, the oh my gosh. Fei Shui is, um, is, is basically classed as, the absolute best quality jade that money can buy. Uh, the, well, the absolute best jade that money can buy. It's ombre. That is gorgeous. It's absolutely stunning, isn't it? My gosh, the journey this goes on. From your lighter tones, oh, some lovely moss and snow, through to your deeper, darker tones. That is absolutely gorgeous. My word. These are 10 mil rounds. They are huge pieces you're going to be getting here. This is quite often described, uh, Fei Shui, as, as you know, the best quality uh, jadeite for its kind of gemminess, for its consistency of, of quality. That is absolutely phenomenal. 149 pounds is where we launch this, okay? This is not gonna be your price today. You've got a 30 second clock. And we're gonna be giving you the best possible price we can in 19 seconds. I, I have to say as well, considering how many different how many different tones and qualities of jadeite there is to be able to get a strand like this, which has been ombre so beautifully. And that must have taken, imagine the jades that didn't make the grade for this strand. I mean, that, that really must be quite, quite amazing, hey? Okay, 99.99 is the last price we saw this at, okay? 
But at the weekend, it went down to a lower price and we're going to honor that today in 30 seconds. I can't wait for this. Well done. We are going to honor that lowest price today. Yeah, this incredible quality features in Sally Hewer, who, um, who, who we've um, in, in the past sourced um, uh, quite a few of our jades from, features in her incredible collection. And whether you do choose to make that incredible ombre bracelet, whether you choose to use them as individual pieces, whether you choose to use them as individual um, individual guru beads, or you just want to encase one, you want oh, just whatever you do, Today, your deal. Sheila, well done to you. I can see you there as well. Dorset, you've taken three. Well done. They are just incredible. Your deal, 79 pounds, 99 pence. Eileen, well done to you. Sheila, if you want to, go, go, go. We don't have enough to go around here. Loads of you there. Well done. Check out as soon as you can. I may have another incredible ombre strand as well. Just to warn you, just to warn you. I know. All these, all these items are going to disappear within the next three to four minutes. So well done to everyone coming through. That's absolutely brilliant. Go, go, go. 0800 That is dreamy. That is a lovely, lovely journey. Moving on purely because of time. Stunning. It really is, isn't it? I can't believe that. That is amazing. Right, let's do these eight mils now. Oh! Look at this! Gorgeous. I think this one's much more suited to, for a bracelet. The other one, probably more suited for a necklace. I think you're probably right, Gemma, so, yeah. But yeah, I mean, at that price as well, I mean, you, you could get both. I mean, you have a whole suite for, well, let's see. Imagine the value of that suite. Imagine yes. what it would be valued at. <laughs> there is so much value in getting this kind of ombre quality. This is, this is yeah. so exciting. I'm going to get this 10 mil one out of the way just so uh, we know what we're looking at here. 79.99. Now, this is the price point that this always closed at until the weekend just gone. OK, we are going to give you this is clearance. So we're going to be giving you we're going to be matching that price point for you today. This is incredible. We've got a 30 second clock. How many of these do we have? Do we have a similar quantity to the last strand that we just did? <clears throat> okay, yeah, so similar quantity. So you want it, you've got to get it now. I mean, as Gemma says, a suite of jewellery. Yeah. Don't they look awesome? I mean, absolutely brilliant. They are. They've got they such quality to them, haven't they? And it's just that ombre. But that will have taken, you know, hundreds, maybe even thousands of jades would not have, mm. would not have reached the heady heights for this incredible strand. This is so wonderfully uh, matched. It's gorgeous and it's available on split pay. Can't believe we're doing this. You ready? Gosh. 49.99, oh my gosh, 24.99 split payments. That is absolutely incredible. Susan, you've got to be quick. Well done to you. Tracy in Norfolk's taken two. Maker, well done to you. Uh, please, please, number 21 says Tessa. Yes, my lovely, we'll play that next. Oh, we, are we done it already? We, we haven't done it. We have, we haven't. We will do it, sweetie. Oh, no, we have done it, darling. We did it earlier on. <clears throat> yeah, we'll bring it back for you very quickly. Mm. Might need to get that one back out. Morag, Julie, M, Maker. Well done to you, Jennifer, Susan, Maker, Charlene. Well done to you. Can you actually believe that? It's ombre. It is ombre. Normally, to get this kind of level of ombre, this kind of quality, this kind of journey, if you like, you'd have to get two, maybe three strands of jade and kind of pick out all the ones which are certain tones and this and they might not match, but this has all been done for you. And for the... Barg I hate using that word with Jada, but for the bargain price of $49.99. Yeah, it's, it's, it's amazing. It's such great value. Well done. Janice has got two. Morag, well done to you. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. 30 seconds to close. There we go. Well done. Oh, 29. Molly bought us a 29 second clock. I love it. Look at all these baskets. Sharon in County Durham, check out my lovely more Agony Lothian, Maker in Lancashire, Susan in Essex. Another maker there with two in their baskets. Check out my lovelies. Well done. Very, very, very popular strands. Well done. Janice took two of these. Oh, Penny and Bucks, check out my lovely. Charlene, Julie, M, Jennifer, Susan's got two. Tracy's got two. Richard's got three. Gorgeous. Well done. Let's get this one back on very quickly. Here you are, lovely Tessa. 99.99. That's amazing, isn't it? That's lovely, that one. 60 centimetre strand, lovely long strand. 
Do you know, these are reminding me of the little toggles. You know when you have a sliding clasp at the back of a, a Marla bracelet? Yes. Or a, not a Marla bracelet, but a, like a Shambhala style yeah, yeah, bracelet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, These are reminding me of those little toggles that you slide. Yes! So you could, That's a great you know, you shout. Could use that in your designs. Look, I think that would taper. That's amazing. As well. Do you know what? What a lovely feature that would be. Yeah. And you wouldn't necessarily need to put it with other jade. You could put it with no. whatever you like, but what a lovely traditional, yeah, toggle. How lovely. Yeah. You could even use the rounds in there if you wanted to. Okay, we've got a lovely lotus root. Now, lotus flowers are all about kind of that, that uh, striving for enlightenment, that growth, that kind of reaching for nirvana, if you like. And the root of the... Um, the root of the lotus is deeply embedded in the mud, in the depths. But it's wonderful because, of course, you, it's literally levitating, a levitating lotus root. That is quite amazing. <laughs> Wingardium Leviosa. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it? It's like wordy from, uh, it's like wordy, isn't it? Um, it's 49.99, uh, but it's all to do with not forgetting where you're from, where your roots are, being deeply connected to that. Uh, and you've got your gorgeous, um, you've got your gorgeous um, uh, jade root there for 49.99. It is drilled on either end, just to let you know. There you go. There's your real hole there, and just there. Gorgeous quality. Well done. Let's go and see some of your designs on today's Wall of Fame. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, number 497, uh, this is lovely, Catherine Hlanfier, I'm going to say. Oh, lovely. Um, hello, lovelies, please find attached to my Wall of Fame entry, my last, sorry, lost my mojo lately. Uh, so I made the simple beaded necklace with faceted agate, uh, everything from JM apart from the earring hooks from my stash. So pleased with the result. Good luck to all and thank you for the inspiration and goodies. Best wishes. You've done a lovely job there, uh, Catherine. That's really lovely. I love it with the gold. That's gorgeous. Yeah, I'm just imagining our garnet in that design. Oh, yes, that would be lovely. Uh, Diana West. Good morning, JM Taz. Please find attached my entry to the Wall of Fame. It's a bracelet made from black spinel. Oh, now that... That would go beautifully with Catherine's necklace. Um, uh, black spinel and freshwater cultured pearls with a gold-plated toggle clasp. Loving all the great demos. Good luck to all in the WAF. That's from Diana. Thank you, my lovely. That's gorgeous. Lovely. Beautiful. Uh, Karen Hawksley, your number 499. Oh, it's a lovely sweetie. A sweetie bracelet made with silver jump rings. Um, simple, but I think so effective. It looks beautiful on. Good luck to all that says um, uh, uh, from lovely Karen. Um, how gorgeous. That's so lovely. And by the way, if you love your jump rings, we've got Laura Binding yeah. joining us on Friday with Chainmail. Oh, my gosh. How exciting. I know. We were talking about it the other day. Like both in, we're both in back in, in, one in the week. same week. Yeah. It's just awesome. It's great. Oh, I've got Watch lovely, lovely Trisha Bell, number 500. And this says this... Find my attached for this week's Wall of Fame, a purple agate coin and chainmail bracelet. I hope you like it. Um, kind regards, well, we do like it. It's gorgeous. That is lovely, isn't That's it? That's lovely, Tricia. Thank yeah. you so much. Lovely agate there. Oh, lovely. And now I've got number one. So we're back to number one. I've got Jade Cousins. Mm. She says, um, my entry this week is a pair of green fluorite and rose gold earrings. Good luck, everyone. Gorgeous. That's a lovely combination, isn't it? Delicate, Rose delicate gold. colour. Yeah, beautiful. <clears throat> beautiful. And then number two, I've got Margaret Gibson. Um, this week's entry is a double strand short necklace which sits on the collarbone. It makes a nice change from a long line over the head necklaces. It uses soda like faceted rondelles and various sizes of gold, blue and white seed beads. Um, the bargains continue on TV. Lucky us, so thank you, JM. That's really lovely, isn't it? Gorgeous. Thank you so much, Margot. Pretty. And then number three, I've got Michelle. She says, this is my oh, entry sweet. to this. Oh, that is lovely. That's really um, nice. A simple wire wrap, smoky quartz pendant. Sometimes keeping things simple works best. Absolutely right. Smoky quartz is always one of my biggest sellers and I have quite a stash that I have um, built up over the years, but I am always on the lookout for more. Hint, hint to the JM bias. Oh, no. Yes, me too, Michelle. I'm with you on that, so I second it. Good luck on Wednesday's draw to everybody. Look at the wire work behind that smoky quartz. Isn't that yeah. gorgeous? Yeah, it's sort of, it's 
shattering the lines, isn't it? Yeah. The facets. It's really, so really lovely, lovely, Michelle. Uh, Karen White, you're number four, my darling. This is my Wall of Fame entry this week. It's a Labradorite cabochon. I purchased from JM in silver collar necklace. Good luck to everyone in the draw. That's so lovely. That's so simple. But gosh, that is such an elegant piece of jewellery. Yes, Gorgeous. Lovely Bromwyn bacon. Uh, you're number five. Hello to all at JM. Oh, beautiful box. I love that. Um, this week's entry is a shell cabochon surrounded by turquoise seed beads with gold-plated copper wire and chain. All components were purchased from jewellery maker. Good luck to all in the draw on Wednesday. Lovely That's really, really lovely, Bronwyn. Thank you so much. And Anna Winter, last but not least, you're number six. Uh, morning, lovely JM team. Please find out my entry to the Wall of Fame. Earrings and bracelet made of garnet and sterling silver for a good friend's 60th birthday. The coins are garnet hexagons, six sides to represent 60. I hope she likes them. Uh, good luck to all of you. That's from Anna. What a lovely, thoughtful piece of jewellery. Yeah, that's gorgeous. That's really, really lovely, fantastic. sweet. Well done to you. Gorgeous. Well done. Um, do not go anywhere. I feel like we're going back in time. This is so exciting. We've got resin Yay. coming up after the break. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewellery Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewellery Maker. It's a new year, so that can only mean one thing. It's time for those New Year resolutions. And it's the perfect time to start a new hobby. Jewellery Maker, Sewing Street and Hobby Maker are here whether you're starting something new or advancing your skills on a current hobby. With all the tools you need to start, as well as expert demonstrations from our great guests. Are you starting a new hobby this January? Share your new makes with us by tagging Jewelry Maker, Hobby Maker, or Sewing Street using the hashtag New Year New Hobby. And watch us every day from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. on Jewelry Maker. On Hobby Maker, 6 to 8 a.m. and 1 to 6 p.m. And 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. on Sewing Street. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call centre with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Jewelry Makers, this coming Wednesday, it's Claire McDonald's birthday show. Make sure you tune in for what will be an absolutely amazing five hours of treats. We have a mega bundle of soldable accents and gem setting bracelet kits. Your deal of the day is the beautiful blue chalcedony. Plus, anybody who buys during the show is in with a chance of winning a goodie bag worth over a hundred pounds. So make sure you tune in, join the celebrations for Claire's birthday. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option two. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help.
Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single P&P. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Oh, we've got so much to catch up on. I know, I know. Resin, oh my word. Basically, we're just gonna give Gemma just, we've got everything on pre-order. Can, can I just say, just get everything you can. This is the most, we've got floral molds. We've got beautiful little round molds here. Just get all of it, get all of it. We've got UV resin. We've got, oh gosh, we've got, oh gosh, look. Oh wow, they're nice. Got gorgeous kind of uh, clips. We've got pouring <coughs> pots. Just get all of it, get all of it. It's all on pre-order, just go. It's gonna go nuts, okay? And we've got um, uh, Gemma here with us, who is so, um, uh, just, you'll have a go at anything, won't I you? I will, yeah, I, absolutely. Uh, I, I think the more things you've, the more things like this you've got, the more creative you can be. And resin in particular helps you do that because it, you know, not only helps you sort of glue things together, it, you get all these moulds, so, you, you know, it makes things repeatable as well. Yes. And you can just literally chuck anything in it and you can use up your waste, which I, which I love. Um, you know, I love using everything up. I don't like wasting anything. <laughs> That's so cute. Absolutely adorable. <laughs> I just Aww. love it. Um, so we've got loads. Uh, we're going to start off with the embellishing kit, uh, which is going to go absolutely crazy. By the All of this is going to go nuts. We've got people who've been watching Jewelry Maker for years and years and years who are just like, resin, give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. Honestly, the prices are amazing on this. We've priced this all to sell. And it's very, very obvious we've priced it all to sell. Um, unfortunately, we don't have the UV torch in stock. I'm so sorry. We've tried desperately to get it back in stock for today's show, but um, unfortunately we don't. But look, just go for it. Go get, oh, loads of you coming through already. Right, embellishment kit, here we go. So what are you going to be getting? You've got your dried flowers. You've got two lots of dried flowers. These are amazing. Um, in resin, uh, any special treatments you need to do to these to set them into resin or can you just pop them in? You can pop them straight in. Because nice. they're dried, there's no moisture content, which means you don't have to dry them out yourself or worry about sealing them or anything like that. So they can drop straight in. So you literally just open your little uh, pot here. There, your yep. dried flowers are in there, which are absolutely gorgeous. If you don't um, have dried flowers, whatever you put into your resin needs to be bone dry yes basically it needs to be bone dry if you put photographs into your resin i think we always say to seal it just with seal a really them. cheap hair spray yeah and then and then it will go in yeah. and it will magnify the photograph which is just lovely um so you get two loads of your dried flowers you get your alcohol inks in white are these yeah in white and in gorgeous purple as well that's nice yeah these are lovely because you can do some in fact i'll, I'll use those <clears throat> I, i'm going to yeah, use that'd these yeah that would be lovely those. you can swirl them through and give yourself these lovely like smoky effects or you can color the whole um, resin so how lovely yeah. How lovely. And then you get these glitters. These glitters are insane. They go such a long way. We've got gold. You've got this gorgeous multicolor. That's like a, that reminds me of a bumper car. It's like yeah. a dodgem kind yeah, of glitter. It does. I love it. Isn't it gorgeous? A waltzer. Um, and then you get this gorgeous, almost kind of solid, slightly pearlized uh, cobalt blue as well, which is it's like a French blue, isn't it? Mm. It's absolutely gorgeous. These prices are crazy. 
Uh, 9.99 is absolutely amazing. Lowest ever price point coming on screen. Honestly, all of all of these items are going to sell out. We've got molds for everyone. Gosh, look, we've got molds for pots, that, pencil pots. Honestly, it's crazy. Lovely. Crazy, crazy, crazy. You're going to need to multi-buy <clears throat> all the resin, by the way, because we've got some big molds. £6.84, £9.99 was already the lowest price ever. Look at this. Look, molds like this coming up. If you want it, just get it now. So you're going to need a lot of resin for this, but you can make your own pencil pots. You can make yeah. your own salt and pepper pots. Yeah, I made one with the dried flowers before, and it was it was it it looks so beautiful. How really gorgeous. Lovely. Little um, tea lights, you know, the electric. The electric lights. ones, yes. Pop those in. You can even embed fairy lights into your resin. So no if you way. wanted to take some, like these are gorgeous. You, yeah, go uh, on. Take some um, little string lights, you know, the yes. little, little, little packs. The tiny buy. ones, yes, I know. Just poke them in, leave the battery pack out, and then you can... You can, you know, you can attach that later into a base if you want to, but you can actually have that pot lit up and it looks gorgeous. That is so cool. Oh my gosh, honestly, everything is gonna be selling out in this hour, just to let you know. So, um, you know, we, we very, very, very rarely get the chance to bring this to you uh, now. So, so please, please just get them. And um, um, uh, uh, what's the quantity of this, Neary? Okay, so we've got a nice big quantity of this, £6.84, go, go, go. Do you want to start using some of these alcohol inks, uh, Gemma? Yes, and, and I, I'll need some resin. And go I for need the, the resin. need the mixing pot. I need all of it. Do you get the... Yeah, so I'm going to bring you the big resin now. I'm going to pass all of this to you, Gemma. And please feel free to come through and get all of this. <coughs> so we've got UV resin. This is your uh, UV resin. This cures under a UV light. So if you've got a UV torch or if you've got one of those awesome UV um, kind of gel nail lights that you put your hands under, it's absolutely they're, perfect. Yeah, they're it? ideal, those. I mean, bigger pieces like this, it's nice to have one of those UV lights that you can just sort of suspend over so you can do a bigger area. Precisely. Um, can you set gemstones into resin? Yes, absolutely. Yep. It's basically, it's like a glue as well. So, yeah. So this, um, so this, oh, see, look at this. Um, UV, uh, so use it with a 36 watt UV manicure lamp. You can use it with a torch if you want to set it up onto maybe a little vice so it's kind of suspended over so you're not having to hold it. Um, it cures within three to five minutes. You know, gone are the days of us bringing resin to air and you have to leave it for kind of 24 hours or whatever. It, it cures, it cures in, in, in literally uh, three to five minutes. It is amazing stuff. Uh, Gemma, I'm, I'm just going to pass this over to you. This is, this is a lot of resin you're getting in here. You are going to need it. Um, Lowest price it's ever been is twenty nine ninety nine. dollars uh, We're going to do it for the lowest price ever. Honestly, all of this is going to sell out. This is crazy. We're going to give you the lowest possible price for this today. Absolutely amazing. Get it now. Otherwise, you will end up missing out. This is just crazy, crazy, crazy. It's gorgeous stuff. Um, and yours today, look how much money you're saving today. It's $19.99. You get crazy. so much now we've had a message through from somebody saying that their resin goes sticky after they use it with the lamp is it because they haven't maybe cured it for long enough maybe Perhaps cure it longer yeah i mean i always i always go for longer than it says yeah to do okay uh, i always do just like when you're cooking chips you know it always says 12 minutes it's never 12 minutes it's yes more like 20 so yes just just keep curing it the other thing is if you're still unsure just leave it in the sunlight because the sunlight will cure really? it. Yes, of course so it will. So if you yes. don't have a lamp and you're prepared to wait, the sunlight will cure it. So, Brilliant. Uh, in fact, you know, if you are, when you're working and making these things, don't do it in direct sunlight because it may set too quickly. Mm, okay. So, you know, do it where you've maybe not got any natural light coming in. Um, <clears throat> in the summer, you, can, you really have to, you really have to protect really your work. You really have to watch it. Yes, um, okay. <clears throat> yeah, and, and, and if it is, the other thing you can do is give it a wipe over with some isopropyl. Yeah, okay, yes. Um, like a 100% alcohol, because yes. that sometimes takes a bit of the tackiness off it. Brilliant um, tip. But yeah, that, that's what I can suggest. I am not a, I'm not the biggest expert on resin. I just love playing with it. Yeah, it's good fun. Yeah. Really good fun. Yeah. Um, you can, yeah, just, just, uh, just, uh, just, just go for it, Gemma. Whatever you okay. want to do with this, just whatever gonna, you want to grab, just grab whatever. You can make coasters with these. 
People use uh, set, uh, so we've got a lovely coaster uh, mold here for you if you want to get it. It's all available, it's all on pre-order. Uh, these are wonderful. You can use them with other materials as well, which is great um, uh, to know as well. Um, People set um, uh, pet, uh, pet hair into it as well. If you've recently lost your pet, maybe, or for lovely memory, Joey. I've heard of people setting ashes into pieces as right, well. I think yeah. you've got to be quite careful when you do that. But, um, but I think people can set ashes yeah, into my, um, my resin good, jewelry. My good friends, um, Claire and Gail, they have um, Flutter by Gail and R for their cord. And you can have a look at the amazing things they do. But they, their whole business is based on setting, um, doing memorial pieces, so oh, ashes into resin. Wow and How hair special. and things like that. So, How yeah. gorgeous. Yeah. So really, really wonderful. Or maybe uh, baby's first teeth, anything like that, then gorgeous. Um, loads and loads and loads of people coming through. Well done. you just got to get all of this. We do have some more resin coming up. How to use resin booklet coming up now. Uh, yes, which I've got right here, which is absolutely brilliant stuff. Um, it is brilliant. It gives you so many wonderful ideas. You can just see some of the ideas on the front here. This is a lovely booklet put together by lovely uh, Linda Brumwell. Makes the most beautiful jewelry. Great to do with kids as well. Obviously, do um, you know? Do do uh, you know? Ma make sure that you know it's well ventilated and it's and it's and it's and it's you know a safe environment for them to work in. But you've got some great ideas on here, and of course, resin is a big, big medium. There is so much. Um, there is. It's a pound. You may as well just get it. Just add it onto your order. Well done. Fine. Um, there is so much inspiration all over the internet, whether it's on Pinterest, whether it's on Insta, yeah. you know, whatever yeah. it might be. There's just so much. Oh, TikTok. Yeah, there's so much loads inspiration. Of, yeah, there loads, of loads of reels with resin. Gorgeous. So what are you doing? What are you going to do first, lovely? So I'm going to, I'm going to use these letter moulds. I've, I've not used these before. So we've got the alphabet. Oh, nice. sorry, I'm on the right screen. Like the alphabet here. And I thought I would do a, a G and a C. Oh, so, yes. Yeah. Um, yeah, um, and then so I'm going to do that, and I'm going to put some of these dried flowers in, place Lovely. them around, perhaps use a bit of the mica and maybe some ink. So just, yeah, I'm going to have a play. Go, go for it, Gemma. Yeah. Lovely to see you working with this. Gorgeous. I'm going to find some tweezers. Oh, I'm gonna do. I've got some tweezers. I might, I might be able to find you some tweezers. Yeah, we've got the, we've got a UV torch for Gemma to use. Unfortunately, we don't have it in stock. I'm, all I can do is apologise for that. But if you've got a, um, if you've got a nail, um, a nail, um, a gel setting kind of nail, yeah, um, that's the best thing. Light, that's the best one to use for mm -hmm. sure. Uh, but oh, um, absolutely uh, fantastic. You go for it, Gemma. We'll keep on bringing things uh, to where we've got the alphabet mold on screen now. These are great for kind of. Uh, for obviously, for obviously uh, children's rooms, for babies' yeah. rooms, people set confetti into it. Make sure it's all nice and dry, though. Whatever you set into your resin, make sure it's dry. So, are you going to be filling that up, or just putting a little splodge in? So, I, these are quite deep molds, and what I'm thinking is I've got a better chance of curing the whole thing because remember, I'm, I'm just using a UV torch. Yeah. Um, and I'm not sure what the wattage is, <clears> so I'm gonna, <laughs> we're just going to have a look and see what we can do. But even with a deep mold like this, what I would recommend is curing um, half halfway, um, oh. or you know, just doing a small amount at a time with a with a deeper mold. The other great thing about that is it allows you to suspend things easier because Lovely. you know things will sink yes. into the mold. Okay. So if you want to say create layers, then you cure, then add, then cure, then add. Yes. It also is nice and tacky, so when you put something on it, it's not going to scoot around. Precisely. You know, That's out. great, isn't it? So, yeah. um, let's just hope that these uh, the, 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 the UV torches are up let's to scratch it, today. It, hopefully it will work. So lots and lots and lots of people coming through. £3.77 today for your alphabet, uh, for your alphabet uh, moulds. What I love about these as well, you know, if you, if, if, you do, um, if you do work with different mediums, absolutely fantastic. But just imagine taking these to a craft fair. And if you, you know, if you, if you do get a really lovely, strong UV light to work with, you can literally make things whilst people wait, which is just so fantastic, isn't it? So if you want to get people to choose a glitter or choose a colour or choose an embellishment, you can literally make these people within, make yeah. these things for people within kind of half an hour or whatever. Yeah. And literally just make them to order. What a fun way of uh, creating some gorgeous pieces. Also as well, if you wanted to make um, uh, little little um, uh, placards to go outside rooms, you know, outside a kitchen or outside a bedroom or whatever it might be, put someone's name about, you know, just a great way of making personalized uh, pieces. Absolutely gorgeous. It's very, very hard wearing as well, the resin, uh, uh, just to let you know once it's nicely cured. Christmas molds coming out. Which one's this? Um, oh, is it sold out? Oh, I see. It's got a sleigh and stuff. 
These are great to use with some of your, um, some of these are, you can use with icing as well and do lovely sugar craft with them just to let you know. Those are your lovely uh, Christmassy ones. It's oh, nice. nice. Lovely, um, lovely uh, uh, Christmas tree one there. Isn't that gorgeous? Any questions that you've got for Gemma, do let us know. and We'll do our best to answer those for you. Mm -hmm. uh, so the big square one coming up now. Yeah, and don't forget the moulds, like you said, use them for other <clears> things. <throat> you know, you've got your polymer clay, you've got your milliput, you've got your serolin, your silver clay. Yes. <clears throat> All of these things. Is this, is this the right one, oh. uh, Neri? Beetles, it's kind of ladybugs. You've got bees, you've got a caterpillar, another little ladybird as well. Three ninety nine, great for Christmas, uh, sorry, uh, great for kids' birthday cakes as well. How do you add findings to the resin letter to attach to a jump, to attach a jump ring to? Oh, okay, I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll, we'll do that. We'll, oh, nice. We'll, we'll, we'll do that. The torch is working. Um, it might take me a little bit longer because it's not quite as strong as, like, um, you know, a, a, some of your, like your nail, yeah, your gel nail, nail torches. Yeah. But I think we'll get to a point where we're, I, I can show you how to oh, do that. Oh, that would be really nice to see. Gorgeous. Yeah. Um, oh, people are asking us to bring polymer clay back as well. Wouldn't yeah. that just be great? I love polymer clay. Yeah. Uh, ring and gem shape mold set. Which number is that, Neri? That sounds exciting. <coughs> oh, we've I got bangle molds as well. I've got this ring, ring one here, which I'm excited to have a go at. Oh, well, that is exciting, isn't it? Lovely ring molds here. Um, this is brilliant. Loads of people coming through to get all of these today. Which number is it, lovely? Yeah. Oh, and you get both, I see. Oh, look. So look, you get your gemstone moulds here. I get it. So you, you pour the resin in, you let it cure, and then you kind of push it out. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So you get your gemstone shape moulds, and you push it out because it is very, very flexible, obviously. Look, if you give it a stretch, you, know, you can push them you know, out. I have a feeling that that works with this. This has got little, if you see in, in these moulds, these are ring moulds. Yes. And these have got little oh. square notches. And the little square notches here, I'm pretty sure, marry up. So you can make gems that actually sit into the housing. That the... is amazing. Yes, yeah, pretty that cool. Is that is brilliant. So these, these little notches here <coughs> will fit into the ring. That is absolutely brilliant. Also, just to let you know as well, it comes with different, you've got different sizes here as well, which is absolutely brilliant, just embedded there. Four ninety nine for you today. Well done, everyone. That is absolutely incredible. OK, here's your, here's your mould. Oh, it's a cat. I thought it was a dog. <laughs> no, hang on. No, that is a no, that is a dog. No, this it's is a, a cat. cat. <laughs> I've got the cat. Or oh, is that a bear? Oh, I don't know. <clears throat> what is Goofy? Here we go. Here you go. There's a god. That is a that is a fat cat. That is a lovely fat cat. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my gosh. One pound for the cat. How gorgeous is that? These pieces. Just imagine making a lovely resin cat with some lovely uh, with some lovely cat hair in maybe how lovely a pound for your cat mold gorgeous how wonderful is that well done <laughs> <Lovely>. everyone <laughs> so defined isn't it it's just yeah. gorgeous he's fantastic <laughs> he's absolutely lovely if you wanted to put maybe ashes inside there as well something lovely to have on your bedside table that's a good idea how gorgeous one pound for your cat mold how gorgeous isn't it you know, lovely and, and don't forget this, it's, you can get so creative with these. So you can paint the mould first with something. So if you've got, say you've oh. got a ginger tomcat and you want to paint him in the same colours as your cat, you can paint the mould and then resin into it and that, that will be on your... What a great idea. You know, on your resin. Yes. So um, you, can, you can do that. You can, you know, put in fur and textures or you can fill it with gemstones and then fill it with the resin. So you don't have to fill the whole thing with resin. You can... There's lots of ways you can get creative. That's wonderful. So, yeah, saving you, saving you your resin a little bit as yeah. well, which is great. This is um, a beautiful round pattern silicone mould. These are wonderful. Oh, um, uh, you've got so many gorgeous designs in here. Lovely kind of almost sieve top designs there. I mean, that would make a lovely um, centre point to a daisy, wouldn't it? That lovely kind of... Um, uh, center point gorgeous look at these beautiful designs great for making your own buttons as well if you want to really really lovely pop confetti in there pop whatever you like in there um 
Um, these are absolutely flying. They're one pound ninety nine. I've used little button ones before um, uh, when I was making my um, daughter's first birthday cake. I remember, and I and I just did little icing buttons and just put and almost exactly the same kind of mould. So great for use with icing as well. Make sure your icing is nice and soft so it takes on uh, the full impression of the mould. But yeah, absolutely gorgeous. One ninety nine. So many people coming through to get this. Loads of you there. Any more questions? <laughs> do let us know. How big are the alphabet letters, says Sue? Do we have a... I've got a ruler. Hang on. They're, they're quite a good size. I'd oh, say they're they? a good sort of a good key ring size. I would say they are one and a, one and a half inches tall by widthwise one and a half. So, yeah, one and a half inch square. Uh, gorgeous. Well done, everybody. Three eye cat head mop. That sounds utterly terrifying. Um, mystic. Did we bring that doggy to air, by the way? Oh, the. Well, you are, but it's not there. The three eye cats. Oh, gosh. Okay. Three eye cat. It's like <laughs> a mystic. Mystic cat. Is it? Is it Egyptian? This it looks kind of like it should be Egyptian. It looks almost kind of. Yeah, it does look like an Egyptian cat or Siamese, maybe. It's absolutely awesome. Mm. Do you know what? I reckon you could... Um, I reckon there's people out there who are going to be getting really creative and making kind of ice cubes and things like yeah. that. Animal ice cubes. That's a great idea. I love idea. that idea. Um, or um, aren't there lots of people who kind of freeze little portions of gravy and things like that? You could do it. I've got a dog. I've got a dog. I have a dog. Right, we're going to do the dog now. Honestly, the dog is amazing. We're going to have to get chickens and cows and so we can... This is our chicken stock. This is the beef stock. <laughs> yes, I, love <laughs> I love that. Oh, well done, everyone. One pound for your three-eyed cat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. Right, let's do the, let's do the doggy. Oh, no, we're doing a corgi now. Oh. That's what it is. It's a corgi. I see... It looks a little bit like a bear, though, as well. Oh, I don't know. It's just, it's just a lovely animal. Whatever it is, it's very happy. And it has two eyes rather than three, which is a, quite a relief, actually, if I'm being honest. <laughs> so nice. It's got this little frame to sit on as well. So when you do pour your resin, it's not going to kind of be kind of... It's not going to be uh, lopsided. That's mm. just great, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. Gorgeous. Well done, everybody. One pound for you today. Isn't that just great? Well done, everybody. Uh, let us know if you've loved working with resin before, if it's something which you've um, uh, kind of uh, done many, many times. Um, there is so much inspiration out there, uh, which is absolutely wonderful. Yeah, so with the resin, um, mm. some resin can be a little bit kind of uh, toxic and can, can have quite a strong smell to it. Is this one... I'm not, well, I'm not getting too strong a smell. I think you always get a slight smell when you're curing it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I, such as colour essence is amazing. It doesn't say, does it? In non toxic and harmless oh, yes. meets ROHS tests in Europe and America. There we go. But yeah, I don't think it's, I don't think it's, um, I don't think it's necessarily got that much of an odour. Uh, gorgeous, well done, everybody. Okay, which one are we doing now? Mm. Okay. Okay. So, wh so where are you at now, Gemma? I'm just curing the top layer, and I think I'm, I'm nearly done. It's nearly, it's nearly done. What I, what I hadn't thought of. Usually, when you're working with moulds, you, it's the inside of the mould that is the bottom of the mould that is the front. Yes. Whereas I've only just realised, even though the alphabet is completely the right way round for me, I've only just realised that I should work with the top in mind, you know, from... Oh! So, luckily I've done a C, which I can flip over. <laughs> because I've worked from yes. the bottom back. I see. Um, but, um, so when you do this, you'll work with your back layer yes. and then build it... And then build you know, it up. ...towards you. Yeah. Um, but usually you work into a mould and then it's you layer it backwards. Good point. See you know what I mean? So, Good a little point. bit different. So, um, what, what I should have had here is my glitter on the on the back so when I flip this over you'll see the glitter at the back in the background and then the flowers moving forward that's okay so yeah you'll have to forgive me that we'll let you off Gemma <laughs> don't worry about it um I just wouldn't have admitted to that but yes but well done uh right so well done we got the um we got the uh shrink plastic molds 
on air here. These are really, really lovely. This is where you put your shrink plastic in uh, to your mold and it, uh, you, you get these beautiful floral shapes. So this isn't resin, this is uh, just some shrink plastic that we've added into the, uh, added into the show. Um, you put your, here we go, I've got a little image here. Look, here we go. <clears throat> There we go. You put your um, you put your little metal um, uh, uh, kind of uh, peg into the centre of the mould. You heat it, and then it will, and then and, and then the shrink plastic will kind of uh, take on the shape of this gorgeous yeah. concave uh, dish, which is so lovely. Very difficult to get this shape actually without using a mould. Yeah, um, it's absolutely gorgeous, and it really gives you a lovely, uh, really gives you a lovely, lovely finish. Um, so that's wonderful. Ah, oh, miniature schnauzer. I do love a schnauzer. So they've got so much character. Yeah, gorgeous, aren't As they? has this one here. A beautiful schnauzer. Oh, it's oh so look. <laughs> it's the little nose. It's the flappy ears. It's, oh, it's everything. That's just a lovely doggy, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. One pound for your schnauzer mold. Well done, everybody. This is brilliant, isn't it? Well done. So many items are selling out before we even bring them to air. If you look at items number five and items number eight, there's loads of resin available. We've got mixing pots, amazing molds in numbers eight, uh, so, sorry, nine and 10 as well. Uh, so do get all of these items as quickly as you can. Well done. I purchased these molds, they're great quality and so easy to use, says Collector and Avon. Thank you, my lovely. Great to hear that. That's absolutely brilliant. Well done, everybody. So just wonderful. Um, now, this is very exciting. Here we go. So you've got your bangle molds here. Yeah, these are great. These are, these are brilliant. You've got all those different sizes for a start. Yeah. But like I was saying, they're so good for using up your scraps. So, you know, I like to use my, my metal offcuts. Yes. They look lovely and they're great in bangles. How really gorgeous lovely. would that be? You know, yeah, with your metal offcuts, much like you've done in those gorgeous pendants, actually. Mm. How do you make sure you don't have air bubbles and things like that and you don't get fingerprints on, on resin when you're testing it? Well, I'm... I'm getting fingerprints on this <laughs> because my batteries have just run out in the big torch. Oh, no. So I'm like, why isn't that cured yet? And it's because the batteries are running right. down. So, um, so I think we've got oh, batteries. Oh, let's see if those batteries um, can be any better for you. Yeah, so air bubbles, the best thing is don't ever shake your resin up. Don't, yeah. You know, don't ever shake it because that, you know, we don't want air bubbles That'll in add there. Air. Yeah. Uh, the other thing is um, fill it slowly and tap it. So I generally, with these moulds, I generally tap, tap, tap. Um, yeah. tap 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 the mold bring yeah. the air bubbles to the top once the air bubbles come to the top you can then take a flame or a, I, and I would say yeah. a gas torch maybe with these mm. is a bit too much because it's very close to the edge and you don't want to burn your um, your silicone of course so if you yeah. just take like one of these um, you know the lighters for the gas on a cooker yes that nice long oh with the long yeah. kind of stick end on they're them. nice yes. because you can sort of waft that around and yes, it's lovely it doesn't need the flame it needs <clears> the heat and the heat draws it up yes um you can use like a an air a heat tool like yes. a heat gun but again Just um be careful, with the be careful because you don't want to melt your silicone okay so, so that's a great, that's a great, uh, a great set of tips there, isn't it? These are lovely, lovely bangle. Um, and, and, and do you know what the, is great about those as well? I mean, I'm looking at these and thinking interior design projects as well. I mean, just, just honestly, yeah. they are brilliant. That's completely sold out. Well done. Let's do, sorry, what was it? The ring, oh, where are they? Ah, oh, I think it's going to be these. Those are those ones. Mm, I think it's going to be these ones. Um, are they different? Are there some different size ones? There are, aren't there? Yeah, you've got faceted <clears throat> ones and round ones as well, which is nice. Oh, gosh, yes. That's it. Sometimes you do miss, actually. Look, yeah, you've got a faceted finish in these ones here, which is so lovely. And then a lovely smooth finish on these ones here. 14 different... Uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Yeah, there you go. Um, great for making individual links as well if you want to make your, a really lovely long line necklace out yes. of these. Yeah, absolutely. Or, you, you know, your donuts to seed bead around. In fact, you can put your seed beads in to your resin. Oh, gosh, that's makes a lovely idea. Matching, matching um, sort of rings or even clasps, like toggle clasps. You can make a toggle clasp with those, couldn't you? If you've got odds and ends of seed beads and, you know, as you say, yeah. um, uh, bits of metal, wire work. Oh, my God. This is just awesome, isn't it? Yeah. So many wonderful ways in which to use these. Three ninety nine for you today. Ten opportunities remain. They are flying out the door. Absolutely gorgeous. Well done. You can make them with birthstones in. Um, what about fabric? How does fabric work? Uh, uh, absolutely fine. When the, the, the only thing with fabric is you may get more air bubbles 
okay. in the fabric. So you can do things like seal it. So you can seal it with perhaps a bit of hairspray or something like that. That yeah. will help prevent the air from coming out of the fabric. Yes. But I would say, you know how I was saying, fill the mould slowly. Um, and I would pre you know, press the fabric in slowly, press it in, yes. and then allow those bubbles to come out, then fill more just do it yes. gradually yes that's the best the best I'm thinking idea wedding really. dresses or veils things like that yes. perfume bottles i haven't seen these before these are gorgeous they're cute <clears throat> aren't they lovely you could put um your mica at the bottom to make it look like it's got I perfume in it or have it kind of swishing maybe at an angle how lovely would that be gorgeous perfume bottle um and these are these are like beautiful little powder puffs don't they or clouds almost they mm. are gorgeous Nice. They're just brilliantly done, these moulds. I love these. But I'm just thinking as well, if you wanted to make, um, you know, if you wanted to use it with icing, if you wanted to make a cake maybe for a teenager, maybe mm. a teenage girl or something like that, things that she loves, maybe she loves perfume, makeup, whatever it might be. What a lovely way to decorate a cake. Yeah. Um, just absolutely wonderful. There's no limitations here whatsoever. It's just your imagination. Let it go. It's just wonderful being able to bring you this today. Um, well done everybody oh Gemma that looks amazing it's getting there I mean this is you know this isn't um a high a high voltage yes. UV lamp it's just a torch so you know if you had your nail the one for the nails or the specific one it'd be much quicker well, I was, but it's a big piece and it's curing still exactly so, I, you know. I was in um two pounds for the perfume bottles I was in Boots the other day and they do sell the um and they do yeah. sell the um the lamps and if you and if you get the ones that aren't battery powered, if you get the ones that are plug in, then they're even better, aren't they? Because yeah. they're going to be much, much higher yeah. wattage, yeah. aren't they? Definitely so, a plug in one. So, um, and, and, and of course, it means that, you know, if you get the actual nail one, you can just leave it there. Yeah. Uh, and you don't have to kind of stand there holding, yeah. holding, the, holding the torch. Um, you can always enlist the help of a child, obviously. Uh, but, uh, but yes, um, uh, but yeah, if you've got a UV torch, then perfect. We will try and get more of the UV torch and uh, lamps in stock uh, so you can use them. Uh, but, uh, but yeah. I'm afraid we've got to kind of mm. need to us today. I think it's. I, I think I'm close enough to be able to show you how this has worked. If if you want to have a look. So um, if we look from from, I'm going showing you from oh, the back because this is how it was intended. Um, <laughs> we got the flowers in there. Love that. Um, and that was on the first layer. So what what I did is put, popped a little bit little bit of resin down first, yes, a bit of distance from you know the flowers, and that will give you that um, sort of magnified look as well. Yes, and then pop some flowers, and then another layer, and then put some um, put some glitter. So the glitter is sort of in the background. It's not all they're not it's not all one level. So it Love gives you that lovely that. depth, um, and then. So it's, it's it's still a bit tacky, but it's it's not too bad. And that's you know that's look at the depth on that. It's, Isn't it's a very that gorgeous. Um, so there. So what we could do um, is so <laughs> yeah, I can put it down. So if we want to add um, oh a finding, a finding yes. to this now, there's Good a couple one. of things we could do. This is the top, sorry. So this is the back. There's a couple of things we could do. Yeah. We can either drill a hole because you know it's it's fine to drill into into resin. So you'd wait and you'd just drill maybe um, you know a half drill so that you can put a peg in or a screw and yes. um, eye loop or something into it. So you could do that. But if you wanted to sort of embed a, a jump ring, yeah, just um, just just on screen right at the minute as, as a one. bead mould, just to let you know, so you can make your own resin beads, which are absolutely awesome, awesome, awesome. So get those, add them onto your order. They are one ninety nine. Just trying to find <clears throat> find a jump ring. Gorgeous. So these are your so these are your bead moulds for just one ninety nine. I mean, just amazing. A friend of mine had a lovely uh, resin bead necklace, which she wore years and years ago. Um, it had lots of lovely kind of newspaper clippings in it, which were all magnified. Oh, it just looked absolutely beautiful. That's nice. What are you looking for, lovely? A jump ring. I think I've found this. I can use this. I found instead. a something or other. I found a, f a finding. Gorgeous. Right. So if I, I want to, say, attach this into um, my resin, I can Lovely. pop that there. Now, it's probably going to be best in this instance to put it back in the mould so it doesn't fall off. Ah, yeah, or yeah, just good call. Prop it up. Okay, so I can um, pop that in there. I pop this back in. 
Square trinket mold. Ah, this is this is the big one. This is I love this. Yeah, this, that's fabulous. Great that for way. putting yes, little trinkets in, salt and pepper, herbs, spices. Uh, great to make little wedding presents with them, things like that. These are just gorgeous little pencil pots, pen pots. Put photographs on either edge if you want to. You need to be a little bit careful of kind of how you're going to fit them in there, but you know, just just wonderful. It's trial and error, really. Um, I like the idea of kind of doing lovely ombre colours. Yeah. Um, beautiful. Okay, so you've got your. So I've got just a little spot of resin. So I'm, I'm basically going to use it like a glue. Yeah. But you won't see the joins. You, you won't, when you put a layer of resin on, you won't see that it's in a layer or that there's a separate, separate patch of it. So I could just pop that finding on there, get it embedded. I'll pop a little bit over the top as well, just to make sure that it's fully in there. Yeah. And you know, if I wanted to create this so that it was all at the same level, I could just push that resin all the way over the surface as well to, so that, to taper it in. So or, that was another question I was going to ask. So this does have kind of almost a doming quality it, to it, doesn't yes. it? Which is so wonderful. Yeah, it does. And what you do if you want to dome is you just sort of push it out to the edges. So you just sort of push the resin around. Yes. So that it comes out to the edges. And again, you want to make sure, try and get rid of any bubbles as you go. But that just, it, it's, it's seamless. That's the lovely yes. thing is you can keep adding and you never see where, where it went. And of course, the other lovely thing about it is you can polish resin, you can Well, someone's asked it. how to get the, um, the sharp, if you've got any sharp edges, how do you get that off? So you just use a needle file. And I have specific needle files for different materials. So yes. I wouldn't use my metal needle files for my resin. Of course, um, yeah. But needle files to get the really rough parts off and then you can get like fine grit sandpaper and a, a great place to get that is a, a car body repair shops okay so it's really um, super fine super fine and you you can use it wet and that stops the scratching yes because that would be the thing i'd worry yeah, about you can go all the way down your grits until you get a super fine polish brilliant so, brilliant yeah. Um, two ninety nine for your uh, gorgeous uh, square trinket mould. This really is a lovely one. So useful. Um, get as much of the resin as you can because you will, you know, you will become obsessed with it a little bit. Um, it is one of those things that you'll just want to make resin gifts for absolutely, uh, for absolutely everybody for Christmases, for birthdays, all that kind of stuff. Uh, you know, once you've started doing it, it's just it's just wonderful. Uh, so that's gorgeous to see. OK, so I've got an octagonal one now, which is just blooming lovely. This is mm. octagonal uh, nice. pots. <clears throat> Isn't that lovely? So literally pour your resin into here and you've got that lovely octagonal shape. Isn't that gorgeous? Well done. Um, I can imagine people making, oh, I don't know, would you be able to? Hmm, I'm just trying to think. I mean, definitely interior design projects. Mm -hmm. You can make a big bead, I suppose, couldn't you? And put oh, yeah. yarn through it or something like that. Good, that yeah. would be nice. Yeah, um, like a napkin ring or something. Oh, that's a good idea. Yes, yeah. a napkin. Is it self kind of leveling? Will it always, if it's if you keep yeah. it on a flat surface, will it dry flat? Yeah, it will level. You may get a little bit of rising at the edges. Okay, yes. Uh, where it's, I think it's, what is it called, omniferance or something? Yes, with the surface it, tension, it, yes. It, it sort of sits at the sides and that's when you would need to trim it. And you can trim the main excess with scissors and then just polish or file oh, off. Oh, fantastic. File off the rest of it. Um, also, if you can't get a really high polish on the surface you can just put a very thin layer of resin over and cure it and that gives you a, a high polish oh that's fantastic and that's a good idea for fixing scratched stones as well oh. so if you've got a gemstone that's scratched uh, or nice. gone dull you can just coat it in a very fine layer of resin it will protect it and it will bring that lovely shine back up oh that's too. gorgeous it's a great great uh, tips aren't they let's do we've got um which number is that lovely Oh, oh, now this mould here, this is lovely. Uh, these are great. Um, yeah, we've still got some more resin to play, don't worry. These are lovely. Do you get a certain, um, is certain moulds that you use going to give you a shinier finish or is that, or, 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 was, or did that used to be with polymer clay? I think that was with polymer, wasn't it? It's the same. Is it's it the same? same? Yeah, okay. if you've got a really glossy mould, it's going to give you that really glossy finish. So this one here, for instance, yeah. is going to give you a glossy finish. Yeah. I mean, to be honest, all of these, all of these have got a lovely, very smooth, glossy um, 
finish. Finish inside. So yes. Yeah, they're going to give you a nice smooth. These, are, I mean, these would make wonderful. Um, I mean, just using your technique with the uh, adding findings in. Little photo, little photographs, or, or oh, marbles. That's a lovely idea. Yeah. Yes, you could do half, half in one colour, half, half and in half. another colour. What a lovely you idea. Can. These I've used before. Um, smarties. Use your handy Andy. Make just simple um, wire work ring shanks. Yes. And then just use your handy Andy to hold them into the into the mould whilst you pour resin, and you have little cabochon cabochon look rings. That's a lovely idea. Yeah. Do that. There's so many ways in which you can use this. This really is brilliant. And and I think as well, um, you know, sup under supervision, you know, you know, if you've got kids who are kind of like, I don't know, seven, eight, nine, ten, you know, even as young as that, you can you can, you know, they can make the most beautiful pieces. Absolutely gorgeous. And they'll be so proud of them. This flower mold is absolutely gorgeous. Wonderful heading towards spring, Mother's Day, cake toppers. People are making, you know, there's more people nowadays making um kind of cake toppers which uh, which you know are going to be kept, which are going to be cherished, passed go away, passed down through generations, and um, and being able to make something using these, just love it. I love that sunflower. That's gorgeous. Oh, are you? Oh, there we go. Neri's getting married in Greece. Oh, oh lucky you. No, when it, when is your wedding, Neri? Twenty ninth of not May. long. Oh, darling. So we can't bring the cake home, but he's going to bring the cake topper home. Oh, that's nice, yeah. How lovely is the, that? The hotel lost my nephew's cake. We went back for it to have cake the next day, and it was gone. That was in Greece. Oh, God, oh, that looked like the most amazing wedding. It was. It was it absolutely joyous. wonderful. joyous. It was beautiful. Right, so someone ate it, or did they throw it away? <laughs> we don't know where it went. That's really yeah, yeah, it just disappeared. We went back to have oh, some, gosh. and it was gone. Could you use this with, um, I know nothing about kind of ceramics or pottery and like that. Could you use this with kind of your clays? Yeah. Yeah, anything that you can push into there. I mean, just wash it out after. Um, uh, some of these are dishwasher safe. I don't know if they say, but a, a lot of the silicone moulds are, are dishwasher safe, but they're certainly fine in the, in the sink with some warm soapy water. Yeah. Swirl them out and then, and then just let them dry naturally. Don't try and dry them because you get little bits of lint and cloth in there. Ah, oh, that's a really, so yeah, let them air dry. Let them air dry. Um, when you, uh, so if you were to use this mould here with the resin. Yeah. Um, presumably, you obviously use the UV light. Um, is it going to is it going to cure quicker in a see through mould? Would you think? I would say yes. I I would say yes. I, um, because it's I don't think the any UV light would get through that. No, it that wouldn't pink. permeate it. But would it? you know, if you left this in the sun, this the UV would go straight yes. through. So well, I suppose these are much more shallow, aren't they? So they're yeah. probably going to cure quicker anyway. I but they um, will cure quickly, but. Yeah, just I mean, just I mean, just just something to think about. I love those sunflowers. They're so they're so um, they're so crisp, so defined. Uh, right, okay, this is going to go wild. More resin, uh, two hundred mil of UV resin. This stuff is absolutely amazing. So we've got the big bottle that we bought you. You've got the you've got the kind of uh, next one down here. I would say just get uh, get as many of these as you can. Um, does the resin? Does it have, it doesn't look like it does. It doesn't look like it has an expiry date or anything. What would you say if you open the resin? Would, how long did you have well, to work with it, would you say? I've had a small <coughs> a small bottle, like about half the size. Of like this one? That. Yeah, yeah, that one, that yeah. exact one. Yeah. And I've had that quite a long time. I'd say over, well over a year and it's still absolutely fine. Okay. Um, so I th so long as you don't store it in direct sunlight or anywhere warm, you yes. don't want to get it too hot. Um, and you always put the black top, you know, keep the yes. keep the top on. Um, the reason it's black is so that no UV penetrates it. So it. keep yes. it in a cupboard, um, not not too hot, and mm -hmm. it should last. Nice one, fantastic. Fourteen ninety nine. That's for two hundred grams of your. I mean, you are literally gonna, you are gonna be spoilt for choice with all of these molds today, with all of these incredible pieces. Uh, good morning. Go oh, sorry. Can you show that again, Neri? No. I don't know, Danny, it's just gone off. 
Good morning, gorgeous ladies and fabulous crew. So good to see you back, Gemma. I adore the resin from Gemma. It's endless what you can do with it, says Mandy. Yeah, it really is. You do become a little bit obsessed with it, don't you? You kind of wander around the house looking yeah. for things to resin. The things to uh, you know, little memories or whatever it might be. It's great for Absolute ceiling paintings gorgeous. as well. I like to... Like, so when I, you know, I do the alcohol ink paintings. Oh. So when I've got a picture that I, I'm not using the whole thing, I'm just painting a certain area, I've got a little bit left. Yes. And so I will just pop a bit of resin on a cutter disc or a square. And yes. Pop a bit of resin on it and then suddenly it's a, a cabochon or something I can use in a piece of jewellery. Ooh. So you can do that. You can, you know, do cover little bits of paintings that you've got left over. Oh, that's a fantastic idea. Yes. Oh, my word. What are we doing as a start by? What is it? Okay, last final pack of resin coming up. It's a star buy. Okay, so um, this this pack of um, uh, this bottle of sixty grams of resin. It's going to be the most affordable way to get involved with resin today. The, um, so please just get it. If you've come through to get the big one, that's wonderful. You can always decant it into the smaller, into the smaller one uh, to make it a little bit more usable. Um, comes with a little, really useful little nib on top as well because you don't want to be pouring, you know, a great big amount of it um, straight in. Even if you've got the big one, get the small one as well. You will never, ever, ever be uh, sorry about that because honestly, you will become obsessed with resin. It's just gorgeous. Um, yours today, £4.99. pence. Well done to everybody. Rebecca, Josie, Maker, Linda, Carol, Lynn, Maker, Gabrielle, uh, Margaret, Noreen, Susan, Maker, in Ayrshire, £4.99. pence. Oh, Gemma, I love what you're doing there with the tea. I'm doing Tom a tea. Oh, look, she's doing you a tea, Tom. So you can see. Ooh, but that's, Isn't that lovely? I'm just dropping that powder. I've just dropped a couple of tiny drops of the alcohol in. Gosh, it's that goes so such strong. a long way. And I'm just going to swirl it with a bit of that blue powder. Blue just, just to let you know as well, what Gemma's using is the very first kind of almost little kit that we bought you um it is it is um it is uh, uh absolutely brilliant there's still some available we'll probably end up bringing that kit back to air as well before the end of the hour just uh neary <clears throat> would we be able to play that little kit again before the end of the hour just so people can come through and get it um Fantastic. Well done. Oh, the phone lines on the web have gone absolutely nuts. This four ninety nine for your resin today. Well done, everybody. Go, go, go. Uh, it's just wonderful. Uh, with a 36 uh, watt UV manicure light set for three to five minutes, it can be cured or a UV torch. If you've got that, you can easily pick up one of those UV um, nail lights uh, from, from Boots and other chemists. I would say as well, it's a really good investment to have, particularly the ones that you plug into the wall, uh, just because they're going to be a little bit stronger and you don't have to sit there with a the torch. It's well worth getting. If you're going to be doing resin, yeah. just get one. Uh, you know, they're not they're not ridiculously expensive. Um, the higher the watt number, the better the effect. This product has excellent surface drying effect, no yellowing, easy defoaming and uh, drying, uh, uh, sorry, and fast curing speed. Yeah. It's mainly used for making crystal crafts, pendants, DIY, handicraft is suitable for making personalized handicrafts and easy to operate, non-toxic and harmless. Um, yeah, it's, I mean, it's just, it's just absolutely, it's, it's a wonderful, wonderful resin to use. Mm -hmm. um, we have had resin before that you had to, do you remember the resin you had to mix? Mix, yeah. Uh, which was wonderful, but this is just so much easier. It's great, but I'm, I'm too impatient for that. I can't stop myself from putting my finger in it. Yeah, that's it, that isn't long. it? Um, So, you know, and also if you've got pets, it's hard to keep the hairs from yes, being attracted. Right. It's almost like they're attracted to the resin. So yeah. the fact that this, you can do this really quickly is brilliant. Oh, I just love it. It's just, it's just absolutely wonderful. Oh, yes, we've got a lovely little accessory kit now. Now, these are... Oh, look, it's a brush! Oh, oh my gosh, that's adorable. Oh! Oh, you know the little perfume bottles you yes. had earlier? Yes. You can make a comb, and then you can embellish it with the little perfume bottles and gemstones. That would be so cute. That is utterly adorable. Isn't that cute? Oh, look! Little, beautiful little accessories. Uh, you literally just uh, fill these full of resin, do whatever you want on there. And then, of course, you can adhere them onto your clips. 
Oh, look, little feathers. Would a feather work in resin? Yes. It would? Oh, yes. I said, you know, I don't know if you remember. Oh, where is it? I didn't bring it with me. I had the feather that I found uh, in when I went to Auschwitz and it fell and I set that because it was a really powerful moment. I just set that feather so I can keep it forever. It was, you know, and that was pretty My special. gosh. Mm. My gosh, Gemma. Wow. Yeah, I was very nervous mm. doing it, but it, I've seen other, I saw other people and I researched. Wow. And it, and it was absolutely fine. It, it, it Gemma, that's settled amazing. Settled beautifully. Oh, my gosh. You've got all your lovely hair. Gosh, that's so powerful. You've got your beautiful little accessories here. Lots of lovely clips. So obviously, these don't need to be hair clips. They can be, you know, tie clips, whatever you want. They're just gorgeous. And there you go. Loads and loads and loads of them uh, in gold, silver, different sizes, black. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, um, we're just literally bringing this other toolkit to air very quickly. Uh, this is, oh, I know the one, I know the one, I know the one. So this is, if you've got, if you want to mix your resin before you put it into your molds, or if you do have the resin that we were talking about earlier on, which is your resin that you need to mix with the hardener. Um, lovely, here we go. Um, so you've got here, your mi oh, man alive. Your mixing pots. So you've got a load, you've got two of those. These are great if you want to mix your resin, like I say, or if you've got the old style resin, which you mix with the hardener. There's your mixing pots. You've got little kind of miniature little mixing pots here as well, which are utterly adorable, actually. They're gorgeous. Okay, uh, you've got your lollipop sticks, which of course you need if you're going to be mixing them with your hardener or if you want to mix colours in or micas in. Mm -hmm. uh, and you've got a lovely pair of tweezers as well, which are just fantastic. So for picking up things like your dried flowers, well done, gorgeous. We are going to bring you the embellishment kit as well. Let's bring that back. Okay, 684. Uh, we did have an image of it, uh, Dan, I wonder, because Gemma's using some of this. So, um, so we do have an image of it. There we go. So this is your embellishment kit where you get the two loads of glitter, which Gemma's used, and you get your beautiful blue mica, and you get your two loads of dried flowers, and you get your purple and white alcohol inks as well. So really great that you get all of that in one pack for £6.84. This is going to give you so much uh, it's just going to give you so much inspiration. And those glitters and those micas and those alcohol inks are going to last for ages. Yes. I mean, you see, they? I'm literally dipping a, a cocktail stick into yes. here to pick up the colour. And cocktail sticks are really great for applying your alcohol ink when you want to swirl because... Um, the wood or those little sticks you've got, the wood sort of absorbs the oh, paint absorbs it. Yes, and helps course. you drag it through. So it, instead of getting lot, you know, in intense areas, you can be really controlled with how you how you drop that in. This so, is just this has just been so lovely to see, has it? So, it's been so much fun. It really is fun, and every piece is going to be different. There's real magic about these pieces and whatever you whatever you want to set into them, just go for it. Any other questions you've got for Gemma, please do let us know. Um, please do not go anywhere. Coming up, we have got the most incredible, which of course would go with the resin, the most, oh my gosh, Ollie, these recordings are beautiful. The most amazing black opal deal of the day. You put your black opal with the resin, it's just going to magnify that yeah. quality. Yeah. Uh, so don't go so are we going to a quick break? Yeah, don't go anywhere. We will see you in a second for the most amazing deal of the day and we'll catch up with Gemma and how she's getting on with that resin as well. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30-day money-back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, this coming Wednesday, it's Claire McDonald's 
birthday show. Make sure you tune in for what will be an absolutely amazing five hours of treats. We have a mega bundle of soldable accents and gem setting bracelet kits. Your deal of the day is the beautiful blue chalcedony. Plus, anybody who buys during the show is in with a chance of winning a goodie bag worth over a hundred pounds. So make sure you tune in, join the celebrations for Claire's birthday. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. It's a new year, so that can only mean one thing. It's time for those new year resolutions. And it's the perfect time to start a new hobby. Jewellery Maker, Sewing Street and Hobby Maker are here whether you're starting something new or advancing your skills on a current hobby. With all the tools you need to start, as well as expert demonstrations from our great guests. Are you starting a new hobby this January? Share your new makes with us by tagging Jewelry Maker, Hobby Maker or Sewing Street using the hashtag New Year New Hobby. And watch us every day from 8am to 1pm on Jewelry Maker. On Hobby Maker, 6 to 8am and 1 to 6pm. And 8am to 1pm on Sewing Street. We were all just saying what a wonderful, what a wonderful nine o'clock hour that was. That was so lovely to watch just Gemma just playing. And it was just, it's so lovely. And it's wonderful that we've, that all these people have now got resin to work with. Yeah, you're gonna have so much fun. It is, it's you one really of those are. things I just, just, just play. I mean, this is so much resin. Mm. You, can, you can have so much fun just experimenting and playing with it. And yeah, just, yeah, and get a good lamp. Yes, get a good lamp, yes. It makes it so quick. You don't have to wait. You don't have to be impatient. You can just... Yes. It's done. <laughs> it's so quick. Exactly. Now, we've got our deal of the day today, which I think is going to go beautifully with the resin. I don't know whether, whether we should. I, mean, I think it would be amazing if we put some of the opal with the resin. Um, we have got the most beautiful deal of the day for you today. It's actually deals of the day because it is a full showcase of the most... Oh, my gosh. Of the most incredible black opal. Ollie's... Um, uh, got some recordings of these incredible pieces. And I purposely didn't really want to show you these recordings uh, first thing today. We wanted to kind of, oh, we wanted it to be just a really oh my lovely, oh, wow. I lost my opal <clears throat> from my ring. It snapped and I lost the opal. So I need, I need a new one of those. That's absolutely amazing. Look at this. So I'm not even facing this towards you. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh my gosh, look at the, oh my word. Sorry, I've literally just lost my mind. <laughs> oh, Ollie. Isn't it beautiful? Look at this. Oh my gosh, that's the best opal I've ever seen in my entire life. Jedi red opal. That, that's the back of the opal as well. Look at the front. Look at the front. That's amazing. That is 
That's like dichroic. You know when dichroic yes. glass tries to look like opal and it does it intensely? It's like that, isn't it? Ooh. That's amazing. I've never seen anything like that in my entire life. Now, um, all of this opal. <laughs> where do you even start with... Oh, hello. Where do you even start with this opal? Mm, look at that. Where do you even start with this opal? It was around about a year ago, uh, just under a year ago, actually. Wayne, Wayne Del Paso, our uh, head gemstone buyer. My gosh, that's so good. Our sales manager. And Scott Stone, our managing director, went to um, Jaipur. And they went to Jaipur with a list of things that they wanted to find and talk to various different um, contacts about, contacts that we'd had for years, and also to build new contacts as well, to build new relationships. And when they, they, were, they were only there for, I think it was about five days, and they came back and they were both buzzing, buzzing. They were absolutely, oh my gosh, and we've got, and we've got this, and we've ordered this, and we're hopefully going to get this, and we did a deal on this. And it was absolutely amazing. Um, and they were showing us uh, footage, images, uh, little videos that they'd taken of these strands that they'd been shown and had been prepared for them, and this and the other. But the one thing that really stuck in my mind, and the one thing that they were literally harping on and on and on about was this incredible parcel of black opal that they had been offered. And this parcel of black opal was unlike anything else they'd ever seen before. They were offered it in different sizes and shapes. We had some nuggets, we had some incredible coins, some rounds, we had the gorgeous cabochons. Um, it has taken us a year, pretty much, to get it in stock. They went February last year, so it's taken 11 months to get this showcase here at Jewelry Maker. This has been a labor of love for our team out in Jaipur. And it's, what it's done is it's, it's created new relationships with new contacts, which have been absolutely wonderful. These are the same contacts that we use to source those incredible raindrop beads. Do you remember those? Really high quality raindrop beads. Um, this, by the way, is a whole parcel of the cabochons. Oh my gosh, that's just incredible. <clears throat> so exciting was this parcel that we just filmed all of it, all of it. I mean, it's, it is just literally like, it is magic, as Gemma said earlier on, it is magic. Um, now, what is black opal? I've got, I've got some slides to show you, which we can just kind of go through, but I mean, really, Really what you need to see, what we need to be doing is bringing all of this to air. So look at this first slide. Body tone is one of the most important factors in the classification and valuation of opals. It refers to the backdrop or the underlying color of the opal, which ranges from dark to light. Generally opals with a black or dark body tone are more valuable than those with a white, light or crystal body tone because the stone with a darker body tone uh, tends to display colors more vibrantly. That makes complete sense, doesn't it? Black opal is the most prized type of opal and may earn, price, uh, may earn prices over 10,000 US dollars a carat. Boulder opals also have a dark body tone, but not quite as valuable, whilst white opals have a light body tone and are generally the least valuable of all opals. Now, this is a great website to go on. You can go on it. You don't need a special login or anything, but this is a great website called Gemval. And it's all about uh, gemstone valuations and gemstone prices per carat within the marketplace. Um, this, is a, this is an interesting little kind of excerpt, which I'll read out. These prices were set January 2023. So we're talking this month. We're talking really current uh, valuations. Ethiopian opal is a type of opal mined in Ethiopia, which can be found in a few distinct uh, varieties, such as precious fine or, or, or black opal. It can be found in a few provinces. Uh, and the first deposits were discovered in 94. I wasn't aware of that, actually. I thought it was all 2008 onwards, uh, but it was 2008 and 2013 as well. Precious opal from Ethiopia often demonstrates an impressive uh, uh, colour display. 
Um, it tends to be lower in price than Australian Opal. And I think that's because Australian Opal has dominated the, 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 the world market for Opal for, for centuries. Um, and that's, you know, that's absolutely, uh, uh, that's absolutely right. Um, here is just a couple of little clips. And I found myself just watching these clips yesterday. It was, it was, it was fascinating. Opal Hunters. Um, this is obviously over in Australia, but it's, it's really interesting. These guys are amazing. Um, but just have a look at the, the kind of the, the, um, the, um, the, uh, the, uh, the titles of these clips. Uh, have the fire crew just found their fortune with a new black opal source? Add back Opal Hunters. Uh, Parcel of black opal valued at over 80k. Uh, so you've got these kind of these kind of uh, um, headings, and it's fascinating. And the quality that they find is absolutely beautiful. Um, we were very very lucky um, uh, that back in uh, uh, kind of um, uh, the, the kind of mid 2000s that we were able um, we were able to go to Ethiopia. And this had been a country which Steve Bennett, the founder of Gempori, had always wanted to go to. But there were lots of things standing in his way, such as uh, visas being granted, but also things like um, getting filming permission, uh, getting, you know, a, a, a permission to, uh, to take a film crew over to places like Ethiopia as well, uh, which the government had always really been against. It had always been very, very difficult to get those, uh, to get those visas granted. However... Um, within, uh, with, you know, very, very quickly this happened. Um, Steve was given about four days notice. Uh, pack your bags, we're going to Ethiopia and, and we're going to be, and we're going to be meeting some of the gemstone prospectors over there who are mining uh, this incredible legendary source of opal um, in one of the most uh, beautiful but dangerous environments uh, in, in gemstone mining history. Um, although this gemstone had kind of had kind of premiered in in um, um, over in the east, because of course over in the east, um, um, opal is absolutely massive. We were the very first gem, uh, Western gem dealers and gem buyers, I should say, uh, to make the uh, journey over to Ethiopia. And it's mined in, an, in a very, very different way to Australian opal. It's mined um, uh, uh, literally um, on the edge of a ravine. Uh, Kubipedi and Australian opal, you tend to dig down and you get these huge piles of earth and then you excavate through the earth. Whereas with Ethiopian opal, you're literally digging into the side of of a cliff, basically. That's basically it. Have a look at this slide. Um, this is from, and, and I'd urge anybody to read this article which Steve wrote, because it really is fascinating, right from the beginning, right to the end, and all about how this is cut um, over in Jaipur as well, and, and what a wonderful, it, it, it's pretty much all cut by female uh, lapidrists as well, this opal, which, is, which I wasn't aware of. It's really fascinating. Um, we just climbed 3,000 metres, that's higher than most of the mountains in the Alps. And at 3,000 metres in Europe, uh, there is snow everywhere on the ground all year round. But here, the daytime temperature is still in the 20s. And we were about to arrive at a village of over 7,000 inhabitants, all living at more than 3,000 metres. Now, 3,000 metres is higher than most what most birds will fly at. Um, and quite often, um, uh, you won't see... Um, any air traffic whatsoever. So when Steve and the team got the drone out and started to film uh, these incredible vistas, like vistas you've never seen before in your life, um, the locals, even the donkeys, they said, were going absolutely wild and just staring at this drone. And it was just incredible. These people very, very rarely make their way down the mountainside. They live at 3,000 metres above sea level and they don't, tend to, they don't tend to make that journey down, down to sea level. Why would, why would you? You've got everything you need there. You can farm up there. You can live up there. You can uh, do your day-to-day um, uh, -day -day business up there, uh, which is wonderful. There are lots of teams of miners who work in groups of about half a dozen. You can't really work in bigger groups than that because it's such dangerous work. But you have to scale, abseil down the, the first part of the ravine and then walk along. I mean, I, I would be very frightened of doing this. Oh, yes. Walk <laughs> along a ledge like this with nothing but a sheer drop the other side of you. These guys are, these guys are experts at what they do um, and they're mining for this incredible gemstone. Gemstones that look like, Michael hasn't seen this yet. Gemstones which look like this. That's insane, isn't it? And 
It takes time. It takes time. One of the miners said to Steve, um, because he was because they were saying how much how much opal is mined, you know, day on day. And he said, you can't look at it like that. Steve, you have a watch and here in Ethiopia, we have time. And it takes weeks, months sometimes to hit that scene. I've, I've got goosebumps thinking about it. Just imagine the, the, the kind of the, the, the kind of the feeling of finding that 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 pocket. And you have a gem here, which is basically fossilized water. Um, you've, you've got at the bottom of this ravine, the Blue Nile River, which once upon a time would have been level with the top of the plateau, but has worked its way down to the bottom of this ravine over millions and millions, billions of years. And the water would have um, uh, kind of seeped through the cracks in the earth, rainwater and the river water, and then would have hit something very hard like ironstone, which is where you get things like boulder opal. And it would have hit something like ironstone, which it can't permeate through and it would have come to rest. But rather than drying out, it fossilizes and it calcifies and it mixes with all the goodness in the silica, in the soil, in the real dirt. And you get this incredible fossilized water. What you are looking at here are perfect spheres of silica, which range in sizes. They only range in sizes by about a micron or so. But depending on the size of the microns, you will get different colors, warm, cold. Uh, you will get different forms of color play as well. It is my absolute pleasure to bring these to you today. I've got a few different strands. We've got these incredible coins coming your way. These have got some of the rarest color play qualities. I don't think I actually prepared a slide about the color play um, slides, but I was reading about it yesterday. Can I just have a have the click about, darling? Thank you. Um, no, I didn't. But it was talking, it was a little article about uh, different types of colour play, whether it's pin fire, so those pin pricks, whether it's um, uh, those kind of flashes that you get, those lovely kind of transitional flashes. But then you get these full colour ones, which are called harlequin, where you tend to get two kind of different colours stitched together, or it inhabits the entirety of the surface. And that's called harlequin colour. It's one of the rarest colours that you can get in any opal, whether it's white, black, boulder, whatever it is. And you have got an entire strand here with the most incredible, incredible tones. The body colour, the quality you are getting here today, absolutely incredible. The clarities you are getting here, absolutely beautiful. The size and the shapes you are getting here are absolutely magnificent. And I've, I've, I've never seen opal like this where the face of the opal is so large and there's so much of those gorgeous, those gorgeous blues, those gorgeous greens. Um, they're absolutely stunning. We've already got people coming through to get this, which is really exciting to see. Um, <clears throat> we do have gorgeous made up jewelry with uh, the uh, strands that we've got for you today. Oh my gosh, these blues are incredible, Gemma, that's, aren't they? That's what I'm loving about, uh, about this particular strand is that it's almost like a London blue. Yes. You've got running through, haven't you? It's such, it's such a moody blue. And then all of a sudden you just get that little surprise of a flash of um, red, you know, which looks, seems so bizarre in that deep yeah. blue, doesn't it? Yeah, it really, it really, gorgeous. And, and you get, and you get these, as you say, these gorgeous London blues. Yeah. Look at that. These incredible Lovely. spring green, they are absolutely amazing. And they are beautifully faceted as well, aren't they? Yeah. Lovely, and that, that lovely, I mean, the flat, the flat coins are such a lovely shape to work with. They sit so nicely on the skin. Yes. They're very comfortable for bracelets, anklets, things mm. like that. Because they, you know, they don't protrude, but it's just absolutely gorgeous. They really are stunning, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. We are, we are starting off um, at a price point, and I will show you some price points as we go throughout this showcase. I will show you some, um, some, some price comparisons, and they are, they are absolutely you know, wonderful and they're absolutely fair play, but my word, the, 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 the deals we're going to be bringing you today, amazing. Look at that. Drink that in. Isn't that beautiful? Gorgeous.
So we've got Norfolk, we've got Worcestershire, Tyne and Weir, City of Bristol, Greater London, Greater London, Cumbria. Can I just say as well, you know, these have taken as well, these have taken over 11 months to get these in stock. Um, I, I think as well, but, and that's a really good point actually, Ollie, with, your, with the black opal, what I think is so nice about this is it's, anyone can wear it, but with the, with the, um, with your kind of whiter opal, it tends to be a little bit more feminine, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, I think I think it does. Yeah, it's more yeah, for it's, kind of everyone, yeah, isn't it? This is it's generally, yeah. I think it is a bit more feminine the white one, but definitely, it definitely is. And look, the colours pop so much against the darker background, don't they? Which is just incredible, isn't that gorgeous? Yeah, there's your ring. I mean, isn't that just? I mean, it's absolutely incredible, isn't it? Just beautiful. We're at two four nine. Earrings in white gold, here we go. Yeah, lovely in white gold, beautiful, gorgeous. 259, beautiful, really lovely. Gorgeous quality, yeah, set with white gold, really lovely. This is for the whole strand, by the way. 30 second clock coming your way. We're gonna give you the lowest possible price. Mary, well done to you, Margaret, Gillian, Barbara, Janice, Maker, Susan, I can see you all there, well done to you. Absolutely fantastic. We will be taking these as low as we possibly can today. Today, on Jewelry Maker, today, we are taking this below a hundred pounds. It is unthinkable, I know. It's yours today. Go, go, go. Susan, well done to you. Loads of you coming through. 99.99. Go, 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 go. Absolutely brilliant. Gabrielle, well done to you as well. There's more of you there. If you've got twos and threes in your baskets. By the way, how many do you reckon we commissioned of this strand? 200, 300, no, 50. 50. 50 of this strand that is it and it is flying out the door can I just say as well you know this is this is the black opal you know all of this parcel that we're going to be bringing you today this incredible showcase they were so excited about this black opal over and above almost any other gemstone that they saw over in Jaipur and that was um that was um um, uh, Wayne and Scott, you know, Wayne, you know, has been working with gemstones for, for years and years and years and being able to bring you something of this caliber is something so, so, so special. The most beautiful quality, the most beautiful deal for you today. Well done to you. So watch what happens when you start to put light on it as well. Look at that beautiful, intense colors. And then when you start to put light on it, it literally just starts to pop. That colour just starts to pop. They really come out. Those teals are amazing. I love, love those teals. It's like a Guatemalan jade, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, my gosh. Now, we've got a 60-second clock. Oh, it's coming. And I've got one more price for you. 37 opportunities available. This is just beautiful. This is such a refined... Such a gorgeous quality of opal that you are going to be getting here today. And it's going to be yours. We're saving you even more money today. Well done to you, Kath in Tyne and Weir. Well done to you, Karen in East Sussex. Well done. Lots of multi bidders. This is really, really lovely to see. Oh my gosh, look at that sparkle. It's beautiful. Not, it's not what I would expect to get from opal. You don't no. expect sparkle, do you? No, it's gorgeous. Absolutely wonderful. I think we need to give you one of these for your resin. Oh, my word. Well done. Go, go, go. Karen, Sandra, we're going to take every single penny off this that we possibly can. Um, yeah, we really should not be doing this. You know, we went to, all, all the way to India for this. <laughs> you know, it isn't something that's been bought. 89.99. Well done. Gorgeous. Look at those split payments there. 29.99. Absolutely amazing. Go, go, go. Well done, everyone coming through. That is absolutely brilliant. Well done, everybody. What a treat for you today. Now, you're going to be getting your 30-day money-back guarantee. You're also um, only paying 3 dollars per order. Um, and, just, and, just, and just enjoy, you know, at that price there, you know, for one gemstone, that's amazing. Tracy, well done to you as well. Absolutely brilliant. So, 50, so in literally 45 seconds, uh, we're, we're taking the details off screen. Well done to everybody. Go, go, go. What a trick for you today. Oh, my gosh, Gemma, I love what you're doing for that resin, by the way. I just, I can't, you know, you just can't. Stop. You just you can't just help like, yourself. Oh, just try that and I'll just put that in. 
<laughs> Gemma's just going nuts with the resin, by the way. Uh, distracted myself from stealing all the black opal as well. That Loads in... The other day. See, this is it. <laughs> I reckon we should give Gemma some of this opal to work with in her resin. Lynn, Maker, Linda, Tracy, Sharon, Sandra, Mary, Gillian, Janice, all in baskets. Check out. Well done, everybody. What an amazing deal for you today. Go, go, go. Absolutely superb. Enjoy every single one of you out there. Oh, my word. More people checking out. That's great to see. Well done. Yeah, there's still 12 chances remaining. There's loads in baskets. Oh, my word. Gorgeous. Well done, everybody. Oh, Gemma, I love that. Right. OK, we've got nuggets, we've got rounds. And of course, please don't forget. We've got these. In Which ones are we going to give to Gemma? <gasps> Oh my God, are we gonna give Gemma one of these? Right, that recording is amazing. But that, stupidly good. I mean, that, and that's backwards by the way, that's backwards. It's like Amalite. Isn't it? The, 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 the amount of colour you are getting in this is like amylite. It really is. Let's do another deal of the day. Skin? Uh, skin? Sting. Skunk. Sting. If I talk... Now, my children are seven and nine. They're wonderful. They still believe that my dad can push a pencil through his head. <laughs> they still believe that, okay? So we still believe that, you know, that the that, that, that grandfather, that, that my dad can literally put a pencil, whoop, you know, through his head. Aww. They still believe that, okay? <laughs> there are certain things they're clued up to, but God love them. Um, if I told them the secret to the universe was in this gemstone, yeah. I think, do you know what? I believe me. I, I, I actually do believe that. <laughs> we are going to give you a one minute. Ow! Little involuntary noise feeder. That is, I, I've, Gemma, I don't even know where to begin with this. Look at this rare gem black opals. Look at this. Chinese writing, Mintabi Harlequin, Harlequin, Chinese writing, Floral Harlequin, Peacock Harlequin, Ribbon Mackerel, Flag Harlequin, Broad Flash Chinese, Gem Harlequin, Rolling Mackerel. I mean, what, what are we looking at here? What is this? Holy Mackerel. Floral. Definite Peacock Harlequin. Floral Harlequin. Yeah, it's like it's got antimatter in it. <laughs> it's just literally, it is beyond. Pff, I mean, uh, there aren't enough superlatives. This is this is holographic almost, isn't it? Yes, that's exactly it. So beautiful. Right. The other one. Oh my gosh, this is exceptional. I'm going to pick this one up with my tweezers because it is a slightly thinner size, but just. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Oh my gosh! She whiz, Gemma! Just, they're just absolutely beautiful, aren't what they? Do you, where do you even start? I could lose an entire afternoon just gazing into these. Yeah. They are exceptional, exceptional. Okay, there is good news. Um, they can be yours. There is also bad news, though. Oh. 91 available. Now, this particular pack, you're getting two. You're, you're, you're going to be getting two free sizes. I'm going to put the lid back on this just so I can hold it up. Just show, I mean, I, 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 I can't even, I can't even. I, I, when Scott and Wayne went over to um, Jaipur last Feb, this was the consignment. This was the parcel that they were excited about over and above every other parcel of gemstones. We got these from the same suppliers that we got our raindrop gemstones from that we worked on that incredible collection with. And we bought them in rounds. We bought them in nuggets. We bought them in the coins. And of course, we got them in these incredible cabochons. 
Reminds me of the cat's pendant of the universe. Yes, in Men in Black, yeah. yes. Yeah. In-house designer, and you're bang on. The secret to the universe is on Orion's belt. So that's it. Yeah. That's exactly it. It's, it. it's so true. Now, we are going to be bringing you... Oh, my gosh, Gemma, I've got to get them out of the box. I mean, they are flying. Of course they are. Gemma, I mean, what... what? I mean, I, they're, they're just... They're amazing, aren't they? I would definitely bezel set them um, and put them in a ring or two rings or one massive statement ring, just because I want to stare at them. Sit just sitting there, just sitting there. They are, they are mesmerizing, yeah. absolutely mesmerizing. We're at 149 pounds. Let me show you a couple of these price comparisons, Neary. Um, just cause I, I just, I just want to, let's, let's just kind of go back. Black opal platinum ring on first dibs, absolutely exquisite. That's uh, 2,385 pounds and 65 pence. Look at this on Etsy, gorgeous Etsy piece. It's 157 pounds, that's for a lovely necklace, absolutely gorgeous. Nowhere near the kind of quality that we've got here today, but you know, really lovely. Black Ethiopian opal hoop earrings, 143 pounds 59. They are absolutely gorgeous, they're stunning, they're amazing. We're at 149 pounds for black opal, which I'm, you know, I have to say, is better than any black opal we have ever had on Jewelry Maker before. When we talk about reds, and it's not just me, it's, you know, it's Toby Cavill, whenever he sees them, they're called money reds. That's where the money is, that's where the value is with your opal. As soon as you, it's the, most, it's the rarest and most expensive color to see in your opal. This is completely red. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. That's interesting. Black opal is sometimes described as being 500 times more expensive than gold. Oh. I mean, pff, wow. Okay, are you ready? Have a look at this. Oh my gosh! 79.99! I won a black opal pendant and ring from JM. Must be two years ago, OMG, I love them. And people comment on them every time I wear them. They're amazing, says Josephine. You lucky ducky. 79.99. That's incredible, isn't it? Gemma, it's not your price. Oh my gosh. It just doesn't make sense. 91 available. Gemma, I'm gonna give this one to you. Are oh, you? Pop that in your resin. Mm. Oh my gosh. And what's the resin gonna do? It's gonna... It's gonna amplify it. Amplify it, of course. Yeah, yeah. I need to see you there. If we do not have... By the way, we did have a decent quantity of these. They are absolutely flying, but... <clears throat> but if but if but if we can't see enough people with these in their baskets, then we will need to bring you another clock. Look, I mean, there's loads of people with these in. There's loads of people with these in baskets. Lynn, Wendy, Nigel, Maker, Gillian, Janet, Maker, Francesca, uh, Lynn, Janice, uh, Gloria. Can we get? Uh, is there enough of these in baskets, Neri? No. Okay. Oh gosh. Genuinely nervous. Genuinely nervous about this. Forty-nine ninety-nine. Gemma, for that one black opal on its own, I'd be confident in moving that uh, decimal point one place to four hundred ninety-nine ninety-nine. Yeah, well, I, that's what you would expect. That's what your yep. head tells you it should be. It should be, you know, it should be a considered purchase. Look, I mean, look at it. There's not many more things. Not today on Jewelry Maker. 50 quid. Oh, my <coughs> gosh. Absolutely amazing. It's only a matter of time and these are all going to go. Loads of multi bidders coming through to get this. And by the way, it's not just that one that I'm showing you there. Look at the recording. You can see all of these absolutely sensational pieces. Look at, oh, my word. Look at this. <coughs> it, oh gosh, sorry. Absolutely phenomenal. Oh, look, look. Just like the Aurora Borealis. It is absolutely incredible, this opal. It is mesmerizing. The amazing, amazing quality. Oh my gosh. These flakes, these flake like include. Oh my gosh, look at that recording. That's incredible. The clarity. This one's got more green than I'm holding here, but I mean, all of them are, are just out of this world. 
Oh, Wally, that's a beautiful, oh my gosh. meditate here or drift off into some yes some you know nice restful sleep yes <laughs> so pretty oh i went uh, i went to a beautiful sound bath the other day it was absolutely yeah, gorgeous I, I ended up falling asleep it was I the most beautiful bath. sleep i've ever had had my little uh, hot hot cup of cacao and then literally just <laughs> fell asleep for an hour it was absolutely gorgeous yeah, it was lovely. one felt amazing when i woke up <laughs> Uh, but you're absolutely right. This is like a meditative tool, isn't it? It's yeah. just wonderful. Minute to close. I mean, uh, th th there are so many still in baskets. Well done. Gemma, what are you going to be doing with this? Well, you may as well have the other one as well. To I'm going to go and find, see where all the moulds have gone, because I need to find the right mould to make it Please do. fit in. Please do. Honestly, feel free to, feel free to nip off if okay. you want to. Honestly, that is just, Thank it's incredible. Know. I can just sense that Gemma's really excited about this. Look at all these in baskets. Oh, my word. Check out as soon as you can. Staffordshire, Greater London, Sussex, Kent, Bristol, Dorset, West Yorkshire, Cumbria, West Midlands, Lancashire, Devon. Honestly, there's so many in baskets. Check out your baskets as quickly as you can. These have got to go today. My word, they're amazing. And this very, you know, this is the pinnacle of what we bought back from Jaipur, um, uh, uh, you know, 11 months ago. And it's taken us this long to get all of these in stock. It is absolutely phenomenal. Well done. Go, 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 go. Details being taken off in five seconds. Well done. Devon's just bought two. Dorset's bought two. Gorgeous. Well done, everybody. Go, go, go. Wow. Hmm. Okay. Gemma's gone to find a mold. She's literally off. She's creating. <laughs> okay, rounds. First time ever. It is incredibly difficult. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. Ollie, deal of the day. Go. I'm going to explain this the best way I can. You know, uh, when you go to soft play, that literally sends sh shivers down my spine. And quite often in soft play, you have um, a ball pit. Yeah, you have a ball pit and there are lots and lots of plastic balls which are all together. That's the crystalline structure of an opal. When you cut an opal, it's very, very delicate. It's made up of a huge percentage of water and silica. So it's a very unusual gemstone to cut and facet. If you are cutting a flat surface on a round crystal, it's relatively easy, much like cutting a, an orange, yeah? But if you are cutting or faceting, oh, thank you, darling, a round molecule into a round shape, it, is, it becomes almost impossible. There you go. Beautiful little image there. Each sphere is only 0.0001 of an inch wide. And that's how they're packed together. It's basically fossilized, crystallized water. Isn't that superb? And depending on the sizes, which, which, which literally vary by about half a micron, uh, you will get darker or lighter colors. So that's why you don't tend to get rounds. Also with rounds, there tends to be a lot of wastage as well. These rounds, we're going to have to give you a clock to graphics. To my knowledge, it's the very first strand of round black opals we've ever done. Okay, first ever black opal round strand. Look at that. Purple with blue, greens. Oh, these are absolutely amazing. Absolutely incredible. I'm not going to lie to you. I've got a hundred of these. A hundred, okay. We have got something really special planned for you today. And when I say special, this, I mean, I mean this is utterly, <clears throat> utterly, utterly, utterly crackers. Amazing. I mean, the absolute best. This is your chance to get. 
the most amazing opal, the most incredible black opal. First time we've ever had black opal rounds. Oh my gosh. Are you ready? We have a hundred available. A hundred available. Your chance today to own the absolute jewel in the crown of of the jewel in the crown of what we managed to source last February on our trip to Jaipur. My gosh, there's some gorgeous clarity as well. Look at that beautiful clarity you're going to be getting there. It is just incredible, isn't it? Barbara Pauline, Janice Maker, Richard Susan Maker. Now, I know what you're probably thinking. I know what you're probably thinking. You might be thinking to yourself, right, this is black opal. These are rounds. We haven't done rounds before. This is going to be lovely. It's going to be out of my price range. Just trust. Just trust us. Just trust us today because what we're going to be offering you is something seriously, seriously special. First of all, Let's half the price. What do you reckon to these rounds, Gemma? Yeah. It's going up. The lovely thing about the rounds is that it rolls. Yes! You know, the colour rolls, your eye doesn't stop. It keeps going round and round it and you can twiddle and fiddle with it. And, oh, gorgeous. Now, I know we've given Gemma the cabochons to work with, with, the, um, with the resin, but I have to say these in a resin mould as well will look absolutely exquisite, won't they? because of that rounded quality. Yeah. They are beautiful. Look at this. Look at this. Now, for anyone out there, by the way, there's no way near enough of you on the phone lines right now. There's no way near of you with these in baskets. I'm asking you to trust me. I'm asking you to be there. I'm asking you today, what price are you thinking? 99.99. OK, there's a few in baskets. There's only a few, though. Elizabeth, you're going to have to trust me. Julie, you're going to have to trust me. Maker and Cumbria, you're going to have to trust me. Barbara, you're going to have to trust me. Janice, you've got to trust me. Maker, you've got to trust me. Did you see there's only, there's only at the minute, one, two, three, four, five, six, there's seven in baskets. There's no way near enough. We've got 100 chances. I need you to trust me because we have got something unthinkable. Unthinkable. Think of, think of the lowest price you could ever imagine these going to. Maybe we're already at 99.99, you know, we're already at 99.99, that's amazing. Okay. 99.99, Devon, Lanarkshire, Irina, Surrey, well done to you. Surely we can't be going that much lower for rounds, for rounds. Oh my word. The quality. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that. Enjoy. Look at that. Oh my word. 79.99. 79.99. But again, minute clock, we're not done. This is going to rock and roll your, thir your Tuesday morning, Thursday, I'm day two days ahead of myself, your Tuesday morning. This is absolutely phenomenal. This is incredible. In 50 seconds, we are taking the price down. Yeah, like a nebula, like a supernova, like a star is being born. It's literally like magic. It's like antimatter. It's like when you look at photographs of deep space taken from the Hubble Space um, uh, Telescope and you look at a star being born. It's like that nebula quality, the creation of life. It's amazing. There's so many in baskets. Richard's bought six. God love you. I tell you what, Richard, I know you've bought six, but my word, you're going to want to buy 10. Surely not. Surely not. Oh, yeah. In eight seconds, your price is on screen. This is going to shock. This is going to shock and amaze 
all of you today. 49 99 as if we've just matched the price point of the cabochons it's yours today for rounds first ever time we have done black opal rounds and today and today only they are under 50 pounds my gosh that is amazing. Well done. We did tell you there's so many people there, Gemma. This is just ridiculous, isn't it? Yeah, that's, that's amazing. I mean, <laughs> it's, yeah, it, it's, it, I can't find the words. I mean, I, I honestly can't. They like, are magnificent. They are. Aren't like, they? You can wear them all together because, because the price you can afford to put yes, them all you together. Yes, indulgent. But I just think, you know, they're still so beautiful and so rare. I would still be tempted to use them individually. You've got the opportunity um, here to make yourself get this. I mean, this sounds very indulgent, like disgustingly indulgent, but at 50 quid, you could do a black opal bubble ring. Oh. Can you imagine that? I mean, yes, and that would represent, it would sort of mimic that, those yes. like spheres, wouldn't it? Yes, the formation. Yeah. That would look lovely. We're at 49.99. Guess what? No. It's not your price. No, that's crazy. <laughs> Honestly, I don't, I don't even, I don't know. Oh gosh, I've gone so hot. It is not your price. I genuinely, this is your deal today. Whatever you are thinking, 49.99 was absolutely, you know, that's gotta be it. No, we've had something up our sleeve all hour and it's the price for this incredible strand. Your deal today, and this is the only time you are ever going to see this. This is your chance, your opportunity. I cannot believe I'm about to say this, but this strand of black opal, the very first strand of black opal rounds we have ever done is yours today for 29 99 Oh my gosh, it is literally the most, um, one of the most amazing deals I think we've ever done on Jewelry Maker. It's yours today, well done. Pauline's got two, Lynn's got two, Barbara's got two, Julie's got two. The amount of multi bidders is absolutely incredible. It's yours today, well done. What an opportunity, there are so many in baskets. Maker in Cumbria's bought three, Wendy in Cambridge's bought two, Pauline's bought two. Well done to you, one minute to close. That is it, oh yeah, that is your deal today. Well done everybody, just incredible. Crazy. Go, 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 go. What a chance. Julie, Tracy, Barbara, Maker, Francesca, Trish, Tracy, Lauren, Maker, June, Maker, Maker, M. People with twos and threes and fours in their baskets. Oh, my word. Well done to absolutely everyone coming through to get this today. It is yours. What a chance. The chance of a lifetime to own incredible Ethiopian black opal for under 30 pounds. Look at all those in baskets. It's gone absolutely nuts. And it's yours. Maker and Cambridge just bought four. Barbara's just bought three. Lynn's just bought two. Em in Surrey. Suja, Maker, what an opportunity. The most unisex, the most versatile, the most usable strand of opal, black opal I think we've ever bought you. On the strand, by the way, I'll just count very quickly. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36. There's 37 on the strand. Well done. It's like the, un oh, it's like the universe has been captured. Someone's just said, yeah. Well done. Lauren's bought two. Lynn's got two. Well done to you. Uh, it's been captured inside each bead. Inside, it must be like, um, um, I don't know what that means. Uh, but yes, but it is like the universe has been captured. It's absolutely incredible. Uh, and everyone is going to be unique. Everyone is different. And what a privilege to be able to bring this to you today. I'm so excited. If you want twos, threes, fours, you're going to have to start checking out now because look at the quantity. We started with 100. We've now got a dozen left. Oh, my gosh. Well done. Go, go, go. Um, one more strand. Deal of the day. Okay, right. Um, 
I'm amazed. I, I still, I've got a really itchy nose. I don't know whether that's because we've just done an amazing deal. I don't know. Uh, but the, um, the, the final strand we've got for you today. My gosh. My gosh. <coughs> it's gorgeous. Have you it? seen the movie Uncut Gems, Gemma? No. With Adam, is it Adam Sandler? <clears throat> it's all about Ethiopian opal, this incredible Ethiopian. He's a diamond dealer uh, and he finds a massive, well, he doesn't, but um, some uh, Ethiopian miners find a massive, massive uh, opal, an uncut uh, um, um, opal, obviously, that they literally extract from the host drop. And ever since then, the price of Ethiopian opal has just... Tick, 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 tick. Yeah. But it's, it's, it's quality like this. It's quality like this. Yeah. And I love the rounds. I love the coins. I love the kind of the, the, the kind of regular sizes. But when you see it like this, doesn't it bring you closer to where this gemstone is from? Um, this gem, don't forget, is mined literally off the edge of a, 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 a plateau, which is very, very flat. And then it just drops three, you know, however many thousands of feet, which literally. <gasps> uh, but um, and these and these guys and um, small teams of miners, only about five or six of them can work together at a time because it's so dangerous. And they will abseil down the side of the uh, ravine and then work their way on these little paths about like this. The deposit is about six foot high and goes into the rock face. It, it, it was initially thought that it went into the rock face only a few feet. It's actually been, uh, they've actually managed to build tunnels. So it goes in about a hundred feet now, mm. which is amazing. But there will come a time when obviously these, these tunnels become really unstable and they start to collapse and, and you just won't be able to get to the opal. Necklace with rounds and a regular opal alternatively strung uh, would be lovely. Yeah, um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm with you on that. We've got some gorgeous jewelry that's been made by our in-house designers. What I love about this jewelry, by the way, thank you, ladies, if you're if you're watching, is um, they've set it with uh, gorgeous seed beads, which are kind of almost AB in quality. And that's mm. so nice. It really brings out all of that a, B kind of quality, that gorgeous kind of multicolor quality from the opal. It's really clever the way they've done that. Um, when you find the opal, it's not always going to be, uh, it's not going to be in perfect <coughs> sizes, obviously. You're going to get lots of indentations, lots of impressions. Look at this, by the way, uh, from where the opal has come to rest and form. That is electricity in that one there. <coughs> Some of the best opal I've seen. Absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? What an opportunity for you to... Oh, look at this. It's just... Look at the greens. They are just out of this world, aren't they? Look at that. Look at that, that, that. Absolutely amazing. Uh, yeah, and imagine, yeah, bespoke rings, uh, uh, bespoke pieces of jewellery made with the, they are just, oh, they are electrifyingly good. Um, we're going to give you the absolute, gosh, look at that bright blue one there. It's just, just incredible, isn't it? Look at that. It's so good. Oh, wow. Wow. That is fossil. Yeah, that purple one there. That's amazing. Look at that, that's fossilized water, silica, millions of years sitting there. <gasps> Whoa, 49.99. No, it's not. No, it's not. That's nowhere near your deal today. Loads of you there. How many of these do we have, lovely? <clears throat> Neary new. Okay. 52 available. Thirty seconds, and then we are going to be giving you. We are going to be giving you the price of your dreams. Whether it's the blues, whether it's the multicolors, whatever it is, enjoy every single one of these. They are exquisite. The shapes. They're almost like flint heads, aren't they? Yeah. Like arrow heads, sorry. Yeah, some of them. Some of them, yeah, they're like that, aren't they? They're like darts, like poisonous darts almost, aren't they? <laughs> oh my God, how cool. <laughs> Your deal today, enjoy. This is amazing. 
Look at this. 29.99 bigger carrot weight longer strand uh same price wow i mean just it, it makes no sense whatsoever yours today though well done everyone i love i love those aren't they stunning yeah i i really love the irregular shape of them and yes me too yeah. you got those it's like a nice cross between the the the, the discs and the rounds because you've got those lovely curves where they yes that that, that um Pin fires it. Yeah, well, there's all sorts of different co all different uh, color playing here. Yeah. yeah, it allows it to roll over, but it also got those lovely flat surfaces where you can see. I mean, some of those are the size of those cabochons. You yeah, know? And, so. it, and it's nice that, like the cabochons, they haven't been faceted. It's, yeah. it's really nice, isn't it? I really like that. Um, just to warn you as well, just to let you know, but ju just in case you don't know, we've got Gemma's masterclass coming up next with cork, brand new material. <coughs> Very excited because we've got Jake joining us from 12 o'clock till about 12.30 with the um, <gasps> uh, faceted lavender pearls. I'm going to show them to you very quickly. We've got five of this left. Lavender faceted pearls. We've got singles and we've got a strand. Very, very, very limited strand. Uh, just to let you know, less than 20 of the strand available. Uh, but we've got that coming up at midday. So coming up next, we've got cork, which is amazing. Um, uh, beautiful material. Absolutely amazing. Right, there's about three of those left. Well done to you. One more strand. Uh, right now, yeah, this is why I prepared this slide yesterday, Neri. Have you got that? Because I knew we had a strand of rondelles in this hour. Sorry, darling. There we go. Um, so look at this slide here. <clears throat> really lovely. Last one, black Ethiopian opal, three to five millimeter beaded necklace, triple A quality opal rondelle necklace, October birthstone. Lots of lovely keywords in there, um, as you would expect on Etsy. Um, £157.92. pence. Nice. Big carrot weight. Really big carrot weight. Look at the quality we've got. That's it off the strand, Gemma. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Goodness me. I really love it and faceted. I, you know, I do. I, I love the faceted ones, but I love it like this because it makes it much more versatile, I think. And I love how the light plays over the surface. It bends over. Yeah. Which is exactly what happens to your light when it goes through opal. Because, of course, you're, <laughs> because you're looking at rounded molecules inside your um, inside your opal. The light doesn't penetrate the opal molecules like it would a diamond, because yeah. it's angular. Because uh, it's rounded, the light bends over, which is why it suits this down to the ground. Um, we're at 57.92. That necklace was 157.92. It's not, it's not your price today. Right, this is gonna, sorry, say that deal again. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, well, we'll get, oh, Romeo's through for this. Romeo Dunn in Greater London. There he is. Right, OK. So, 54321. Here's an amazing deal. Richard, well done to you. <laughs> 29.99. Absolutely brilliant. Incredible. Loads of people coming through. No, it's not. We're going to bring you the lowest price of the entire showcase. It's about to go absolutely crazy. It's about to go completely nuts. This one is ideal for guys, I think, as well. Mm. Ideal for guys. Yeah, absolutely. Just a simple, a simple bracelet tie. You know, tie on bracelet, even, yes. you know, just gorgeous. Or, Love the you know, idea. You know, around the neck, maybe two strands, a nice twisty, you know, screw clasp or something. Keep Lovely idea. So nice to be able to kind of, yeah, use them sparingly. You can use them all together if you want to, but using them sparingly, I think, is a really, really lovely, lovely, lovely thing to do. Twenty nine ninety nine, amazing. Stephen Maker, Margaret, Julie's got two, Vivian, Richard's got three. Well done to you. OK, um, what do you reckon? What deal would you like to see? 27. I reckon we can do better than that. What about 24? Yeah, 24. 24.99? Yeah. 21.99? No. How about we finish this out with a bang? How about we go down? This is crazy. This is stupid. This is, I, uh, yeah. Simone on the Isle of Man. Well done to you, my lovely. Yours today, 19.99. Just go. Just get it. Go. Oh, my word. This is just ridiculous. This is stupid. These, we, we, we were so excited about these uh, when, we, when we kind of uh, went, when we went to uh, Jaipur last February. Um, uh, both Wayne and Scott came home absolutely buzzing about all of the things that they found over there. But in particularly, it was the black 
opal. It was the black opal deal which they managed to secure. It is incredible. Teresa, Amanda, Elaine, Susan, Maker in Cumbria's got two, Julie's got two, Richard's got three, Maker, Frida, Jacqueline, Julie. To, for absolutely everybody watching today, and it's just, it's giving you access. It's so affordable. It's wonderful, isn't it? Well done, everybody. Go, go, go. Julie, well done to you. June, Teresa, well done to you. Julie's just bought three. Well done to you. Amazing. Okay. Do not go anywhere. Launch of a brand new material with Gemma. Very excited. Cork coming up after the break. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, this coming Wednesday, it's Claire McDonald's birthday show. Make sure you tune in for what will be an absolutely amazing five hours of treats. We have a mega bundle of soldable accents and gem setting bracelet kits. Your deal of the day is the beautiful blue chalcedony. Plus, anybody who buys during the show is in with a chance of winning a goodie bag worth over a hundred pounds. So make sure you tune in, join the celebrations for Claire's birthday. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. It's a new year, so that can only mean one thing. It's time for those new year resolutions. And it's the perfect time to start a new hobby. Jewelry Maker, Sewing Street and Hobby Maker are here whether you're starting something new or advancing your skills on a current hobby. With all the tools you need to start, as well as expert demonstrations from our great guests. Are you starting a new hobby this January? Share your new makes with us by tagging Jewelry Maker, Hobby Maker or Sewing Street using the hashtag New Year New Hobby. And watch us every day from 8am to 1pm on Jewelry Maker. On Hobby Maker, 6 to 8am and 1 to 6pm. And 8am to 1pm on Sewing Street. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. 
Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, 7 days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Wow. <laughs> Do you love it? Is it the first I time you've love seen it. it. Well, no and yes. So, so you see, Gemma says something very interesting actually at the beginning of the show, and I wasn't going to bring it up till now because you said that you saw Cork when you were over in Portugal. Yeah. Um, my husband's gorgeous auntie Helen, who who I love, and she's like, she's like, uh, she's like. She's, she's, she's wonderful. Um, she's wonderful to my kids. And every time she goes to Portugal, she goes to Portugal every year, a couple of times a year, she always brings them something back and it's always something really cute. But last um, summer holiday, she came back and she bought them both a cork purse mm. each and a little kind of little tiny little handbag. Yeah. Beautiful stuff, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Everywhere, everywhere I went, there's cork shoes, cork hats, cork bags. Um, and then um, some cork jewellery, and then there was, and then I managed to find some in a in a shop to buy on the reel. So I bought meters and meters of it back. But then trying to find it to buy in the UK, yeah, is really difficult. So it's taken four or five years to, to you know, to give it the attention it needed and actually get it exactly because this is proper cork, um, yes. and uh, yeah. you know, this isn't. Um, this is this is proper. Um, sustainable cork that you've got here, which is absolutely beautiful. Mm. The the cork that you get on a uh, on like a pin board or a notice board is more kind of kind of reconstituted, yes. isn't it? Yes. Um, whereas what you are getting here, oh, look at these. Oh, I just love this material. It's mm. so beautiful. Now I know you were you only received these kits just literally a few days ago, and I know that you uh, there's so much that you wanted to do with yeah. this incredible material what kind of ideas do you have for this moving forward Gemma well you, you know me I, I like to I'd like to um layer it more I'd like to punch holes in it rivet it use it with yes. alongside um my sheet metals because this would look gorgeous riveted onto a bracelet Ooh. or um I'd like to channel set you know cut some channels in here and maybe channel set some beads in gorgeous there's, there's just so many you know, lovely things you could potentially do with it. Um, and I have a I have a Pinterest board. So if anybody, I know lots of people that watch the show follow my Pinterest boards. Mm. I've got a Pinterest board that's got cork on it. Oh, and fantastic! And it shows lots of ideas of um, sort of some of the things you might want to might want to do with it. It is it is the most beautiful material. When you smell it, it does smell like uh, it, it. It reminds me of going to a going to a wine shop or something. Yes, you can really smell. That Smell quality, it's, it's just, it's a, the most beautiful aroma that you get. It's going to be very, very lightweight. It's absolutely perfect for kind of holiday jewellery, lightweight holiday jewellery. Um, it, it, it's got the most wonderful texture. And I don't know why we don't see cork jewellery over here as much. I suppose, you know, you source a lot of cork over in places like yeah. Portugal. Um, the, uh, you know, the trees aren't native to us here. You know, we, it, that's the thing. Yes, exactly. Um, but the but the material itself it gives you the look of it gives you the look of wood, doesn't it? Yeah. But obviously, in a much softer, lighter, more pliable um, uh, kind of um, 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 
uh, texture. I love the way it's been stitched. Yeah. I well, really like that, Gemma. This is awesome stuff. So this is a, it's a cork veneer. So the reason we get that beautiful ah. pattern is because it's actually a veneer. And unlike Fantastic. wood like um, cedar or oak, you can buy that veneer. But it's hard, isn't it? It's hard, whereas cork is soft and malleable and very hard wearing. It acts a lot like leather. It's very similar to leather. Oh, fantastic, um, that's great. So its properties are quite similar. And so what you've got here is a veneer. So in between these layers, you've got, I, I believe this is leather in between the veneer. Yes, it looks like leather in between, so, it, yes. Um, it's veneered front and back, so it's double-sided. And then with the, with the um, cord, the cord, it's a veneer that's sort of <clears> stitched <throat> around a cotton um, cord. Brilliant. So, you know, it's very, it's very lovely and flexible, but also very durable. Well, great for bag straps, but also I yeah. can imagine people making things like sandals with these as yes. well. And yeah. they'd just be really, really beautiful and organic. I mean, yeah. wonderful, wonderful material to work with. Yeah. Lots of people messaging in about these kits, which is lovely. But looking forward to these cork kits, we'll be getting uh, mixed with some turquoise and black opals. Oh, Richard, what a lovely. And Richard should know, Richard, you know, uh, is, 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 is an extraordinary jewellery maker who's, who's a professional jewellery maker who sells his items as well. So, you know, wonderful. I think there's a real calling for uh, new materials. Well, I say new materials, for different materials like this. It's, yeah. it's really, really wonderful. Lots of people love leather and it's interesting what you said yeah. about the kind of the way that this will wear yeah. will probably be very similar to leather. So that's just great to know. Yeah, it's wonderful. I mean, I, I use the cork cord a lot because I bought metres and metres of it when mm. I went away because I was worried I would never find it again. Yes. And so I use it a lot to suspend my chunkier pendants on rather than leather. Lovely. Um, a lot of the wood pendants that my brother makes me with the fractal work I set with the cork because it just sort of, they just sort of work together really well. Oh, look, this is from Em in Surrey. Hi, ladies. Portugal manufactures cork. It's like a cottage industry. I'm from Portugal. I love cork. Very light and wearable. Oh, Em, yeah. thank you so much for that. And also, my, um, so one of the purses, I wish I brought them in, one of the purses that um, uh, John's auntie Helen uh, bought for, I think it was for Pippa, uh, is, is the cork base. It's like a, a, a flat piece of cork veneer, I guess. Yeah. Um, and it's got a lovely paisley print on it. So presumably you can use your yes. inks with it as well, which is really yeah. nice. You can paint on it, stamp on it. Um, that's, oh. and that's, the, yeah, that's the other thing. You know, with these, um, if you look at this, this bracelet, um, what my this. plan was, or what so I'd like cute. to do, had I had some more or more time and more to play with, I would have painted different colours in... You know, just stripes in. Yes, there, because that would that would have know, been gorgeous. It would just sort of lift it slightly. Flags, letters, Fla um, yeah. yeah, whatever. Gorgeous just stripes. I think it just look yes. really modern, really. Um, you know, choose any colours you like. Would look lovely. Uh, will be perfect those uh, who can't wear heavy jewellery, uh, dodgy joints, etc. Yeah, absolutely, Miss Janet. Yeah. Can't. Yeah, it's wonderful. Uh, it's really on trend here in France, says Michelle. Yeah, I think it really, it does feel quite European, doesn't it? It's 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 a really. It's a really lovely material, um, uh, which, which um, um, I, I think when I was out in Spain over the summer holidays, last summer holidays, which you know obviously isn't Portugal, but you know in Spain, I'm seeing more cork pieces yeah. as well. It, it, it does seem to be, it does seem to be, um, it does seem to have that lovely kind of trend, doesn't it? I found some on Etsy from Portugal, uh, but it was limited mainly to sheet and tubes. There were no findings. So happy me today. Now, Amanda, this is this is the exciting thing. <clears throat> With these gorgeous, with these, with these gorgeous pieces, you are going to be getting the findings to go with them as well. And um, they are very big, chunky findings. Obviously, not just for your cork, but for your big leather cord as yeah. well, which is absolutely, uh, which is absolutely gorgeous. But um, so nice that we've got the findings to go with them because they do fit beautifully, don't they? Yeah, they do. They, yeah, they're they're, they're just. Perfect fit, custom made. Well, they are custom made. You know, yes, these, these things be. were sourced together, which is why it takes so long sometimes for us to get things in because you have to find one supplier to create the the elements, the, the findings, the beads, and one supplier to supply the cork. And and of course, you know, we're very careful with where we source things from so that it's you know ethical. And, Absolutely, Gemma. Um, yeah. So you know, these things take time. So you've got this, yeah, so yeah, so this is something Gemma suggested years ago, and obviously it's only just come in. Because obviously we've got to be really careful about, yeah. you know, where we source yeah. our things from. Is it ethical? You know, has it, you know, is it all traceable? The traceability of items, not just buying them from a spreadsheet, but the traceability, the full traceability and accountability. Yeah. So this is the first kit we're going to be doing. I 
I really, really love this kit. I love the stitched quality. I think that adds a really lovely, a really lovely organic flair to it. I think it's um, it's it's lovely stitching as well. It, it's just a pleasing. It just it just I, I just think it looks really lovely. The more you wear that, presumably as well. I'm thinking like when wine, wine, uh, when wine uh, dyes cork as well in a bottle, um, it it. Obviously, you can use your inks with this. You can use your stamps with this as well, which is lovely. But I'm wondering if, if, if over time that stitching will start to stand out a bit more and kind of almost become, kind of come yeah. into its own even more. Yeah, almost as the cork takes on its almost natural patina. Yes. Because it's going to, just like leather, it's going to um, take the oils from your skin. It's, you know, it's going to absorb... Yeah. And, you know, and get darker with age. Yes, get better, get softer, get, yeah. get, get, get it gets better looking the more you wear it. Mm. Um, so you're going to be getting a metre of your round uh, cord here, which is lovely. You're then going to be getting all of these carriers. I mean, gee, is it all? Yes, yeah, all of these floral carriers as well. Oh, they're adorable. So gorgeous. Actually, I'll move them down here because otherwise you can't really see them. Uh, you get beautiful floral uh, carriers which are really lovely. Oh, lovely idea of setting a stone into this, Ollie says. That's a lovely idea. Yeah, yeah. Into the, into the centre part the there. Of the flowers. So lovely, lovely floral um, uh, spaces, um, carriers. And then you're going to be getting these, uh, these other carriers here as well. What do you find if... Um, you talked earlier on about kind of shaving the ends down a little bit. Was it to get uh, it through the... Yeah, not necessarily on the cord, but on the cork. You, you can sort of chamfer the edges yes. slightly to help it you know to help them go through, through. If, you, if you want something smaller to go on there the, the, the things we've got fit perfectly but. yeah I was gonna say I don't think you're really yeah. gonna need to but if you know if you needed to you might be able to uh, do that I just I just love this is just such a lovely material whoa 24.99 that's amazing oh for a new medium for a totally new material this is absolutely amazing you love your leather work you love your suede work you love your veggie tan work this is absolutely perfect for you honestly that's gorgeous such simple jewelry and yeah anyone can wear it and um, i love the ends you've put on those on that bracelet as well have you put ends like end caps on or something is what's this that one or where yeah that one oh, that one so that comes in uh, one of the other kits. Oh, gosh, it does. Um, Little um, end caps. Yeah. Oh, we'll come to that. We'll come yeah, to the we'll end caps. Yeah, come to those because right, that's, um, that's an exciting one. Because you can, um, presumably, I've seen the way that you finish it up, right, so with kind of yeah. wire gizmos to bind them together. Yeah, so for some of them, because I, I wanted to bring two pieces together, Lovely. I've used um, these gizmos, but you can, there's, um, in one of the... Do you glue them in? Do you stitch the, the leather together, the, the um, cork together? What do you think? Um, the, the two ends together and those earrings. Um, we're here, just here. Yes. No, they're just they're just pressed together and, oh, and caught into this um, uh, sort of gizmo coil I've made, really. Yeah. So that they're just you know secured. And I'm going to show you how to make that topper. Um, Gorgeous. That, you know that will help you. The way your they're end. sat in that earrings, they almost look like hide, don't they? They almost look yeah. like um, animal hide. They're yeah. just gorgeous. Um, we've had a message through. Uh, from Linda. I love Portuguese cork. Always wondered why it's not popular here. It's everywhere over there. So nice to see how lovely it can look. Isn't it just, it's really, I mean, yeah. Gemma's definitely put her own flair on it and given, you know, even more time, it would have been even, even yeah. it would just be well, incredible to see I'll what just, you could do with I'll get this. some more and then we'll do, I'll do more and more and more. <laughs> that would be amazing. <laughs> But such a lovely tactile material to use. It's warm. It's, as yeah. you say, it's like your leather. And it's just going to get better with age, it's, better with time. It, it's lovely having these kits, you know, with all the components that you can put with it. And obviously the components can be used with other things and you can use the cork with other things. And I, and I would say, you know, have get the cork, stack up on the cork because mm. you can combine it with your other mediums. You can seed bead as, with this as a base, you know, Ooh. seed bead around it. You can macrame over the top of nice. this. You can put it in with your leather work, in, in with your leather work. You can put it in with your metal work. Absolutely. It's going to fit... In so many ways, you know, we've we've brought these lovely kits together to so get the components, but you know, just think about it and it broader. It, it complements so many other things. Absolutely, and and, and also not to mention, which you mentioned the connectors and, uh, and and the carriers. I've never seen any carriers like this before on JM. So so lovely to be able to use these with your finer kumihimo threads, with your macrame yeah. pieces, with your leather cords, with pieces yeah. that you've already got, and um, you know, not just with your cork. It's such a lovely thing to be able to bring you today. Mm -hmm. uh, your price today, I mean, gee whiz, is nine. 19.99 um, 
And uh, yeah, I, I know for a fact that the pieces which, um, which, which my daughters were gifted were nowhere near those kinds of prices. You know, this is, this is a wonderful material to use, but please don't think for one second that 20 quid is what this kit is worth. It's worth, it's worth you know, way, 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 way more. This is almost like a, an, an introductory price, really. I hate saying that with something as beautiful as this, but almost an introductory price point. Uh, well done, JM, on these fabulous new mediums. What a great way to start 2023. I know, Yay. resin and cork. Amazing. Yeah. This is so exciting. New hobby. You could be like our, our new medium ambassador because if you give anything to Gemma, she literally just, she turns it on its head and reinvents the wheel. Um, you know, bringing resin back, bringing cork. What a wonderful show it's been yeah, so far been today. Well done at 19.99. Well done. Did you see the cast stuff the other day? Oh, I could not watch. Oh my watch. gosh, I was, Gemma. I was in induction. I was, you know, I've got a new job. So you do. It's I was amazing. in induction and I couldn't watch. I was like, oh no. It is literally, it's insane. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I, I started learning how to wax carve um, a while ago to demonstrate a design because I didn't know how to yes. draw it. Um, so I'd love to, I'd love to cast some Did of the things Did you see the I've sand done. casting as well? No. Oh my gosh. Literally, you... You you love would it. you I would know. love it. Well, Alison and uh, Claire are both having a go at it. Honestly, it's just and uh, lovely uh, Debbie Kershaw launched it without it. Honestly, it's just it, it's insane. Y yeah, you'd love it. Uh, well done. Right, <laughs> this next kit definitely. This is lovely unisex uh, kit. Um, oh, okay, just whilst I'm out of vision. Hang on. Yeah, no. <laughs> oh, just about, maybe not uh, with uh, just after a roast dinner, but uh, loads of room, loads of room. <laughs> it's a belt. <laughs> um, it's a beautiful bracelet, definitely unisex. I don't you love the clasp on love this? The clasp, yeah. I wish, I wish we Ooh. had more of these. I wish we had a, a big stash of these. I love these. Look at this. This is such a cool clasp. Isn't that awesome? Do you want to see it in action? Over it's here? a lovely thing. Ooh. My kids would love that just to fidget with. Oh, thank so you, you can Gemma. See it, how easy Look, it there is. There he is. Take on and off. Oh, gee whiz, that's so cool. That is so cool. Look at these. Aren't they beautiful? It does look like really good quality, doesn't it? And it's quite, it, 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 because it's got the leather kind of core on the inside, it's going to be quite stiff, quite rigid. Could it? Mm, probably not, but could you use it with your pyrography? Uh, I believe you can. I mean, it's wood, so you know it, it is a type of wood. And I have done pyrography on cork tiles, so I would say yes. If you've but got I, an offer, but I haven't, have but I haven't experimented. But maybe somebody that has worked with the cork, there's a few that have tacked in. Yes. in. But I've I have nice used idea. pyrography on cork tiles, cork coasters. Yes. And that's compressed cork, so I'd imagine it'd be actually easier on here. Yes. Having said that. I do love the texture that it's So do I, it almost seems a shame. But I'm just thinking if you did loads of cork jewellery and maybe you just had a star on every single piece yes. or something or a little heart or something. Or well, yeah, you could yeah have could be your little like a little brand. Yes. Like a, yeah, star. Um, those earrings are stunning. I, I love those. They're you know, so lovely. And I am, when I take these home, I'm just going to dip the bottom in a, in a, in a paint. I, I think burgundy or something like that. Or maybe Gorgeous. even like a mustard and a, a stripe. I just think they're Ooh. very chic, aren't they? Really chic, yes. Very simple, and, and I love that. I mean, that's a great money maker, isn't it? That, and well, so quick to make. Yeah. Natural, that natural look that you get with the yeah. cork, beautiful. So with this kit, you get your... <clears throat> What length? Your one meter. There we go. Mm -hmm. If your flat cork uh, strip with that leather core to give it that extra stability, you get the amazing um, uh, magnetic clasp. You get one, two, three of the carriers as well, and you get these lovely ends as well, which of course Gemma's yeah. used in the earrings, um, and you can also use them in bracelets I, yeah, as well. I mean, them. just lovely, and they and they would just literally clamp almost like crocodile clips. Yeah. Such a lovely, clean, crisp finish, isn't it? It's so neat and it's yes. bespoke and it gives it that very professional look, doesn't it? Yes, it's compact, isn't it? Yeah. There's nothing too kind of arduous about, about, about creating the ends yeah. for these. It's just very simple. Um, I'd love to see you do some punching work with these as well, um, uh, yeah. Gemma. I, I, or, or, or as you said, setting gems into them, did you yeah, say? Yeah, I'd like to like create a channel and put gems in. Oh my gosh, amazing. Lots of, lots of ideas. Um, yeah. And, you know, it'd be interesting to see how other people... Amazing. Lovely. Them. 
Yeah. Just got look at everyone coming through to get these. Everyone's going nuts over this cork today. This is absolutely brilliant to see, isn't it? So lovely to wear, lovely to stack up. Um, totally unisex as well. A really gorgeous material and just... And for anyone who, I know, I know this sounds like a, you know, you know like a um, kind of a funny thing to have. anyone who loves wine or anything like that, or loves, you know, loves collecting uh, wine or anything like that. It's beautiful to have this made out of gorgeous cork. It's just, it just looks, it's such a lovely, lovely material. Yeah. Well done, everyone. Absolutely beautiful. Do you just slide those on or do you glue yeah. them into place? No, or? Just, they, you just slide them on. They're, so they're a good well. fit. They're a very really snug good fit, fit. So they're not going to move anywhere. Okay, final kit, Gemma. Mm -hmm. uh, this one is off the scale. Now, again, oh, now, how did you set those shell pearls in? So I've sewn those in. I've sewn them between two. So where... Uh, um, how have you done that? One? Go on. So because you've got the um, stitching where the veneer is stitched, I've used those to anchor just some uh, fire line and just stitched, you know, so oh. through one, next to the other, back through the pearl, down to the next one and just channel set them. Because it's, it's soft, um, you can take a needle straight through because it's, you know, it's, it's a soft yes. veneer and then it's um, a cotton cord in between. Yes. Um, but I actually just used the stitches that are already there to sort of hook the thread under. Clever stuff. Clever stuff. Your, you've got your, you've got your gorgeous, um, you've got your gorgeous um, uh, uh, cord, shell pearls, uh, which I love. But I have to say, look, <clears throat> stars. These are, these are so lovely with the cord, but I'm just thinking about all of the other mediums you could use these with. So you've got your stars. <laughs> you've got your heart. So that's actually a clasp in a funny sort of way. Is it? Yes. So if you see here. Oh my gosh. Oh, Gemma, look, look at this. Guys, look at this. So oh, this is amazing. It slides through and those little caps that come in this kit, you just glue them onto the end and it stops them pulling through the heart. But that's how you, you know, do up and undo your bracelet. So it's really cool. It actually doesn't need embellishment on the front, I don't think, this one, because that it's is so, cool. so nice. Yeah. That is so cool. Yeah. And I, I love that. And you've got your, these beautiful little end caps. These have been, these, these must have been made to order. They are just, they, they are awesome. Yeah. Those end caps, it just gives you such a beautiful, I mean, obviously it's a mechanic. It's there to stop the, stop the cord going all the way through the heart. But, but what a lovely way to finish. It looks professional, doesn't it? And it so know, does. I love these. I absolutely love these little caps wow. at the ends. And look, you've got a beautiful little starfish uh, charm as well. They're all silver plated base metal. They're just gorgeous. Look, you've got these uh, double sided as well, which is lovely. And another carrier. Gorgeous. Well done, everyone. <clears throat> this is going low. This is going really low, by the way. No one's got an excuse not to come through and get this because uh, this is going to 12 99 Oh, my wow. gosh, that's way too low. It's way too low, but absolutely brilliant. Love these little... Look, look, look at this, these end caps. That is so cool. Love, love, love that. <laughs> absolutely beautiful quality with the shell pearl with your gorgeous little sliding clasp in the heart with your staff this is just what a brilliant launch this has been what a brilliant material this has been and i think Gemma, you know um giving this to you again sometime and just yeah. letting you play with it for even longer next yeah. time goodness knows what you're going to come back with yeah and that would just be amazing yeah I think we just need some more, don't we? And, and you know, now we know where to get it, and now we know that you like yep, it. Yeah, precisely. You know, you can see everybody's loving it, aren't they? They're in yeah. for it. So now maybe we'll expand the sort of shapes we get, and maybe I really um, hope so. different elements, and we can play. What more. else would you like to see? I'd like to see some Sheets. veneers, yeah, so that, that we would can be very nice. Actually, make our own shapes, and maybe back it onto leathers or um, oh, leathers and things like that. That'd be lovely, wouldn't it? Yeah, it really would be. Maybe just some blanks, you know, just some shape blanks. We can paint it, we can pyrography them. Yes, lovely. Punch them, stamp them. Absolutely. Gorgeous. Oh, well done. There are just literally reams of people coming through for this. Well done. Right. Um, do you want to do us a demo? Yes. Well, I love that, Gemma. So many, it's so easy. 
<laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to just show you a few um, things that you might come up against when you're trying to put your clasps and things on, okay. um, things that I learned um, that might help you. So I'm going to do that. Um, and then I'll show you how to create these little end caps so that you can create... Um, Gorgeous. Because you've got more cork than you have end caps yeah. and finishings. So it means you can keep making and you don't have to worry about not having the right ends. You can make your own. So okay, you will perfect. need some wire for that. And that's, that's the only thing I've added here is just a little bit of um, one millimetre wire. OK, so um, I'm going to show you how to put this, this ending on. And I'm also going to show you how to <clears throat> pop these little um, book endings on. I call them book endings because they look like little books. They do. Um, like little bags. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to show you the both and how to get a really good finish with that. OK, so um, let's get everything in the right place. So on the end of um, the cork, the flat cork um, piece, we're going to pop it into the end of here. Now, we want a snug finish, a fit in here. Yes. And so this will, if we really pushed it, we'd manage to get it in. But I, f I find that if you just chamfer the edges slightly, which I'm going to show you how to do, you can get that in very securely and you've got a bit of room for glue because you'll, you, you want some glue mm. in there. OK, so I'm just going to take my um, scissors. Now, you can do this with a blade if you want to, but I'm going to take my scissors. And if you can see, I'm going to cut, I'm going to chamfer the corner here. So what I'm going to do is angle the scissors so that I'm just catching the corner of, of the cork and just trim that slightly there. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. So I've just tapered it off very slightly. Sorry, Patsy, just drove home like a crazy woman within the speed limit, of course, to buy the cork kit. Uh, mm -hmm. Doing a happy dance. Got to get back out. Got to go back out to finish shopping. Oh, Patsy, you're <laughs> a legend. Said, Patsy. I love that. Time. <laughs> <laughs> You should have just downloaded the app, darling, but well done. I'm so glad you got it, darling. Well done. <laughs> OK, so I've chamfered this side and this side. I'm just going to do the same on the corners as well. So you're literally just nipping off the corners. You're not cutting into it necessarily, into, you know, the length of it. You're just taking the edges off, just shaving those edges. Yes. And what that's done is given us a <clears> bit of wiggle room to really get that in to the clasp but also given us a bit of an opportunity to put some glue in without it all pushing out. Yes. So then all I'll do is I'm going to take a bit of our multi-use glue, you know, multi-use jewellery glue. Yeah, nice. I really, um, my favourite one is um, the, the multi- 6000 Hyper Cement. Um, no, the, the new one that we have, um, it's, it's, a, it's a water-based super glue and it's so good. It's multi-purpose. Oh. Um, it's, yeah, it's when we do, it's by the craft picks or... Oh, yes! You know, it's so, it's really good. But I've got this one with me today, which yes. is, this is also very good. It's, it's like um, E6 size in this one. Loving all these components you're getting to work with here as well. Yeah. They're just great, aren't they? So, yeah, so you can see I've only put the, a really small amount in there. Just make sure that it's sort of covering... Um, around the edges and so you're going to get a good contact but we don't want it we don't want to push this in and it all to splay out so we only want the tiniest bit in there and then we're just going to wiggle wiggle our clasp in if Gorgeous. you do get any spills out just give it a just a wipe round and that's it and just let that let that dry for the amount of time that your um your particular glue tells you to so that's going to give you that lovely snug fit okay so that's getting it into that clasp now, if we go to the other end, I will show you how to... This, the same thing, really, with these little bookends. We want to chamfer the ends because it's a really thick cord. Yes. It's a really thick um, braid. And when I put that in there, you can see it doesn't... I don't know if you can see that on yes, the other Yes, it doesn't quite, it doesn't get, to quite the get into the top. We want <clears> as much purchase of for course. the safety as possible. So again, we're just going to chamfer that corner. So you can see the angle I've got there with my scissors. Yeah. Just chamfering that corner off. Nice. And then the same on the other side. Yeah. Um, and then if we have a look now to see how much, 
Okay, while that goes in, and you can see that's going much. Oh, that's much better, further isn't it? into there. Yeah. And the same with this one. I'm not going to glue this one on because I don't want to. I want to be able to use it again. Um, with these, to save marking them. Oh, keep picking out the wrong pliers. To save marking them, if you can use a nylon jaw plier. Yeah, lovely. Um, that really helps. You didn't need much pressure. You're going to have a bit of glue in there as well. And then just pinch down all the way along. Yeah. And I pinch in from that way, but then I also finish by pinching across. Lovely. Okay. And then that doesn't mark it and you get a nice mm -hmm. finish. Okay, so that's those endings. Yeah. But if oh, we yes. want to make our own, Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to show you how to do this one because this incorporates a head pin for the for the um, bead as well. For the bead, yes, okay. lovely. So I'm going to use one millimeter wire. I wouldn't drop down too much lower than this. If you've got a 0.8, you can use a 0.8, um, but I would wouldn't recommend it when you're using two when you're trying to bring two cords in together. It's not quite strong enough to 0.8. So um, you can use 0.8 if you want to do just a single cord like this one. Lovely. Okay, if, so if you're happy, to, if you want to do just a single cord, 0.8 will be okay. Mm -hmm. But for the one I'm going to show you, a, a one millimetre is your best bet. Mm, gorgeous. Okay. So I'm just going to take off this um, untidy end. Lovely. To start with. And I do this in a, it feels sort of backwards, so bear with me. What I'm going to do first is make the pin that we pop the pearl onto okay. or create a, right. the head pin with. Yeah. So I want to leave some space here. So I'm going to come down probably just about, I don't know, three or four centimetres. And then I'm going to take my flat pliers, we'll chain those pliers, and I'm going to bend that to a 45, uh, a 90 degree angle, sorry. Mm -hmm. Nice sharp bend. And get that bend as sharp as you possibly can, because that's going to be <gasps> that's going to be the centre. Oh, Abby, don't tell her about uh, all three kits. Are ready. Good luck to <laughs> in a new job, Gemma. Oh, thanks, Abby. I knew I knew Abby would be in getting the cork. She loves it. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Abby. Gorgeous. I won't well, tell thanks. Jazz. <laughs> um, right. So now I've got this nice sharp bend. I'm going to use my round nose pliers to start creating a spiral. Okay. And this is going to be like the lid of my. Um, cord ending. So I'm going to pop my round nose pliers right on that corner, as close to the tip of that corner as I can with the tip of my pliers. And I'm going to start turning to create a spiral. So I'm going to hold nice and nice and tight at that corner. And I'm, oh, and I'm going to start turning to start creating the center of a spiral. So I'm turning round and creating the spiral. Now, my this piece is you know pointing straight up, and I want it to stay there. So I'm turning as far as I can. So I've got Gorgeous. the start of a spiral there, and then I'm going to take my chain or flat nose pliers, hold across the spiral, and continue to turn. Oh, lovely! Some round nose pliers on the screen for you. Invaluable. Fabulous. <clears throat> okay. So what I want. The size of this spiral um, is going to be determined by the width of the um, coil I want to make to be on the cord end. Okay, so that's the width of the coil I've got here. Lovely. This should sit on the top of it. Okay, so we oh, want the okay. same sort of um, diameter as the width of the coil. So you do this by eye. You can make adjustments later. <coughs> I'm just going to go one more turn like so. So I've got that spiral there. Now, here comes the bit that might be a bit trickier, and it's more tricky just because um, of holding on to it and, and navigating this spiky bit here, because it's going to get in the way for us, but it's, it's, we can do it. Uh -huh. So, if you don't have bell-making pliers, you can use something like a pen or a mandrel of some uh, okay. nature to create this, this shape. But I'm going to use the... I've got my six-step bell-makers here. I'm going to use the fourth step on mine to yeah. help me make this shape. And then I'm going to position my coil, my uh, spiral, into the jaws of my pliers, okay? And then take the tail of the wire around. So I'm making 
like a like a you know a giant gizmo coil onto my pliers. You see now this this is in the way of my pliers, so I'm just yeah. going to have to just push it out the way each time, and then come back and start. Really clever to make that from one piece of wire. It just yeah, it helps to keep everything in in one. Yeah, because totally. In this, I mean, you can make it without this piece of wire and then pop a head pin underneath to stop it coming through. It's going to not be very secure, though, is it? It's going to be a bit more... Yeah. Mm. But, but, you know, sometimes, you, you know, it's, it's nice to have it all in one. Yeah, isn't it? Just okay. lovely. So I'm just going to keep going now to create the length of um, sort of bead cap, because this is the bead cap end, um, as I want. OK, so I'm just going to go a few more coils around. And then trim off when I've got to the end. So I can trim that bit now. And then all we want to do here is we want to put the lid on. So then now it looks like a bit... Like put a, a lid on it! Like dusty bin, you know, like a pedal dusty bin. Dusty bin. So all I'm going to do now is tip that over so that the lid That's so goes clever. onto the Love it. coil. And then we've got that, um, you know, that stem here. Now, um, having said all that, this isn't going to take much weight. So if you were doing something like um, a heavy pendant, that can pull. But we are going to glue this in, so um, it, should, it should be OK. Gorgeous. Right, so then we can take our two ends. I'm just going to use... Let's see if I've got an off-cut. Of course, awesome. I haven't got any off-cuts. I used every single scrap of my... <laughs> Of my round cord. Oh, lovely. Because, um, because I loved it. Yeah, I can just tell you, you <laughs> loved this and kind of wanted to do more. Yes. Oh, Squeeze it in. Right, so I'm, I'm going to be a bit naughty. She's going to do it. Not do any measuring. <gasps> do you, oh. Oh. you can measure at home. What's she doing? So I've got a length that I think is going to be OK. Oh, well, you think? To make these hmm? earrings. Let's have a look. Oh. Look, look, I'm almost exactly Ooh. the same. I've done well. Yeah, not quite. <laughs> <laughs> so on here, let's put um, an embellishment. So a nice, <laughs> this thing, a nice thing to use is this little yes. charm carrier is lovely. So we can really slide, slide that on. Lovely. Okay, and then we can bring these two tail ends together. Like this. Give them a squish. Squish together, and then we're going to pop some glue into um, into this coil that we've created. So you need three pairs of three three hands. Yes. Two pairs of hands. <coughs> pop some glue in there, and then squish these together again. Make them nice, uh, you know, level, and squish them together, and then we can just sort of squeeze them, squeeze them in. into that bead cap. Lovely. Gosh, that's a lovely fit. Yeah, so if it's a nice tight fit, that's great. If you feel it's a bit loose, yeah. it's okay, because, you know, you're going to have to make it to the size of mandrel you've got. Yeah, of course. You know. So if it's a bit loose, what I do then, we've got the glue that's helping, but what I do then is just take that little end. Can you see the end just there? Yeah. Where I've cut the loop. You just take that and twist it. Oh, yeah, sort of lovely. Catches into yeah. the into the um, cork. Into the cord. Okay, so now we've got um, our earring. Or well, this obviously could be the end of a bracelet. You know, this could be a bracelet ending. And then we just want to. We're just going to take a one of our pearls and pop it on. And the great thing about the pearls is that they they will go onto the one millimeter wire, which is good. Jammer. So let's pop that onto there. like that and then I'm just going to squish that in so it looks like the pearl is just sort of sitting in the top so you can give that a bit of a squish and then bend that top bit over gorgeous we can trim that off and just make our little eye loop to attach it into an earring or you know this could be a pendant as well so a little eye loop on the top and there's our Oh, an earring ready to embellish. You can hang, hang, Gorgeous. you know, hang your, another pearl or a charm off the bottom there. But that's that cord ending. So that's awesome. Is that okay? Are we, are we yeah, that's brilliant, time, Gemma. We? Honestly, that, I mean, that is absolutely fantastic. But yeah, if you've got anything really? else you want to share, so honestly, you can do. Yeah, is there lovely. Time to do one more. Mm. Okay, right. Right, so let's have a look at doing this this one then. This is um, just a nice. wire embellishment onto yeah. our 
leather onto our strap, onto the cork straps. Let me just make this the right sort of size. Uh -huh. So I'm not wasting any. Okay. Gorgeous. So this is, this is quite nice. Again, I think this is quite unisex, this mm. one. So I've got some Definitely. one millimeter wire again. Um, and I'm going to cut probably, let's go for about, it's about 60 centimeters, I'd say. That should be plenty for us to work with for this particular design. And I'm gonna to go to the center of what would be my bracelet. Yeah. Okay, so right to the center and at the center of that wire. So I've got equal amounts of wire either side. Okay, and I'm gonna just push it with my finger up against the cord while I work because the cord, the, the strap is very strong and quite rigid. It's easy to bend the wire around it without using tools. So we just take one of the wires a couple of times around and try and pull it nice and tight so it sits snugly onto the, onto the cord and you're gonna get less movement then. Okay. So I'm gonna go around three times on this side and then I'm gonna do the same on the other side. So three times on this other side as well. Okay. Lovely. And then I'm gonna bring both wires to the top and I'm going to sort of put my thumb on top and I'm gonna sort of interlock them. So they're gonna sort of cross over, wrap over each other. So I put my thumb on the top, I'll pull one around like that. And you see, I'm giving it a good pull when I bring it yeah. one around the other. Now we want that sort of crossing over to have occurred at the center, so in the middle. So if it's not quite, then we can just adjust because we want our spiral to be nice and center. Okay, so there we go. We've got them interlocked together. Mm. Now, if you find they're poking up a bit, they're a bit high, you haven't managed to, you know, get your thumb really firmly down on there. What you can do at this stage is just take Ooh, nylon squish. drawers and just give it a flatten down. Because sometimes it is hard on your fingers. Yeah, yeah, I can imagine. So, nice and flat. <coughs> and then all we're going to do now is we're going to sort of spiral around. I'm going to keep my thumb on top because that's going to help my wires to stay flat and follow a path around. So I've brought one around, put my thumb back on top and bring the other one around to meet it. And we just keep going. Mm. So you may have seen this done. It's like the technique that you might use to make your wire roses. Ah, yes. Only this time. And of course you could do a rose pattern, but this one I'm keeping them running parallel to one another, not crossing over. Lovely. So just take it in turns with your wire going round, keeping your thumb on top so that it helps follow and keep the, keep the spiral neat and tidy. And just go round and round until you've got the size of spiral you want. Mm. We want to finish with our wires, you know, on opposite sides to each other. Lovely. So I'm going to go just round one more time here. Okay. And then once I've got a, a spiral the size I want. Nice. And then going to take these wires and secure them in place by wrapping them once or twice around the other side. Oh, lovely to secure. And then once, if we do twice one side, we do the same on the other side. So that's nice and secure. Uh -huh. And then finishing them, I don't need this much wire. So I'm going to chop that down. So I've got roughly one, two, three, about four centimeters of wire left Yeah. on each side. And then I'm going to do a smaller spiral um, on these to sit onto the cord itself, onto the strap. So round those pliers right to the tip of the wire. We don't want yep. any sticking out right to the tip of the pliers. And then we just start creating that spiral by turning our wrists into the wire. So once you've got it started, yeah, lovely. can't go any further with your pliers. You can then take flat nose or chain nose pliers, hold across the spiral nice and firmly, and then continue to roll it in towards, towards that cork Gorgeous. strap. Okay, I've probably got that a little bit big, but it's okay, it's still gonna fit on the strap there. So roll it in till it's sitting where you That's want it. So lovely, Gemma. And give it a push. And that should sit there quite nice and neatly. And just do the same on the other side. Gemma, that's so lovely. Oh, you're welcome. What a Glad lovely like material. It. Thank you so, so much for that. You're welcome. Isn't that gorgeous? Well done. I really hope you enjoy working with all these incredible kits because 
I, and I can't wait to see your Wall of Fame entries yes. as well over the next few weeks. It's going to be so exciting to see, see what your designs. journey is with your gorgeous cork kits. Um, we've got time for um, a couple of quick star buys. Um, don't forget, at uh, 12 o'clock, we're going to be bringing you the, nat uh, the natural lavender faceted pearls with uh, Jake, which is going to be very, very exciting. That's going to be coming up at midday. But before we do that, let's go to a star buy. Gorgeous, gorgeous quality. Look at this. Absolutely amazing jade oh, strand. Lovely. Faceted. Oh, I, I, they're just such beautiful, definite shapes. Yeah, Do you aren't know they what just? I mean by that? You've got lovely high sides and nice facet. They're gorgeous. Yeah, they are lovely. They've got those lovely, as you say, those high, kind of blunt, flat sides yeah. on them, haven't they? They are just gorgeous. Loving this quality. Oh, wow, look at all that beautiful faceting. Yeah. Uh, these are um, uh, eight mil in size, 90 cent 19 centimeter strands. They've got great drill holes in them as well. They are really, really lovely. I'm just wondering as well with the. Mm. Yeah, they'd look great well, stitched on. I'm just thinking, what would they look like stitched on? Oh, they're, they're perfect. Absolutely perfect. Aren't they? Yeah, and you could just, I mean, you could stitch a few, you could just use one. You know, like I, you just use one with the Buddha. Yes, just, with the Buddha's head. It's just, you know, that's going to look gorgeous. What a wonderful material to use alongside your Jay. Thank you, Gemma. Great to have you back. Inspirational as always. I know Josephine, isn't she Thank just, you, just amazing. Uh, these are going to be great for rings. I have to say that that kind of that diamond shape that you've got there just works so well in the in a ring design, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, and, and the earrings, lovely. Lovely for earrings. The diamond shape doesn't, it, it doesn't have a direction, so it, you can, they just fall so nicely. Yes, they do, don't yeah. they? Yeah, much nicer than, yeah, if you've got the lines going down like that. Yeah, it's, it's got real elegance to it, that yeah. line, hasn't it? Um, Anne in Tyne and Weir, we can see you there, my lovely. Well done to you. Been, on, been to air once before, and it came to air for just... 30... That's a bit low, isn't it, love? <laughs> First came to wear at $34.99. Do you know what? That's a bit. It's low and that's going lower. That's a bit low, love. What are you doing, Neri? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. There's 19 on the strand. Uh, we can't be moving much, Neri, because that's $34.99 for really beautiful faceted diamonds object. That's amazing. Nineteen ninety nine. Go, Richard, Rita, M, Anne. Oh my gosh! Well done. Amazing. Gorgeous. Oh, eight hundred six triple four six double five. Gorgeous. Absolutely amazing. Anne in Hampshire. Well done to you as well. I can't believe that. That is unbelievable. That is unbelievable. Nineteen ninety nine for one of these would be amazing, but for all nineteen of these, and just incredible. Yeah, one pound something each. That's unbelievable. That Samantha, well done to you as well, my lovely. Dawson's has got two, well done to you. Hansa, well done to you. Mary, absolutely loads of you coming through to get this. I love the table facets you're getting on here as well. They look so, they're so square and, yeah. and, and prominent, aren't they? They're just gorgeous. Well done, Anne's coming through as well. That's great to see. We've got Anne in Tynaway, Anne in Hampshire and Anne in the West Midlands. All right, to the end. Uh, well done to you. <laughs> Gorgeous. Don't forget your 30-day money-back guarantee. That's an absolute bargain for Jade, isn't it? You've got to admit that. It's just amazing. Go, 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 go. Well done. Lots and lots of people getting involved. Um, so good to see you. Don't forget, coming up in, uh, in just a few moments, we've got the gorgeous faceted pearls as well. We've got another one coming up now as well, this time in loose stones of the most beautiful... Is that right? We've just done the faceted squares. Oh, they were diamonds, were they? Wow, square diamonds. I don't have them, love. We did this. We did faceted squares earlier. We did do faceted Jade, squares I, earlier on, didn't yeah, we? we did. Oh, there we go. There we go. 
Gorgeous Burmese colour, um, uh, multicolour jade, uh, faceted squares. There we go, 19 centimetres round. Going to get roughly, uh, how many on there? <gasps> King has oh, got them. King has got them, thank goodness for King. She's a hero. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 23. 23 on the strand, there you go, everyone. Use them together, come on. There you go. <clears throat> oh, now that with your yep. on your on your cork. Yes, absolutely. Or your um, or your or, or your kind of uh, channel set pieces. That would be yeah. nice, wouldn't it? With wire either side. Oh yeah, with cork either side. Channel set with cork either Ooh, side would be amazing. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, it's almost exactly the same kind of width, isn't it? it that is, would work yeah. so well. Perfect. See. We need more of it, don't we? We need more of it. Gemma Crow, the most creative mind that I know. There if you go. buy it, you're going to have to buy two lots if you've bought it. Because as soon as you make one thing, you'll think, oh, I wish I had some more. Wish to make I had some more cork. That exactly. next idea. Yep, precisely. Precisely. <laughs> 39.99. Not your deal today. Well done, everyone. OK, loads and loads and loads of opportunities uh, for you here. Well done to you. <laughs> Gorgeous. 0800. Samantha, well done to you. Stella, well done to you. Marion, well done to you as well, my lovely. Helen, well done to you. Loads of people there. Rita, absolutely fantastic. Go, go, go. Anne in time and we're... Oh, loads of people. Yeah, these deals are amazing. 19.99. Well done. Debbie, Julia, well done to you. Yeah, every other one of these is like this lovely snow white jade, isn't it? It's absolutely incredible stuff. Well done, everyone. Myrtle in Lanarkshire. Well done to you, darling. Susan, well done to you. These are going to sell out just, uh, just over the next few moments. Don't go anywhere. We've got the most amazing uh, section coming up next. We've got the most beautiful lavender faceted freshwater culture pearls with Jake coming up after the break um, and loads more. Don't go anywhere. We'll see you in a sec. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, this coming Wednesday, it's Claire McDonald's birthday show. Make sure you tune in for what will be an absolutely amazing five hours of treats. We have a mega bundle of soldable accents and gem setting bracelet kits. Your deal of the day is the beautiful blue chalcedony. Plus, anybody who buys during the show is in with a chance of winning a goodie bag worth over a hundred pounds. So make sure you tune in, join the celebrations for Claire's birthday. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. It's a new year, so that can only mean one thing. It's time for those new year resolutions. And it's the perfect time to start a new hobby. Jewelry Maker, Sewing Street and Hobby Maker are here whether you're starting something new or advancing your skills on a current hobby. 
with all the tools you need to start, as well as expert demonstrations from our great guests. Are you starting a new hobby this January? Share your new makes with us by tagging jewellery maker, hobby maker, or sewing street using the hashtag New Year New Hobby. And watch us every day from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. on Jewellery Maker. On Hobby Maker, 6 to 8 a.m. and 1 to 6 p.m. And 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. on Sewing Street. Here at Jewellery Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Buying with Jewellery Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call centre with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Hey, Thompson. It is wonderful <laughs> to be back here with you, Carol. It's awesome. wonderful to be back here with you as well. If we've never met before, my name's Jake Thompson. I'm the lead gem investor here at the Gemporia Partnership. And whenever I join you here at Jewelry Maker, I have one aim for you and your wonderful hobby and community. It is to help you take the next step in your jewelry making <clears throat> journey. I've seen your creations. They are extraordinary. I've seen your creativity. As someone who admires creativity, I absolutely love it. But having sat across the negotiating table with the likes of Eddie Levian of the Levian Design House, with the likes of Von Cleef and Arpel Byers, across and battling against Genfield to, of course, the house behind Fabergé today. Having met those people, I see the only difference between you and them. It's not creativity. It's not talent. It is simply access. Mm -hmm. Access to the world's best gemstones. Access to the latest innovations happening in the market. And so whenever I join you on this show, my aim is to give you just that. Access. Because I truly believe that you can make fine jewellery. I know you don't think of yourself as a fine jeweller yet, but when you work with some of what I have for you today, you absolutely must start doing so. <clears throat> 
Speaking of Fabergé, <laughs> the next 30 minutes is a tribute. It's an homage to the Fabergé. Not the brand, the man, the visionary, Carl Fabergé. In 1910, and this is when he is at the peak of his powers, the zenith of his influence. A French journalist was interviewing Carl Fabergé and asked him, amongst other questions in the interview, they said, Monsieur Fabergé, what, in your opinion, will be the popular jewellery a hundred years from now? <laughs> I'm going to apologise to everyone in France who I've just offended. <laughs> but they did. They asked the question. And this really shows us something oh, quite remarkable no. about Carl Fabergé because he could have said, <laughs> my imperial eggs. He could yes. have answered my imperial eggs. Yeah. What would be the most popular jewellery in the year, 100 years from now? He said, my imperial range, my imperial eggs. And he'd have been right. He'd have been right. They are still, today, some of the most sought after objets d'art in the world. He could have said, well, oh, Fabergé jewellery, of course. It is timeless. But he didn't. Because Fabergé wasn't a jeweller first and foremost. I mean, to really let that soak in. Carl Fabergé was not a jeweller first and foremost. That's what we know him for, but it's not what he was about. And I'm going to invite a 60-second clock on screen because today I'm doing things a little bit differently. I am not today going to give you a 20-minute build, uh, build up and an understanding of this next piece. I'm not going to do that. You've got 51 seconds until I unveil this. Because Carl Fabergé, 100 years ago, said, what will be the most popular <clears throat> jewellery of today? Oh. And he said, faceted pearls. Wow. Now, of course, everyone at the time <laughs> thought he was joking. He wasn't. He was prophesizing. He was having a vision. Because Carl Fabergé, more than a jeweller, was a visionary. And he recognized he was inhibited by the technology of his time. With 15 seconds to go, I'm going to give you your first ever glimpse of natural oh. lavender. That is, oh. the color is naturally oh. lavender, cultured, faceted pearls. <clears throat> this is the answer to the gauntlet that Carl Fabergé threw down wow. 100 years ago. What will be the popular jewelry in 100 years from now? That was Carl Fabergé's que an question. Oh. And he answered with what is on your screen today. For only the second time ever here at Jewelry Maker, we have a full strand, a hank of faceted pearls. This is, oh. this is jewelry of the future. It is answering a 100-year challenge. Look at how metallic. Have you ever seen pearls perform like this before? Almost certainly not. Tom, I'm going to explain exactly where these sit in the modern jewellery market, but I'm opening, I've not got any pre-orders available today, I'm opening phone lines for the Strand right now. Oh. I have a dozen chances, that's it, just a dozen. A of dozen? Them. A dozen. Oh, Jay. We should be so grateful for that dozen, Carol. Oh, we should wow. be so grateful for the dozen. Here is why, we have never done this before. You are already racing, I see you, Sussex, I see you, Anna in Derbyshire, Susan in Norfolk, Claire in Essex. I'm gonna tell you now, I'm gonna break your promise. When you have this, you will be able to make award-winning jewelry. That is a huge claim. This is your single ticket to award-winning jewellery. Well done, Susan, wow. who's picked up the first strand. Anna has confirmed hers as well. You are not missing out. How can I make such a claim? In literally, Carol, one week. One week today, I go to the Tucson Gem Show. And at there, there is an award, the AGTA Spectrum Awards. These are the Oscars yes. of the jewellery. Scratch the Oscars. These are the Nobel Prize of the jewellery world. It does not get higher than the AGTA oh Spectrum gosh. Awards. Wow. The moment this illustrious judges, these have judged Brazilian Paribas Tourmalines, these have judged Tanzanites, <coughs> these have judged Zarites, these have judged the rarest of the rare. The moment they witnessed a faceted pearl, they awarded it platinum honour. Whoa. Oh. One. Faceted pearl. One. An 11 millimeter Tahitian Eight. faceted pearl 
and it immediately stormed through as platinum honors. That was at Mark Schneider. I actually reached out to, I actually reached out to Schneider Design Studio and asked them um, how much this ring was. They wouldn't tell me. <laughs> they wouldn't tell me. Um, and, and it was quite an awkward exchange. It was done over Messenger. And I was saying to them, well, no, you know, I, Go on, I'm a please tell me. I, I'm going to confess now. I didn't say who I was. Didn't want to say who I was. So I didn't say that, anything like that. I just said, I'm an interested buyer. I'm in the UK. How much is this piece of jewelry? And they said, you really need to come and have a look at it. it it's unlike any pearl you've seen. I said, I, I can see. I can see the facet junctions. This is extraordinary. I bet you do. <laughs> uh, I, I recognise it's unlike anything else. How much is it? Yes, well, we don't really tell people how much it is. Come and have a look in, come and have a chat with us at the studio. And I said, look, I'm in, I'm in the UK, I'm in Europe. I'm, I can't fly all the way. I'll happily come over if I'm going to buy it. I need you to let me know how much this is before I go and book a plane ticket. Well, so we, we don't really talk about the price of this one. So I can't even tell you how much that one is. Oh, um, goodness. Katerina Perez, one of the most great influencers of the jewellery industry, had a huge... Insight, Jewelry Insights article. It was written in a Jewelry Insights article Bad. featuring two of these. <clears throat> Gorgeous. These are, by the way, to my knowledge, the only two faceted pearls in the US market today. No. Seriously? Yes. I will explain Good exactly why me. I say that. I understand these to be Tuzlikov cut Faceted pearls, and they're the only two Tuzlikov cut faceted pearls wow. in the US market today. What is a Tuzlikov faceted pearl? How does this happen? How have we got from a position <clears throat> where a hundred years ago, Carl Fabergé said this is the jewellery of the future, but he was limited by the technology of his time? Now, the gauntlet, because it was, it was a challenge that Carl Fabergé threw, quite like an unpinned grenade, into the jewellery industry. And for decades, no one took the challenge on. It was just, it was too out there. It was too look, massive, too much of a challenge. It took until the mid 60s. So yeah, until the mid 60s for someone to really pick up on this challenge. And who, who picked up on it? You, just before we went live, you talked about diamond cutting, how they yes. cut this on a diamond wheel. Yes. It was a Japanese company, um, the Komatsu Diamond Industry. That's okay. the company name, Komatsu Diamond Industry. And they are a diamond cutting company. They specialise in diamond cutting. That's yes. all they do. And, it, 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 and they've been founded in 1967. And they're the first to pioneer this technology. And in the late 60s, early 70s, you had this emergence of South Sea and Tahitian pearls really kind of kicking into the market. And the Akoya pearl, the classic pearl, the Japanese pearl, because you suddenly had <clears throat> these newcomers, much bigger South Sea whites, you, have, you, 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 had the, you had the Tahitians bringing peacock colours in. The pearl market was very different to it. Akoya today, record highs. But at the time, mm. Akoya was actually going through something of a nadir point because it had these two emerging competitors and all the excitement was located over with them. Very different to today's market. And so the Komatsu Diamond Company, a lot of Akoya, uh, it became a national, a national mission. How do we revive the fortunes of the Akoya pearl? And the Komatsu Diamond Company, despite having no interest in pearls whatsoever, said, oh, well, look, this is a national mission. We must try and take part. So their original goal was to try and spruce up the Akoya pearl. The Akoya pearls can never, biologically, they can never be as big as the Australian um, Pinktada Maxima. They can never be as colourful as the Pinktada Magnifera that comes from Tahitia, Tahiti. So what could they do? They said, we're going to precision cut the pearls. This was a diamond company at the peak of its game in the most technologically advanced gemological market in the world. It took them 20 years of research, development, countless pearls lost to trying to find the Holy Grail, Good. to trying to achieve Fabergé's dream, for trying to make real a fa single faceted pearl. And around 20 years later, from embarking on that journey in the late 60s, they actually had success. So we're talking late 1980s. They cut, fully cut their first symmetrical faceted pearl that they wow. were happy with. 20 years on. Do you know what they did after that? They said, we're never doing it again. <laughs> they said, the never. Stress. <laughs> we're not oh doing that gosh. again. We're not doing that again. You have to be so exacting in the pearl. You can't do this to any pearl. 
You have to have a <laughs> large pearl in the first place. The nacre has to be of such a clean quality yes. because it almost takes on this transparent, almost cut gem phenomena. Yes. You look at these pearls, have a look at them, and they're on a strand. But as you look at them, you'll see they actually look round on the strand. They look round. It's almost like the facet junctions go invisible yes. in the, on the silhouette of the pearl. Yes. That's because of how fine the nacre has to be. You are looking at transparent nacre. You can't do this to any You've pearl. almost fire coming from them. It's incredible. So you have Komatsu Diamond Company and they go, yep, yeah, okay, brilliant, we've done it. Now what? We're never doing it again. Enter Tuzlikov. Who is Tuzlikov? Let me introduce you to him. Uh, this is Viktor Tuzlikov. And wow. of all, all the pearl cutting pioneers that emerged in the wake of the Kabatsu Diamond Company's innovation, yeah. Viktor Tuzlikov is <clears throat> indisputably the master indisputably the master. When it comes to finely cut faceted pearls, Tuzlikov is the master of the field. Yeah. Now, there aren't many competitors, so okay, we accept that. There aren't many competitors because it's a bally hard thing to do. <laughs> this man has global renown in this field. And you might say, okay, well, how many has he cut then? How many faceted pearls do you have to cut to become globally renowned in the field? And the answer is about 20. Oh my word. Would you mind starting to count these pearls for me, Carol? <laughs> because Victor has cut around 20 pearls in his pursuit of perfect symmetry, and that makes him the world leader. Half of those, um, he's given over to his friend and fellow Russian designer, Ilgiz, and I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna apologize for, 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 for mispronouncing this name, Fa Fazul Zayanov. And, and many of those pearls, they've actually been donated into what was essentially, the, the, they call it the Russian State Depository in the Kremlin Museum. They are essentially the crown jewels of the Russian state today. Um, so of the 20, about 10 of them are locked away in the Kremlin. They're not available. A uh, few others have found their way into private collections, perhaps oligarchs or, 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 uh, or, or sheikhs in the, in the Middle East, mm. who we know are, are, are hugely um, interested in pearls. Just two of the 20 have found their way into the Western world. They're in a private collection in the United States of America, and I understand those ones to be the, the pieces that we saw at Katharina Palace. Oh, really? Interesting. 20 fasted pearls makes you the world leader. Carol, <laughs> how many pearls on our strand today? 38. Oh my gosh. This is a lifetime. Wow. 20 is a lifetime of faceting yeah. pearls. You have here essentially two lifetimes worth of faceted pearls. Oh We've put them on the strand. You must not use these as a strand. You must not use them as a strand. I would be putting spacer gems in between them. I would be breaking them apart into earrings. I would be turning them into pendants. This, we put them on a strand to deliver unrivaled value for money. Please do not keep these together. I'm going to do one crash on this and one crash only. Can I get a 30 second clock? We're not messing around on this. There is no, there is no other way of doing something like this. Now, I'm going to pop £8,000 on screen on the nose. 8000. You've got 20 seconds. I don't mind if you want to wait to that final crash. That's absolutely fine. Look, we've got international interest in this. Yeah. Merthyr Tidville. I've got Hampshire. I've got Germany. I want to congratulate Anna, who has secured hers. An investor in Devon. I don't know if you're locking those away in a vault. That's absolutely fine. West Midlands. I've got Susan in Norfolk. I've got Kim. And I have Saima. Beautiful name in Rutland. Go on, Jake. Are you ready? Tom, 499. 499 pounds. Not even entertaining a four-figure number. We've gone oh. straight down for you. I see well, Annie in Cardiff, who's about to get hers. Samantha in the West Midlands. Kerry. <laughs> now, the problem is I only started with a dozen of these, and I'm already congratulating Anna, Devon, West Midlands, Susan, Kim, Simon. That's half of them already Look spoken the split for. split payments, Then Jake. we're looking, I mean, Carol, we... Tuzlikov has oh. only ever fasted about half the about length half. of the strand's worth. 
Good, well done. I want a huge congratulations. Well I've done. had a checkout from, uh, from, from, from Richard in Dorset. I've had a checkout at what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. My gosh. Uh, okay. Wow. Right wow, now, wow. we've got uh, each, each strand. It's got about five people competing. I mean, to yep. be fair, you could 38 divided by four. It's about seven or eight. If you want to club together and get one strand of Wonderful these, that's absolutely idea. fine. Love Look, that. That's how rare we're talking right now on this one, Carol. We all have you have as many you, you have as many fasted pearls as maybe you know the Kremlin the Kremlin state. That's got, just incredible. Yeah. It's inc when you actually do the maths on something like this, it is one of the most unique opportunities. We're down to our final three genu oh. two genuine chances. Claire's there. Debbie's wow. just checked out. Absolutely the right thing to do. Huge congratulations. And in Cardiff, talked. What I'm going to do, I'm going to, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I've got two chances. Can I just show you who's currently competing for these? Huge congratulations. I, I just don't know how you divide this number by two. Oh, my word. Well done. A massive congratulations Here's to Here's the everybody. problem I've got. Well, congratulations to everyone on this side. Claire, Debbie knows what she's doing. <laughs> Anne, Saima, Kim... Susan, Maker in the West Midlands, Maker in Devon, Samantha in the West Midlands, uh, Richard and Anna, who was first involved. Congratulations, this is yours. Let's come over this side. See this line here? This is the line of fate. Uh, sorry, I can't see the graphics right now. How many have we got left? Two. Uh, two chances, two. right, okay. So. One, two sorry, oh, one. Oh, sorry, one, last strand. Jenny's just confirmed, well done, Jenny. Okay, tell me how many times one goes into this. One, two, <laughs> three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It just... Goes on and on and on. Uh, right, okay, Tom, ambassadors. I'm going to call that a sellout. Don. Yeah. Gone. 40 ambassadors. There is one chance available, but when you've got 40 people comp competing for it. Wow. Carol. Yes. I once bought a sing one strand. I've only ever done, that's the only, the second strand I've ever yes, done of this yes. material. I once previously bought a strand of whites. I think we've got two chances left on this one. Tom, can we just bring Ooh. the graphics in? Exact, no. same number of pearls, same length. Same size. I'm going to match the price. Four nine nine, please, Tom. Oh straight gosh. away. Enjoy. You want to get the Go whites, home. classic whites, faceted. Oh, there it is. Here they are. Wow, wow, wow! Incredible. Already over allocated. That is yours today. Four nine nine. Same split payments. Same caliber. Same quality. Uh, same facet. Claire's, oh. Claire's in the front of the line, <laughs> but Lynette's right behind her. Kerry, Kerry's oh, there as so well. West, West Midlands. Midlands. Look, I'm gonna. There's two strands. That's all. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna leave that there. Good luck Evan. if you're able to get hold of that. Well done, Claire. You, well done. You, you did win the race. One remaining. Okay. One remaining of the whites. One remaining of the lavenders. Now at home, at home, I appreciate four nine nine is a considered is a considered price point. So I have put together a separate deal. Can I just remind you of something? Victor Tuzlikov. He's only ever cut twenty of these. Oh About God. half of them, 10 of them, are currently in the Kremlin, locked away as Russian crown jewels, essentially. He is the mar market leader in this. Just two of his 20 found their way to the Western world. Two of them into a private collection in America. So do you know what we've done, Carol? Go on. I've paired them. Have a look <laughs> at this. If those of you who are oh God! I want that, but I just can't. Gem. I, I just can't. Gem. I can't. Oh my gosh, look at that this is your chance. Look at those facets go. Uh, Richard's come in. He said, look, I've oh been lucky gosh. enough to get two white in the past. They are phenomenal. Look Richard in Dorset did get the full strand of the lavenders. Just Ooh. tuned in. Wow. What an amazing oh, strand. Can't wow. believe they're fasted. Jill, Jill, this is your chance to get them. We're going to open phone lines. I just thought pearls could not look more beautiful than this. So glittery, aren't they, oh, Kerry? Very, that yeah. is luster. When do we ever use the word luster with, with a pearl? Yep. Now, I have got, I've got opportunities here. This is going to be the chance where you can do it. You've got 11 millimetres. By the way, can I just remind everyone, do you remember that award-winning piece here? Yes. Remember the award-winning one? So they wouldn't but you only get one. You only get one. <laughs> OK, but it, you, you got one. Mark Schneider, design studio. If you do want to try it, you do have to fly to America to go and get it, by the way. Um, that's an 11 millimetre. What, what are I? Oh, my gosh. That's an 11 millimetre? That's an 11 millimetre? Yours is 11 millimetre. Oh, hello. Right. That is one of the most beautiful. This, for me, is seen. just about... Or everyone who admired the strand and went, I love it. I just... <laughs> I, I, I can't do it. I love it, but I can't do it. You can. You, you so can. certainly can. They are fully drilled for your ease. Melanie's bought two of these pairs already. Jenny's there. Carol's there. This is your chance. I've got a full... 
First crash on this one, I want to re just reassure everyone. Straight down, please. 100 pounds on the nose, one zero zero. Just you wait, just you wait, everyone. Honestly, this is crazy, crazy. Huge congratulations. Oh my gosh, we are inundated, inundated with people coming through to get these right now. Now, the reason I've, gone, the reason I've done this, Carol, is I want to reassure oh. everyone, we are taking the same quantity of fasted pearls that exist from Tuzlikov this is in the going, United States. Just going. Only two of them hit the private collections in the United States. I'm going to take that same quantity, two pearls, under £100. That's why I put 100 there. So every, you know I can't go up. Double figures. Can I get a 60-second clock on this one? Oh. And now, I, I do need to warn everyone. Mm. Remember the strand we had? Yeah. Sold out. That's gone. gone. You, you can't get hold of that. Can't get, unless you want to talk to a fellow, fellow, fellow maker. Wow, say, wow, Remember that strand? Wow. I missed out on it. Can I, can I buy yours from you? Probably not going to be £500, though. If they are, um, I'll buy it back for £500. Um, the whites already sold out as well. They have both gone. These are this is your final chance for fast pearls. These are naturally lavender cultured pearls, natural lavenders that we're looking at here. 30 seconds. Now, look, if you want to wait, that's absolutely fine. You can wait. I'll show you who's not waiting, though. These are Caroline's not waiting. Melanie's not waiting. Valerie's not waiting. You're trusting me, and I'm going to reward the trust. I've got Jenny. I've got Maker. I've got Thecla. Beautiful name. Claire, Patricia, Pauline, Rita, Gabrielle, and this list keeps moving. I can see you waiting. I don't mind you waiting. It's absolutely fine to wait. A lot of people multi buy. It's absolutely yeah. fine to wait. But the queue, the wait on the phone lines right now is about 30 seconds. If you like waiting, don't dial just, yet. Just in case anybody's wondering, these are half drilled, just to, in, in, in case. Forgive me, wondering. I said fully drilled, half drilled. You're absolutely half drilled, right, yeah. Carol. Thank you so much for that clarification. Go on. What I'm going to say, if you have never seen pearls like this before, I'm going to show you how to get involved. Oh, man. These chances come so few and far between. My big crash is coming up straight the moment we come back from this. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Half the price, please, Tom. Oh! $49.99. This, this is your chance right wow. now. Emma in <laughs> Blainau, Gwent, Catherine in Cheshire, Simone in the Isle of Man, Kim in Somerset, welcome. Kim in the city of Bristol, who's bought two pairs of these. Melanie, Suja, Gabrielle, look, they, they, the, the weight on the phone lines have just. Suja bought one pair of these. I've just halved the price. She's gone, hang on a second. I was happy £100 for two pairs. Exactly. I'm going to double my order. Exactly. Just doubled her order in County Durham. I'm loving exactly. your style, Suja, there. And house designer Anne coming through. Of course she is. Well done. Honestly, there are so many people on the phone lines. This is absolutely crazy. Obviously, this is a limited edition um, uh, um, um, opportunity that we're giving you here today, but something which is unmissable. And this is, as Jake says, the access that you have been waiting for. Just to, sit, just to be in the same room as them, Jake, is yeah. amazing. Uh, but to have the opportunity to physically... Uh, Carl Fabergé, the, the thing is, you, you can... And, and this is the, the thing, for, for me, as someone who loves jewellery, for you as a jewellery maker... Yes. We all live in Carl Fabergé's shadow. Oh. And yet you can make the jewellery he was dreaming of. Precisely. For £49.99. Exactly yes. £49.99. And he said, 100 years from now, he recognised, look, do you know what? I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm limited by the technology of my time. I, I, a prisoner. He was a prisoner of the time mm. he lived in. But you can literally, through the jewellery you make for £49.99, you can be making the jewellery that Carl Fabergé wished he could make ahead of the Imperial Eggs, yes. ahead of the founding pieces of the Fabergé design house. That's what this opportunity gives you. And in our in-house jewellery makers double bought oh, on this one. Wow. Makers double bought uh, in Lincolnshire. Melanie's double bought. Sue does, so many of you multi-buying. Yeah. It's the absolute right thing to do. Now, can we have a quick look, Tom? 
Okay, we have about 60 chances remaining in this, which sounds a lot, but it's really not that many chances. Mm -mm. Think of how I brought you auctions of 500 before. Let's get a quantity yeah. on the screen. And we have a just, and 60 is flying, so we don't have 60 anymore. Let me share with you. So we've got what, 60, 60 odd available. Uh, still, no, no, it, well, it's actually going down. Go on, Tom, give us an update. 99. Gorgeous quality, 0800 644 William in Ayrshire, I don't want him to panic, Carol. William in Ayrshire <laughs> and in South Yorkshire. Look, there's a two-minute wait on the phone lines. Of yes. course there is, look at what's happening. We've got faceted pearls for £25 a pearl. Make has got 15 packs in their basket. Oh, my gosh, Jake. Are you OK? You need to check out. You, you need <laughs> you to really check out. You really do. Um, Look, we were at 58 a moment ago. We're now at 35 Look chances. At quantity. You can see now, if you have got a phone in your hand, don't panic. The contact centre are taking it out of unchecked out baskets, OK? So William and Ayrshire, please don't panic. They're going to just rip it out of an unchecked out basket. Yeah. Who should panic in that case? Lynette oh, should probably gosh. panic. Gloucestershire should panic. Debbie should panic. Noreen should panic. Joe should be panicking. Jan should be panicking. Michael should be panicking because it is a... Go, but go, once go. you check out, we're not going to take it out of your basket. Precisely. That's but exactly until it. You I always think this about that. Michael's done exactly that. Yeah. Well done, Michael, who's checked out two pairs of these. Yes. Absolutely the right thing to do. To not, to not, he doesn't want to risk it. This is unprecedented. Uh, this, is, this is just superb. Look, we've got literally just over a dozen chances left. We're at 50 pounds for something which is just... 25 pounds. If you were to get 25 pounds for a single naturally lavender pearl, huge congratulations. Yes, precisely. For, for, That's exactly... Then you really lay are on the faceting. My yeah. goodness yeah. me. Absolutely. Incredible. Well done. Look, we're down almost into single figures. You've seen how quickly these are going today. With, 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 with do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pop a 60-second clock on screen for you. I don't know what's going to go. Is it the clock or is it the stock? We are racing to a sellout on this one. I want to congratulate the full two columns oh, of names huge. who have already done this. You know, not who can do this. <clears throat> That's done. It's signed. It's sealed. It's delivered. It's coming to you, Gabrielle, in the West Midlands. Two pairs in 35 working days. Michael in Cheshire, three to five working days for your pairs. And, by the way, whenever you see it move, that's someone just confirming. Sorrel in West Wales, Noreen, Jackie, Hilmer, Lincolnshire, and our in-house designer just about to pop off, bought two pairs of these. I want to apologise to everyone all the way down here, who you literally, we can't see you, we can't say well done, I'm so sorry, because it just keeps going down. Make, you'd, think, you'd think a TV channel would be able to get a TV big three. enough to be able to show all these Say names. Again. A TV channel should be able to get a TV big enough to show all the names. <laughs> I know. It's one of life's it's great ridiculous, ironies. ridiculous, isn't it? Um, then we have here... Kath, Maker and Devon, Patricia, Charlotte, Claire, Thecla, Janet, Jill, Maker, Jenny, and it keeps on going down and down and down. If you're if you're on this side of the line, panic time. Yep. Panic stations, get them now. And anybody who's calling up for the oh well, look, we've got six chances left. It really is, it really is. Well, it's pretty much a sellout. Well done. Goodness me, well everyone. done. Everyone. Huge congratulations. I want to thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Just going to go and have I a love hearing your messages. <laughs> I love hearing your recommendations. Um, and if you have got any messages for me, let me know. Because I am off to the world's biggest gem show next yes, week. Fantastic. And I will be looking for new gems for you. Um, so, if, yeah, yeah, I know we should do. We should do some loud dialbacks. We should have lots and lots of fun whilst we are there and, and, and lots of interaction as well with you. So thank you so much. And thank you, Cal, for letting me on your show as well. Thank you. We'll see you in a couple of seconds. It's a new year, so that can only mean one thing. It's time for those New Year resolutions. And it's the perfect time to start a new hobby. Jewellery Maker, Sewing Street and Hobby Maker are here whether you're starting something new or advancing your skills on a current hobby. With all the tools you need to start, as well as expert demonstrations from our great guests. Are you starting a new hobby this January? Share your new makes with us by tagging Jewelry Maker, Hobby Maker or Sewing Street using the hashtag New Year New Hobby. And watch us every day from 8am to 1pm on Jewelry Maker. On Hobby Maker, 6 to 8am and 1 to 6pm. And 8am to 1pm on Sewing Street.
Jewelry makers, this coming Wednesday, it's Claire McDonald's birthday show. Make sure you tune in for what will be an absolutely amazing five hours of treats. We have a mega bundle of soldable accents and gem setting bracelet kits. Your deal of the day is the beautiful blue chalcedony. Plus, anybody who buys during the show is in with a chance of winning a goodie bag worth over a hundred pounds. So make sure you tune in, join the celebrations for Claire's birthday. Jewelry makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Gemma Crow, Bye. just take a little, uh, I know. I, I've been looking at them on the screens in that, in there, and you can see them on all the screens. It's just the best way to look at them. They are absolutely just heavenly, aren't they? They are splendid. They're so pretty. And it's, it's strange because they're fussed, but the illusion because of the luster makes it look like, uh, Ollie said it, it looks like they're in a net, you know, sort of exactly oozing out as a net. They're gorgeous. This is the only other opportunity we've got for these faceted pearls. They are, I mean, they are just, they are so rare. You saw how passionate um, uh, Jake was about, you know, you know, talking about them. And, uh, you know, just, just how incredibly uh, rare these are, how special they are, how limited they are. Um, this is the only other opportunity we've got. These are half drilled. They are pure white, that gorgeous natural colour with that beautiful faceting which has been applied to them as well. They are just unbelievable. How long would you have to look at these before you decided what to do with them? Oh. I th they have to be earrings, but then, do you think? but then at the same time, I'm like, well, I'd love one set as a as ring. As a ring? Yeah, so, so, would, you, so would I. Yeah. One for you, one for me. Okay. <laughs> well, there you go. You well, know. that's it though, isn't it? And I think that w w when we bought you the strands earlier on, we were saying to people that you can split them in between you and a friend if you want to. You can, you know, split the cost. Um, they are, they are magnificent. They are absolutely magnificent. It, yes, it looks like, and, and Ollie's trying his best to kind of articulate, and he's finding it difficult, but I find it difficult too, but it's almost like they are, which, oh no, because I don't want to say this because it implies that they are. It's like they've got a, it's like they're covered in glass and you can see into it. it. Yes, yes. Which effectively you can with a pearl because they are covered in a nacre, which is um, which is um, a high percentage of aragonite, which gives you that 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 see through layer on pearls, which you don't normally appreciate. The only reason why you're appreciating it is because these have been faceted, so you get that angle. It distorts the light. They are amazing. Um, I, how, how many of these do we have, Neri? Fifty chances available. <laughs> They're ten to eleven mil in size. We've got fifty chances available. We've already got Eileen. Claire's got two loads. Maker in the Channel Islands. Debbie Maker Maker uh, Lynette. I assume that these are the same as the lavender ones that we just bought to wear. Yeah, they're half drilled. Half drilled. So for earrings, I mean that's absolutely. Yeah. Perfect, isn't it? Yeah, for earrings. I mean, those lovely little daisy posts that we had earlier Ooh. would look gorgeous. Now you're talking. A, a yeah. Idol look. Absolutely. Or, but you know, we're talking about rings, rings. weren't we? Yeah. And you know, have an upturned little peg. Oh gosh. Um, what? Sunday, the early bird is a black diamond peg. What? There's too much. <laughs> what is all this information? Did you see? Oh, this is what they remind me of. This is what they remind me of. The black, right, you're going to lose your mind. The black diamond faceted rounds that we did the other day, some of them were five mil in size. What? One was seven mil. I didn't see the seven mil one, but I saw a five mil one. Oh five mil goodness. black diamond faceted round, like bead. Wow. 
Yeah. So imagine, <laughs> imagine that with that. Oh yeah. I mean, oh well, that's just gonna. That's, be, oh, there you go. That's diamonds and pearls flipped on its head, isn't it? It's like. There's your pension. Ugh. There's your pension. I mean, it's just, it's just, it's just incredible, isn't it? That's the kind of jewelry which you just keep and you sit on, and it's just gonna, it's just gonna gain and gain and gain and gain value because the quality you're getting here and the, mm. and the, the limited availability that there is. Here we go. Oh, Neri, you are so... He's oh, magic, that's... isn't he? Look at this. Sunday early bird. That's... Sterling silver peg, pearl peg with black diamond. That's what you're going to set it with. There you go. Yeah, that's perfect, isn't it? That's, that's the one. Simplicity. That... Uh, Neri made that slide in about three and a half seconds, by the way. He's literally a wizard, uh, but absolutely fantastic. Um, I'm sure Jake won't mind me showing this because I don't think Gemma saw it, but just look at the... Um, can we show the, the, the couple of slides with the, with the rings on it? Oh, yeah, this. <gasps> Look, I know, absolutely amazing. Oh. That kind of jewellery, I mean... Oh, that's... Rrr, that's... Yeah, that white pearl there is basically these, isn't that it? Is, isn't it? Isn't it? It's, it is that. Yeah. It's the same. But it's not always indicative of, it's kind of the same. If you close your eyes and stand on one leg, it's kind of the same. It's all... It, it, it's, it's the same. These pearls are so pretty. I'm sharing the pair with my friend. She doesn't even know it yet. Oh, oh Jill. That's nice, Jill. Do I have any friends called Jill? No, I don't. Darn oh. it. <laughs> But no, what a lovely, what oh. a lovely gift to be able to say, look, I'm going to split this with you. I'm yeah. going to, I'm going to, um, you know, that makes it even more poignant, doesn't it? Yeah. 99.99 isn't your price point, by the way. We're going to give you an even better deal. Teresa, Pat, Debbie, uh, Maker, Maker, Lynette, well done to you. There's loads of people coming through to get this already. And in 50 seconds, we're taking the price down. If you're familiar with the price point we just did for the two lavender pearls on their own, then you are going to be, yeah. Yeah, you're in for a real treat. If you bought the lavender pearls, by the way, wouldn't it be nice to have a lavender half drill pearl and the white half drill pearl and to kind of and to kind of mix them together, have much like the Caterina Perez uh, ring. Yeah. yeah. Um, look, here we go. Thank you, my love. Yeah, so if you want, if you've already got the, the lavender ones and if you want to kind of put them together, much like the Caterina Perez ring, uh, then you absolutely could. Oh, my gosh, they're insane. You know, if I ever saw a mermaid, I would imagine this is exactly what her tail looks like. Yes, yes. You know what I mean? Yes. So. We had... I'm just going to put them on the desk. Um, yeah, sorry. I'm going to put them there. Uh, the... Um, the uh, we did the other day beautiful koi carp carving. Oh, it yeah. reminds me of, like, a... Scales on a beautiful fish, or as you say, yeah. you know, a mermaid. They are just absolutely. Oh my gosh, look at that! That looks so good. They're amazing, aren't they? Good grief! I, I don't. I don't know if there's any of these left. By the way, I think they have. They all gone. The lavender ones. I have these. They are definitely more beautiful in person. How could they be more? I mean, they they look exceptional like that. We've got some of the lavender. We've got some of the. Uh, we've got some of the lavender ones left. I will just move those out of the way just because I don't want to get anyone confused. But we've got some of the lavender ones left if you want to add those onto your order. There you go. 49.99 is your price point today for something which is just in... Incredible, absolutely unbelievable deal for you today. Well done at 49.99. Well done. I think, I think, yeah, I think we're down into single figures now, aren't we? Must be. Yeah, there or thereabouts. Well done, everyone. Yeah, full columns of names, but we've got about 30 or 40 in baskets, so please check out as soon as you can. Well done. Go, go, go. <laughs> 0800 644 Look at these baskets. Mm. Elvira, Jill, Kerry, Mary, Tracy, Kim, Maker, Debbie. Maker in the Channel Islands. Maker's got two there. Lynette, oh, my word. Uh, if you want to get two of these, lovely, you're going to have to be quick because we've only got one chance. Of, oh, no, you can't now. We've only got one chance left. Uh, well done, everyone. Absolutely extraordinary. Well mm. done. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let's do a star buy. I don't even know what this star buy is, but Gemma's just been handed... Oh, Carol. Oh, mm. my... Oh, it's only just balanced in. You are amazing. That is gorgeous. Star by right now. Oh. Poor Ollie. Literally, Ollie, Ollie needs like eight arms, doesn't he? Octo Ollie. 
Hey? <laughs> Octo Ollie. Octo Ollie. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is like an amazing character from a. Octo Ollie. <laughs> yes, I like that. <laughs> Wasn't there a Channel 5 documentary called Octo Mum? She was like <laughs> mum to eight children or something. Oh, she? <laughs> you have to have eight arms. <laughs> Two's hard enough. <laughs> it's like trying to herd jelly. Right. <laughs> Here we go. So. Actually, no, we need to keep these over here, don't we, really, yeah. in all honesty? Yeah. Oh, wait, is, this, is this the pearls and the silver? Mm, oh, God. So, three gorgeous pearls. Let's put you there, my little lovelies. All half-drilled, I believe. They are, they are, gosh, they're round. Yeah, they're lovely, aren't they? They are lovely. And then, as you can see on this gorgeous recording here, the most beautiful... Beautiful setting. Oh, Ollie, what an award-winning recording. That is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, you've got a, oh, beautiful little, look. They're a so beautiful good. bale, pendant bale. Oh, gosh, actually, no, that, I'm not doing that any favours, am I? Leaving it on the desk like that. Let's pick that up. Here we go. There you go. That's a There's gorgeous your... bale. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. I, I've played these before, and I remember saying that they reminded me a little bit of a Sharon fruit. You know, the way the leaves kind of fall down the yeah. side of the Sharon fruit. They're just yeah. gorgeous. And you get this incredible pair. Look, oh, oh, goodness gracious me. Here we go. Of earrings with the same kind of design on there. Isn't that gorgeous? They're now, beautiful. using it with these incredible pearls, yes, they, they, they work so well. They, they are absolutely beautiful. But, I mean, obviously, we're looking at these incredible faceted pearls. I would, I, would, I, would, I would want to at least offer them up to see what they look like. Let's have a very quick look. Oh, my gosh. If I put that like... Oh, man. Sorry, gang. Sorry, gang. If I just do that, you could see it will sit absolutely beautifully. Where's that pin? Come here, you little fighter. Mm -hmm. If I just hold it like that, you can, it, it does sit perfectly on top of it. Absolutely beautiful. Isn't that just gorgeous? And the way that that sterling silver just kind of, ooh, just relaxes over the top of the pearl. Isn't it gorgeous? Yeah. Three and a half grams of sterling silver. By the way, the, the white gemstones, which are set into the sterling silver, they're white topaz, they're not cubixiconia, they're white topaz, wow. really beautiful quality. So you get this incredible luster. You see them all in, in all those lovely little, they're like little fig leaves or, when you, or, or, or over Christmas when you buy the beautiful um, satsumas that have still got the, the, the leaves on them. Yeah. They're just beautiful to look at. I'm a real yeah. sucker for things like that. They're yeah. just lovely to look at, aren't they? Yeah. Um, they are beautifully, beautifully decorative. Say again. <clears throat> so across the earrings and the pendant, there are 20 ice white topaz. I will move these faceted pearls out of the way. We all know what we're kind of secretly thinking as well, you know, put them with the mm -hmm. faceted pearls. Uh, but they're, they're just, they are, they are just gorgeous, aren't they? With your pure white pearls. You know, you don't have to set them with the faceted pearls, but I think that that would be a wonderful setting, but I do have to say, I am, I am so excited about the black diamond peg setting mm. that we're bringing to air on Sunday morning as your early bird special. That's, <clears throat> That's gonna be amazing. Um, this weekend is ba 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 bonkers It's gonna be absolutely bonkers. We've got red jade coming up. Oh. Uh, we've got the most incredible um, 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 early birds, the most incredible kits. It's gonna be an absolutely phenomenal, phenomenal, uh, weekend here on Jewelry Maker. Uh, Richard's got three of these. Well done to Julie, Eileen, Margaret. Well done to you. We're not done, apparently. Oh, wow. Okay. There's no way. We're so spoiled today. The what prices have been incredible. Well, all the resin, the amazing cork, Those the, the opals, yes. the deal of the day. Oh. It's all been phenomenal, hasn't yeah. it? Um, you imagine that pair of earrings and that pendant in a shop. You, you're not going to be you're not going to be paying forty nine ninety nine for all three of those, are you? That's going to be the thick end of one hundred and one hundred and twenty quid, isn't it? That, that's going to be you know where you where you where you'd expect to see these priced. Yeah. 
even in their rawest forms, you know, without, without all of the beautiful stunning silver leaves and the white topaz on there, they, they are so deserving of a higher price point than 49.99. Mm. Taking the price lower. And of course, the great thing is, is that you'll be able to make those pieces so quickly, won't you, Gemma? Yeah, yeah that's literally a, a, a dab of glue and a, a short weight and they're done. Yes. So, you know, it's, it's so simple, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely wonderful. Catherine in Cheshire has got two loads. Well done to you, Dorset. I can see you there as well. This is just absolutely fantastic. Multi-buying is absolutely the way forward with your half drill gems. You could do it with your fully drilled gems and we'll maybe talk about that in a sec about how you might want to set it with your fully drilled gems. 24.99, that's your price point today. Well done. It absolutely incredible. So let's say you've got a really lovely gemstone that's drilled the whole way through. Yeah. How would you set it with this peg setting? Well, you can use the peg setting exactly the same way, just put it through the drill hole. Right. Um you've got the hole at the bottom of your gem. But, you, I mean, you could fill that if you wanted to. I mean, you could okay. fill it with resin even if you wanted oh, nice. to. nice. You could fill it with um, milliput. Um, or you could maybe perhaps put um, a decorative head pin in the other end. Lovely, yeah. To, nice. And glue that in so that you've got something like as a stopper at the so bottom. So file it down a little bit maybe yeah. and glue it in the bottom. Yeah. That's a nice idea. Yeah. That's a really lovely idea, and that's going to give you that wonderful decorative finish. Oh, my gosh. Absolutely wonderful. Well done. Hi, Carol. I purchased the Olmec Jade necklace last week. I can't wait for the postman, strike permitting, as I've just added the pearl strand. So, oh, Samantha. So we bought this Olmec necklace. I know exactly what you mean, Samantha, because I was there. I, I was so excited for you. The Olmec beaded necklace with the solitary gold bead on it. Are you familiar no. with it? It's just, I say it's just, it's Olmec rounds mm -hmm. in an over-the-head necklace with one solitary gold bead on. It mm. is the most beautiful piece of jewellery I think we've ever created on Jewellery Maker. And wow. Samantha, when it does arrive, oh my word, just enjoy. Send me a photo, which I'd love to see a photograph of you wearing it, maybe as a necklace or maybe a lovely bracelet. I'd love to see that because it really is. There are certain things that you, you don't appreciate just how beautiful they are until you actually get them home. Yeah, you've got to, sometimes you've got to feel them and you know yes see them you know in your own hands and yeah yes yeah so much like the black opal from today um or the um all these all these incredible faceted pearls as well just amazing last couple of what oh oh Ooh. my gosh what are you doing that for last couple of chances for the lavender faceted pearls this is absolutely amazing Lots and lots and lots of people have already come through to get this. Uh, we've literally got a couple of opportunities remaining. That is it. The quality, the luster, the craftsmanship, the providence. Even if you didn't know what a faceted pearl was or how, how special these are, just to look at those, you just yeah. think, yeah, they, there is something really different and unusual yeah, about those. They, they are they are absolutely incredible. I never seen anything like it i think we we did have a, we did have some faceted shell pearls at one point didn't we yes absolutely um, but th th there's absolutely zero comparison you, you can't compare because the <clears throat> they're, they're, they're flat the color's flat on a shell pearl but this has got so much depth like it's like it's shaded yes you know like that like they are layered rather than butting up against one another. Precisely. And, and, and do you know something that it's almost like um, like a rose, isn't it? Yeah. Like layers of a rose or a, or a little miniature cabbage or something like that. The little ornamental petals. cabbages. That's yes. what they reminded me yeah, of at first. Yeah. Yeah, but they are, aren't yeah. they? But I think as well, uh, and this is something that Jake said, where the facet terminations are, especially around the edge, um, you get this incredible, you get this incredible almost illusion of, of this incredible, this, I mean, the shape is absolutely, is absolutely incredible, but they look even rounder. They're just amazing. 49.99, we've literally only got a couple of chances left, so well done to everyone. Gemma, it's been absolutely amazing. Mm. <laughs> it's been so lovely. Love you so much. Hasn't it been wonderful to have Gemma with us today? It's been just Phenomenal. Wonderful to see you work with resin. <laughs> Sorry about the torch. Wonderful <laughs> to see you with the cork as well. I can't wait to see. And massive congratulations on your new job oh, as well. Oh, thank you. Just amazing. Um, <laughs> phenomenal. Well done. You, you, you've got a busy, a busy few weeks. I really have, yeah. <laughs> yeah very um, busy. So I don't know when I'll see you next, but 
hopefully we'll get some more cork in and do some more stuff with I it. I really hope so. Yeah. Thank you so much as well. Loved all your messages. Thank you so much for making uh, Gemma make it, uh, for making Gemma feel so yes, welcome thank today you. as well. thank you. I feel quite emotional now. You shouldn't have hugged me yet. <laughs> 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 it's just been absolutely gorgeous to have her with us today. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, we will see you the other side of this. You've got an amazing afternoon on Hobby Maker. Um, enjoy yourselves. We'll see you in a sec. <laughs>